Hello. We are live. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Oh, I should post an announcement in my Discord. Um, just so people know that we're live a little bit earlier than normal. This will be good. Okay. Hi, everyone. Welcome. I know there's some of you waiting. Also, Chipmunk, thanks for the six months. I appreciate that a lot. Thank you. Oh, sorry. I, like, hit my knee into my desk and it shook the camera a little, I think. Um, at Notifs, I'm live a little early today, we're playing not so very, and then I'll build them a new house. Alright, there we go. Consider it announced. How am I doing? I'm doing good, Emily, thanks for asking. I'm good. Is my hair falling out? Okay. <laughs> Mars, Robin, uh, Shark Attack, thank you for those resubs too, everybody. I do have my game open, I'm- oh. Um, that would be my cat cam, but that's the carpet. Um, look, I'll show you. That's the floor. <laughs> Let me turn that off. <laughs> Whoops, there you go. <laughs> that is an extra 22 months, by the way. Floor cam. Carpet cam. Yeah, there's no cat in here right now, unfortunately. Otherwise, I would, um, put it on her. No, it's just because I knocked it off my desk by accident and then... Forgot. Speaking of floors, I know I got new floors in my new house. Who watched Bridgerton? I watched the first episode last night with Dan. Bridgerton is really something else. <laughs> but Dan and I watched the first episode yesterday. <laughs> hey, Mixie, and I guess the first episode of the second season. Uh, Mixie and Aaliyah and Lena and Forgotten Companion with a 47 months. Aubrey with a tier three, eight months. Argent uh, and Retsu and everybody, thank you for the subs and stuff too. Let me get my, um, let me get my Potts family up. So if you missed it and you missed what we've been up to, basically we've been playing with the Potts family for like 10 generations now. We're on Gen 11, basically. And we decided with Gen 11 to start playing the Not So Berry challenge, like Gen 1 of it. So Gen 11 is Gen 1 of Not So Berry. Um, and that Sim is almost a young adult. Uh, she'll be young adult, I think, in like three in-game days. And so we're gonna build a new not so very house today too, but I wanna like play through um, until she's a young adult and then make the new house for her. But that's the plan. That's my plan for today. Um, I think it'll be kind of cool. I think I'm gonna move to a different lot as well. We've been staying on this same lot like this whole time. So um, I think it'll be fun to like switch it up and, and go to a different house and stuff like that. So. That's the idea, but we're just kind of hanging out a little bit. I'm gonna stream a little bit longer than normal because I couldn't stream last night, so I was excited to play with the Paws family and I couldn't, so I want to do it now. <laughs> also, it's winter, which is kind of annoying for the house build, but whatever. Um, I don't know yet, Emma. I'm not sure where we'll move to just yet. I have to think about it some more. We can sort of talk about that once more people get here. We can try and figure out a spot to move. Um, but I think it'll be fun to move to a new lot, so that's kind of my, my plan. Um, Ski and Goof and Bananas and Amanda and everybody, thank you for the subs and stuff too. Um, okay, well anyway, we'll, we'll give people a chance to tune in and then I will, um, I will do a brief recap of, of the plans. Let me get rid of these decorations really fast. Where's my decor box? Take down decorations. I'm gonna miss this little house. I liked this one a lot. I thought it was pretty cute. Um, but it's okay. No, I don't think the snow is annoying. It's The snow is just annoying when you're trying to build, right? Because when you're trying to build and it's snowing, um, <laughs> you know, there's uh, little dots in the sky, but it's not that big of a deal, so. <laughs> Fab and Shih Tzu and Moon River and, and XX and, and Visa and Oro and Abby and uh, Bra and Sky, thank you for the subs. Use the weather changing machine for the build? No, I can just cheat it with- I've got mods to change the weather. I just don't like to mess with the weather or seasons that much. Um, too much when I'm playing in like a family I actually normally play with. And I don't want to do it like for Manage Worlds or anything because I don't want to lose any items by accident, so. Um, no, I know how to change the weather. My dears, I've- I, <laughs> I am experienced in The Sims 4, don't worry. I don't really want to mess with it too much though, I'm worried about messing with it. Um. Yes, of course, the graves are coming. I can't get rid of my graves. You think I'm gonna leave these after I've spent a full year in real life collecting them all? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I did not spend since April of 2021 getting these graves to just leave them behind. <laughs> um, Sammy and Funny and Catherine and Abby and Amber and B. thank you, thank you, thank you, Ryan, Darlin, Moon River, Fabkey, thank you all for the subs and stuff. Um, but anyway, 
Wish you could change the weather in real life. Oh, Zoe, I am fully with you on that one. I too wish that you could adjust the weather slightly in real life sometimes. That would be nice. <laughs> Thought they were decorations. Oh no, these aren't decorations. Well, they are a little bit. Um, I guess you could call them decorations. Is it safe to have mods? Like mods for your Sims game? Yeah, Fiona, you'll be fine. I mean, I think people, the concern people often have is more so a worry with like downloading mods from unsafe places, but I promise you if you're getting mods like things like MC Command Center or UI Cheats Extension, those are mods that are extremely popular in the Sims community. Like I'd wager about half the chat has them or has heard of them or used them. Um, those kind of things you'll be fine with. I mean, it uh, use your, your, um, your internet safety senses. You know, if they start tingling, like a website seems a bit sketchy, maybe don't download something from there. But for the most part, when you're getting Sims custom content, like I, I sincerely doubt you're gonna come across a problem. <laughs> um, I mean, you know, there's always gonna be weird websites, but don't download from those, you know? Um, it'll be fine. <laughs> Hey, Katie and Cindy and Millionaire and Shannon and Lala and Petit, thank you all for the subs, by the way. Um, Catherine with the five gifted subs, uh, Fetch and West Coast and Marin Bullets and Gaines and B and Bishop, thank you for the subs and bits and stuff too. Um, okay, anyway, we're gonna play with the pots a little bit today. Like I said, this Sim, the Not So Berry Sim, who's gonna be the Not So Berry like Gen 1 heir, uh, she's a teen and she's going to be a young adult in four days. Okay, so in four days she'll be a young adult. And then after those four days, like once she's a young adult, um, we'll build her a new house. You think MC Command Center looks sketchy? I, that's not the kind of sketchy that I mean. Um, I, I don't think their website looks sketchy. And also I sincerely trust MC Command Center, but like, um, I don't know, you know you go to weird websites sometimes and it's like, this place seems like if I download something from it, I'm gonna get a virus. I hate to say it, but honestly, besties, I think the Sims resource looks sketchier than the MC Command Center website. Um, there's a whole load of pop-ups on her. Um, but I don't know, I, I, <laughs> you agree? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Riff, thanks for the 34 months, Time with the 8 months, Sherilyn with the 32 months, Colleen with the 8 months, Brittany with the 15 months, Solomon with the 9 months, thank you so much. Um, yeah, The Sims resource is a lot. It's really annoying to download things off of The Sims resource too because you have to wait for like the ads to play before it lets you download things. But I've been using her since like 2011 or something, so <laughs> I don't really use it anymore, but when I played The Sims 3 I did. Um, but anyway, Tumblr, places like that are better um, to get CC from and stuff. Um, but you can like look up uh, like sim, like I don't know, like CC blogs and stuff on Tumblr. People like reblog things. It's good to find creators that way. Um, anyway, <laughs> anyway, we're gonna play with the Pods family today. Uh, just again to catch up to speed, if you're just tuning in, this family is a family that I've been playing with for like a year. Don't worry about that if you haven't seen it before. Like we're starting a new thing, so it's okay. It's just like the same save. Um, and basically I played like 10 generations of this family and I decided with Gen 11, I wanted to try and do something new, like do something different. And so we're playing a challenge that I wrote like five years ago called the Not So Berry Challenge. Um, we're gonna play that, but like with the the new Sim. Basically in Not So Berry, there's like rules for each generation. Um, and they are like all themed after a color. So Gen 1 is mint and then, you know, Gen 2 is rose, Gen 3 is yellow, and then you just kind of keep playing. Uh, they all have sort of like things themed similarly to that um, for the rules. You can read the rules if you just Google Not So Berry or if you click this link in the chat, you can see it. Um, but it's kind of fun. So uh, we're not going to start with a starter home. I think I might keep my current budget for now. I don't Usually in Not So Berry, like, that's, I don't know, I, f I feel fine keeping the money that I have right now. I might not spend all of it, though. Um, and then if I get too rich, I'll probably cheat some money away. I don't really like it when my sims are, like, too, too rich. I think it's kind of boring <laughs> when you have too much money in the sims. So if we end up getting too rich in Not So Berry, I might go back to starting in starters and stuff. But um, for now, we'll definitely probably keep this money. I mean, I might build a house that's worth, like, 60k or something. I will see. I don't know. I don't really care about the Gen 1 thing. I think that's fine. It's it's more like um, if we get bored and we think that we've got too much money because we'll start making more money in Not So Berry than we have been because Not So Berry is going to be played on normal lifespan instead of short lifespan. So uh, I think when we s now now we'll start being richer and I don't really want to be as rich. So anyway, Hera and Ems and Hannah and Cheesy and Bree and Rach and Ed and Jordan and Miss Whitehead and Tabi and Solomon. Thank you all for those steps and stuff, by the way. 
Um, okay. Anyway, <laughs> we can game. Yeah, we, we're, um, it's kind of wild how we've been playing the save for so long. Okay, anyway. She's upset because I think their grandparents on the other side died. But only for the next seven hours. Um, 6.34 a.m., oh boy. Anyway, so as far as, like, Not So Berry goes, as far as the, the, the situation is looking, um, like I said, she's a teen and she will be a teen for the next, like, four days. Um... But we're on Gen 1, so here, let me read it to you. You're a mischievous scientist that really loves the color mint. You're career-driven, but still make time for silly pranks and outings with your closest friends. You love luxury and want the best for yourself and your family. Your traits are going to be vegetarian, jealous, and materialistic. <laughs> you have the chief of mischief aspiration. You'll be in the scientist career. And the main, like, goals are to master the scientist career and complete the chief of mischief aspiration. Uh, finish the mischief and logic skills, and then complete the elements collection. Um, so we're kind of, we're kind of working on it. Um, we're, we've got, let's see, like, logic six, mischief six. We're working on the aspiration. I haven't really started the element collection yet, but that'll, that'll be easier to do once we've got the scientist career. We can start collecting stuff more and things like that. Um, but that is the situation. <laughs> That's what we're up to. Lynn, Ali, Lauren, thank you for the subs. Um, I think it should be fun. I don't know. Make a ranking of Sims 4 paintings? That's funny. That could be an interesting idea. Um, yeah, someone made a base game rules version, Layla. You can just Google it, um, to find it. Um, okay, I hope that you understand when I say this, my dears, but, um, in the future, if you have, like, questions about Not So Berry, um, just because people ask, like, the same things over and over again all day whenever we play, which is totally fine, they just didn't hear me say it the first time, um, but be on the lookout for people in the chat, like, my mods answering questions if they're basic ones like that, um, just because if I don't, if I don't see it, like, I'm not ignoring you, I just, like, um, and then, you know, if it gets answered, it's just easier, so I, I, I warn you, um, it'll be helpful to, um, be on the lookout for answers in the chat, you know? <laughs> Um, no, Calpel, I'm not gonna do Not So Berry for the Bell family. I don't understand why everyone asked me that. I, cause I really, like, you are not, you're like the 50th person to ask that question, and I don't really see why people, like, assume that, because why would I want to play, like, Gen 1 of Not So Berry twice, like, within a couple months? Like, <laughs> we're doing Not So Berry with this save, because we haven't played Not So Berry in a long time, but I, I wouldn't do the same thing on YouTube as well. Like, that just seems like a it wouldn't be as fun to do it again, like, right afterward, you know? I, w I don't want to play Not So Berry two times with the same thing. Um, it's one thing, like, this is different. Like, I'm, I mean, I wouldn't really compare the pots and the bell. Like, my Twitch legacy and my YouTube legacy might both be legacies, but the gameplay's not really similar, so. Um, anyway. Um, they're, I'm not gonna do the same thing on YouTube. <laughs> I'll do something else. We still have a long time on the YouTube one. We're, like, on Gen 6, not Gen 10, you know? Like, it's not... It'll be a while. I don't know what I want to do next. I don't have an answer to that question. I'm, we're not talking about them. <laughs> Please, can I just play this? People always ask me, and I never have an answer to that. I, like, I don't know what I'm gonna be doing in a year from now on YouTube. Well, I'll pick a different thing to do, a different, like, series to play, but I'm not gonna do the same one. <laughs> I'm not gonna do the same thing again, okay? Um, I don't have an answer to that question. Anyway, uh, Diane Harwin, Echo, and Cozy, and Lynn, thank you all for the subs. Um, Simsy, what's your five-year YouTube plan? <laughs> Can you give us your upload schedule for the next five years, please? <laughs> okay, so we need to perform Voodoo five times, achieve level, six, ten, level 10 mischief skill. Um, I might actually have her come... Honestly, go spy in the neighborhood, actually. We're just gonna do some skill building today. Where do you see yourself on January 17th, 2028? Do you know what? People ask me that kind of thing a lot, but not, not like, in that sense. They'll be like, hey, Simsy, are you gonna be streaming on, like, July 16th? And I'm like, uh, probably, but I don't know, like... <laughs> but they ask because it's their birthday, and they're like, are you gonna be live on December 11th? And I'm like, um, it's March, but we'll see. <laughs> Probably, but I don't know. <laughs> people, people ask that kind of thing all the time. It's actually kind of cute. Um, is there another chat for subs or is it everyone in this one? No, Bessie, there's not two chats. There's just one chat. You think I can handle two chats? No. <laughs> there's just one Twitch chat. Everyone's in the same one. Um, 
What about December 7th? Okay. <laughs> okay, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> but it's really funny. They always ask about their birthday. Um, and then I have to be like, I, I will probably stream that day, but it's hard to say. I don't know. <laughs> I am not sure. Okay, take a shower and then clean that toilet, please. All right. Anyway, how has your day been, everybody? Um, I hope you've had a fun one. Okay. Are you working on that? Are you building the skill I wanted you to? You are. Cool. Cool. Are you gonna stream the 2nd of April? Or maybe, well, you put the 2E of April. So it's hard to say what that means. Um, I, th I will be live on the 2nd of April, though. <laughs> <laughs> what about August 14th? Do you know what, Mitchie? That's actually a good question. That's my birthday. I I don't know what we're doing yet. So here's the situation, right? Um, Dan's brother is getting married, I think on like, is it August 19th? Is that the day? I don't remember the exact day. L around then, like a um, the same week as my birthday, Dan's brother is getting married. Um, obviously, we want to go to his wedding. <laughs> Um, but there's two problems. Number one, Dan can't leave the country right now. And number two, we don't know when he's going to be able to leave the country. We have to wait till he gets his green card. Uh, the green card interview, they scheduled it. It's going to be, um, like three weeks from now, basically. A little bit less than that. Um, they just send you a letter and they're like, come in on this day. So hopefully you'll have the green card by then, but it's hard to, um, say what if something happens. I don't know. So we should be okay, but I don't, we haven't decided, like, what day we're gonna go over there yet or anything. So I would like to stream my birthday. We might go after my birthday. Um, but we'll see how it goes. That'll probably be the first time that he's seen his family in, like, a year, though. Um, so he's probably gonna want to stay for a while. I probably won't stay the whole time, though. Um, but, you know, it's one of those we can't really figure out dates yet because we don't even know if he can go. But, um, once we figure it out, we'll figure out what we're doing. It's a weird thing. Um weird situation to be in. <laughs> How are you doing, Kitty? Do you wanna... Honestly, I will talk to you a little bit, because I feel like I've kind of been, um, failing to do that, and I don't think you like me very much. <laughs> um, anyway. Green card means something entirely different in Europe. I feel like I can guess what that means. Green card in the U.S. is like a permanent residency card. Um, it's like, uh, permission to, to live and work in the U.S. as a permanent resident. So, um, I have a few mods. Yeah, Dirty Toes. I've got like a mod called MC Command Center and a mod called UI Cheats extension installed in particular, um, which are pretty useful. <laughs> How do I decide to major in history? Leslie, I, um, just like history. <laughs> it was always a, a passion or an interest of mine and I decided I wanted to study it. Um, I'm probably the wrong person to ask for, for more detailed explanation than that, though. <laughs> uh, that was the main reason behind it, was just that I wanted to. <laughs> so, I don't know if that's the kind of information you're looking for, but um, that's why I study history. <laughs> I just wanted to. Um, Jack and Bernie and Stress and, and uh, Mad and Big and um, Heidi and Everett and Mara and Maura and Mama and Maddie and Rach and everybody, thank you for the subs. Okay, you can come do a school project, kids. Sorry to put you through this, but you're gonna go get to work. It's your birthday, PMR. I can sing you a song. <laughs> okay. Come on. Get to work, kiddos. Get to work. I think... Is it like a blizzard? Yeah, that's that's interesting. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Okay, well, I'm gonna go see. I wanna go hang out with Bethany anyway. Bethany is her almost girlfriend. I don't think they're actually dating dating yet. Um, will I stream from England? You know, Lizzie, uh, you're thinking way farther ahead than I am. Um uh will I stream um most of that trip when I'm there for uh, Dan's brother's wedding? Probably not. <laughs> I'll probably stream a couple times, but like most of those days, it's gonna be like, you know, busy. And also uh, Dan won't have seen his family for over a year. So we'll probably be spending time with them as opposed to you, but we'll see. Also, hi Joy, thank you so much for the raid. It is so good to see you. 
You came in at a good time, actually. We're, we're doing something kind of weird. This is like an 11 generation long family I've been playing in, and we are just now starting the 11th generation, and we're trying to do something different, so we're playing a new challenge. It's not a new challenge, it's an old challenge that I made like five years ago, but it's called the Not So Berry Challenge. Um, each generation is like the outdoor color, and uh, we're playing the first gen of it, but The Sims only a teen still, so you came in at a good time. You caught us at a good time. I'm here trying to convince this sim to date me right now. <laughs> That's my next step. I'm trying to convince Bethany here to date me. <laughs> Um, that's what we're up to at the moment. So it's good to see you. Thank you again for the raid. Um, Isabel and Carol and Vulcan, thank you for the subs and stuff too. And this is Tori Sim. That's right. One of my mods made this Sim. You go, Tori. Congratulations. Convince? Well, convince is a strong word. I mean, I'm pretty sure she will date me, but you never know. My Sim's a bit weird, so. <laughs> Snow and Jordan, thank you for the subs, by the way. Uh, Carol too. Thank you so much. All right, well, get talking. Uh, my sim's gonna be young adult in four days. So we've got a couple days, but basically uh, once those four days are up, uh, I'm probably going to, um, I think I'm gonna have them build, like I'm gonna build a new house, we'll move. I've lived in the same area. Why are you tense? I've lived in the same area this whole time. Like, I've literally lived in Willow Creek in that one lot for all 11 generations so far. Um, and so we're thinking that when we build the new house, we'll move. Which should actually be kind of fun. Why are you so grumpy? Tori! Your sim is grumpy. Are you gonna grill something? Don't grill hot dogs! You're a vegetarian! Don't do that! <laughs> Oh my goodness. Make some baked potatoes. What do I do about it? Tori, your sim is grumpy. <laughs> oh yeah, Judith, I couldn't stream last night, so I really was looking forward to playing with the Potts family, um, so I decided to go live a little bit early today so I could play more of them because I couldn't play them yesterday. Um, so that's what I'm doing now. <laughs> I usually stream at 4 p.m. Eastern time, it's only two, so. I'm live a couple hours early. Anyway, let's make some potatoes, shall we? Shall we? <laughs> Quentin, thanks for the tier two, 26 months. Uh, month and Amy and Jordan, thank you all for the subs and stuff too. Um, all right. Well, I don't know where the sim went, to be honest with you. Should I call her over to grip to get some uh, potatoes? Come on. There we go. Thank you. Plan to stuff jocks in locker. Okay. <laughs> Maybe not do that. <laughs> oh no. This generation, you have to have the mischief skill. Um, so that's our uh, major <laughs> task right now. I mean, we can do that. I would be totally okay with doing that. So... Plan to start a food fight. Plan to lure a, lure a llama into the workplace. These are all solid options. <laughs> JC, thank you for the prime sub. <laughs> oh boy. Do you want to go eat pee really fast before you pee your pants in front of her? Because that would be embarrassing. Come on. Come on. Let's go. You was gone. You were gone the moment I was here in Austin. Hey, don't worry, GG. I was only there for a day. <laughs> I was literally only there for like a day. Um, so you, it's okay. <laughs> um, you didn't. You didn't miss me. It's all right. I wasn't really around much. Um, okay. Well, plan to barricade classroom with water cups. I don't know. That'll be fun. Okay. Well, do you want to date then? I'm not sad anymore, so I can flirt with you. Compliment your appearance. Make a move. She was sad because her grandma died. Oh no, why do you hate me? You're mean. Tori, your sim is being mean to mine. <sighs> I keep blaming Tori. Tori might have made this sim, but... <laughs> Look, she hates me! Oh no! Fuck, I think you for seven months, by the way. And Destiny, thanks for the six months. Can I make a sim? I'll make one worse. Hmm. Jesus. 
You can do that. Yeah, if you want hope. Okay, well, once we get the conversation pleasant again, let me, like, ask if you're single, maybe blow a kiss. Arsene. You know? Casual. Never mind, I don't want to after that reaction. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Come on. Alright, she likes me better now. This time it worked. I think she was just too stressed out before. And that's okay. I'm also often stressed out, so. No, it's okay. I don't actually need another teen. I've literally placed so many teens in my save. I, I placed like 50 some households uh, last week to set up the save again. So I've got plenty of teens. <laughs> I placed a bunch that you, you all made already. Um, hey Zoe, thanks for the five gifted subs, by the way. Thank you so much. Okay. Make a move again. Do you think I can ask her to date me? Look deeply into your eyes. Reveal my crush. Are they glitched? They're too much whispering of sweet nothings. Please. <gasps> Ask to be girlfriend. Come on. Don't walk away from me. Come on. Date me. Date me. Date me. Date me. Oh, perfect. Aww. I fixed it. Okay. Problem solved. And I completed my New Year's resolution. <laughs> okay. Well, maybe now I'll go do some messing with people. Um... Leah. Yeah, I'm gonna mess with you. I need to work on my mischief skills, so... No, why did you walk away from me? Let's try this one. I'll come mess with you. I'm not worried about it. <laughs> yeah, friends, I'll probably stream for like five hours today. I'll be live a little bit longer than, than normal. Um... What's that spot? I don't know, I'm just gonna do a bunch of mischief interactions because I need to get my mischief skill up higher. The more we work on this, the better off we will be. And still with false confidence, noxious cloud, I don't know. Brittany, they actually eight months. Is Flossie a public prank YouTuber? Oh no. <laughs> you know, tennis sardines, I'm probably gonna bring the family with me when I move. Um, Mostly because I don't really want to get rid of her mom and her siblings her siblings when they age up. I'll probably move them out um, But I will probably let uh, her family come with her when we move to the new house. I I Like playing with the families and like sort of generational homes and stuff Although I might want a slightly smaller house. So maybe I won't I don't know. I think I only want her to have like Two kids we had we had more than I wanted this generation. I wanted to only have two kids in this generation um, but then I had twins by accident, so <laughs> I had three kids. <laughs> um, so I'm, I think I might just have two kids in the next generation, but we'll see. Um, bring the cat but not the family. That's, that's also an option. That's also an option. How are we doing skill-wise? I want to get to level seven at least. Let's just keep bothering this poor Sim. Come on. Impersonate mermaids. Lucy, thanks for the 12 months. Uh, you feel the heat? I don't know what you're trying to ask. If it won't send the message at all, you can whisper a mod and ask them and they can try and tell you what's blocked. There's a few words um, that I did not block that are blocked in my chat. For example, the word shirt. For some reason, you can't send it in my Twitch chat. Despite all of my efforts to whitelist it, Twitch keeps saying that it's a blacklisted word. And I don't know why, but there might be a weird one like that that I didn't even block that you're, is included in your message, so you can ask a mod. Um, you can like message them, whisper them. There we go, we're level seven. All right, that's pretty good. I might just go home now. That's all I wanted to do. Um, okay, let's go back. Do you know what? I might actually move out to like, I don't know, I was thinking like maybe we move to Henford on Bagley or something, but maybe I don't want to do that. I'm not really sure what I want to do. Um, I thought it would be fun if we did something different, though. Imagine you're on a date with your girlfriend and she spends the whole time picking on an elderly cosplayer. Oh no! <laughs> when you put it like that, it sounds really bad. We went on a date, <laughs> and the whole time my sim is just like bullying some like old lady who's cosplaying. Simzy, you're rude. 
Okay, is now a bad time to try and convince my family to play chess with me? I know it's like, you know, literally a blizzard outside, but so what? We could go to Windenburg. I don't know if I want to move to Windenburg, though. I'm not sure. I guess it kind of depends what sort of style of house we want. I don't think I want to live in Oasis Springs because I've got, like, my other legacy family that I play on YouTube lives in Oasis Springs, so I don't think I'd pick Oasis Springs for this, but, um... We can do something fun. I don't know. Beautiful Zimmers, thank you for the 11 months. Bunny with the 5 months. Maureen with the 13 months. Thank you so much. Somewhere with collectibles is sort of, um, important. Strangerville for sure. Do you think I should go to Strangerville with her? <laughs> that would be interesting. <laughs> um, yeah, we're gonna build a new house and move in this stream, Peter. Yeah, um... That's the thing, my sim is gonna be a young adult in four days, so we'll move out with her in those four days and build the new house. That's the plan. Um, Brindleton Bay is an option too. I wouldn't be opposed to Brindleton Bay either. Does the house have to be mint too? Well, no, cowboy, it's just how you wanna play. Mine's gonna be really mint. I'm gonna try and um, use the color a lot inside of the house just cause it's fun, but you don't have to do that when, if you wanna play not so very. Literally just play however you want. <laughs> Brindleton Bay could be fun, although I like the idea of Strangerville. I haven't really lived in Strangerville in a long time, so that might be interesting, actually. Um, and then we could build, like, some sort of, like, Victorian-looking house. I don't know, that could be fun. And we could use, I'm thinking, um, you know that spa day wallpaper? Um, you know, let me filter by spa day, spa day, spa day. You know, uh, this one, it comes in like this kind of teal-like color, a couple minty-like colors. We could use those on the walls. That could be fun. The blank world, Newcrest? I mean, we could move to Newcrest. I, I filled in all the lots in Newcrest already, though, and I've got Sims living there. I think there's empty lots in Strangerville, so... And then we could have some weird people showing up at our house. It might be fun. I don't know. <laughs> I might like it. Um, okay, I know you're all kidding when you say to live in Batu, but you can't live there. <laughs> it's not a residential world. <laughs> I know it's a meme, but we couldn't even if we wanted to. <laughs> okay, San My Shuno. I don't really want to move to San Myshuno yet, Kendra. We will eventually in this legacy, but at the moment I've got too many graves to, to want to deal with that, so. Um. No. But thank you. <laughs> what? 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 Peanut? I didn't even know you were- I, I didn't think- I didn't know! I thought we had more time than that! Oh no! Oh. <laughs> I didn't sign up for this! This is bad! Oh, but Peanut's an elder! Oh no! No, no! Oh my god! Oh no! I'm sad. I love little Peanut and their little their little pizza sweater. You were the best little cat around, and everybody else is asleep. All Peanut waited till their family went to bed because they didn't want everyone to see. Literally, as I was speaking about my graves too. This is bad. This is really bad. <laughs> oh look, look! Scary fish came to welcome Peanut. Oh, I feel better about this. That makes me feel better. Okay, that's really nice, actually. Thank you. Oh. I hate this game! Had the cutest little pizza sweater. Oh, Scary Fish is sad, too. This is the worst day of my life. Okay, well, I guess we'll get a new pet today. Um, this sucks. <sighs> I've got an idea for the next pet's name, though. I think I'm gonna get a dog, and I'm gonna name it Tooth. 
or perhaps toothless because um, all of my, this generation is like floss and Listerine and Colgate. We kind of have this like um, tooth hygiene theme going on. Um, so I thought it would be funny if we named the, the pet something like that. I don't know. We'll see who's available to adopt and we'll base it the name off of that, but that's the idea. <laughs> Celeste, thanks for the four months. Much thank you for the pets, too. Why pet bowl and no pet? Okay. <laughs> hey, Simsy, why do you still have pet food if you don't have any pets in your house? <laughs> Gabriella Ashes. Uh, curious and Simsy, thank you for the subs. Somebody said cavity. Cavity is not a bad idea for the pet's name, either. I won't lie. That could be funny. Uh, but again, we'll see what sort of dogs are available to be adopted, and we'll see. Oh, the little dish rack? This is from Parenthood. It's cute, isn't it? I really like this item. There's a lot of really cute clutter in Parenthood. Move to Del Sol Valley? Oh, I can't do that. Oh, I can't do that. I'm sorry, but I can't. I don't like it there. <laughs> Maybe at some point we will. Um, all right. Kayla and Jason are gonna have a baby? Oh, jeez. Okay. Well, that's good to know, I guess. I'm having a baby. In The Sims, not in real life. So are Viviana and Lincoln. They're having a baby, it looks like. Nothing else has happened, though. Hmm. Anyway, I, I'm kind of, um... I kind of am set on Strangerville, to be honest with you, besties. I hate to say it, but... <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of into the idea of living in Strangerville. I've never lived in Strangerville, um, at least not in a very long time, so I think it could be fun to go down there. And that would give me an excuse to do some renovating of the lots and stuff, you know? Um, some things that we don't usually play with. I think it might be fun. It'll be different. Um, we'll move for pretty much every gen, I think, Cal. I'm not sure yet, though. We'll see, we'll see what we end up doing, but we'll probably move a lot, yeah. That's what I'm thinking, at least. All right, it is a lovely Sunday. We're going to adopt a pet, I think. And you're safe? Vlad has, like, six kids? Oh, no. Canine is the dog's name? I still like the idea of Tooth. I think Canine makes a little bit too much sense. <laughs> I'm looking for something dumber, you know? <laughs> okay. Um, Fire Rock, thank you for the two months. All right, well, let me see who's available to get adopted then. Let me, like, finish eating my mac and cheese, and then I'll look. <laughs> we are on normal lifespan already. We already are on normal lifespan, besties. You spent some time with Zane? Okay, that's good to know. Okay, well, thank you for the gifted subs, by the way. All right, let me see about, um, let's adopt a dog. Okay. Now, who of you people looks like you might be named Toothless? Hmm. French Bulldog. Those are the same breed. I don't know, I want something different. I almost might wanna look, I might see about making one in Cass. But that one's only a puppy, so it's gonna look like that when it gets older. They're the same breed, so. Why do I kind of want a Dalmatian? Maybe I'll go into, do you know what? What if we went into Cass and just like randomized something? I don't know. It's free then as well. <laughs> Uh, Janice, thank you for the 17 months. Sarah, thank you for the 15 months. Um, why is Perry wearing a helmet? Hey, you know, I'm not sure, Hope. I try not to think about it. Alright, let's, let's scroll through my list. We have loads of options. I kind of want to get a bigger dog, though. We haven't had a big dog in a while. Oh my gosh. You 
see, this is what I was thinking initially. What about you? <gasps> oh my god, wait. That could be cute. We could name it Toothless or Tooth, it's hard to say. You're not that goofy looking though. I've mostly been adopting like really goofy looking dogs. So I might need to do some adjusting to make you look a little bit funnier. Again, I say it with love. What if you have like really big eyes? That's not even goofy, it just looks kind of cute. We've got a little collar that kind of matches the vibes. Oh, come on. <gasps> scary, never mind. Scary, 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 scary. Should I randomize its traits? Troublemaker, sleuth, glutton. Oh my god. <laughs> Loyal, couch potato, vocal. Maybe that's better. Maybe that's better. I think I might keep this dog. Look at its little ears! Oh my god, okay, I might keep this one. I like you, little friend. You are very cute. Okay. Change the dots, maybe? What, you don't like its spots? I liked the spots, that was why I picked them. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it. Oh, Snappy, come here, jump up, come here. You can jump, it's okay. The dogs are gone, so. It's okay, you can jump up, you won't see anything bad. There's no, oh, onto the desk, okay. You won't see anything scary. <laughs> okay, well now I have a dog, so. Problem solved, I guess. What'd you up to? Did you come to see? Yeah? Do you wanna look at the screen? You can see it, I'll show you. <laughs> YouTube, Artie, Lay, Noah, Tur, thank you all for the subs, by the way. Okay. Look at my little friend! Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, okay, I should get rid of the, like, litter box and stuff, because it's only in the hallway anyway. Um, we should still have some toys. Yeah, we do still have some toys, so we should actually be okay. Well, do you want to take the dog for a walk? Let me go let- see if I can ask it to go potty first. But he's going to die soon? No, we're playing on normal lifespan now, so we have loads more time with the pets these days. Um, we- we just switched it back to normal lifespan, so he won't even die soon. Okay, thank you, Snappy. Thank you so much. Oh, Barry's off to work. Okay. I was gonna see if you would want to, like, Go for a jog with me, my little friend. I thought it would be cute. You dislike mischief. You know what, Colgate? Considering you've got a nightmare sister who is trying to max the mischief skill, I wouldn't be surprised if you disliked mischief. I feel like you've had enough. <laughs> so that checks out, I feel like. Okay. Michaela, thank you for the 10 gifted subs, and Pink, thank you for the tier 2 10 months as well. Well, I might freeze. That could be funny too. We'll see. On my little jog. The dog is called Toothless. <laughs> Look at us! Look how cute we are! I might take a little screenshot. Let me put the house back. Look how cute it is! Okay, sorry. I'm getting so excited. Snap, you're all tangled in my headphones. Careful, okay? Here, can I pick your little paw up so you can untangle your- Oh, I made it worse. Oh no, okay. Come this way, pick up that one. There you go. No longer tangled. Do you understand? Do you get it? <laughs> anyway, Michaela, thank you for the gifted subs again. Ashley and, um, uh, and Asim Pink Gimster, thank you all for the subs, too. Alright, what are you up to? We're on a jog. We're going. Oh, so are you! That's so cute. Thank you. You're so cute, too. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> hey, Michaela, thanks for that sub gift again. Thank you so much. 
That was like a fake Jeffrey, wasn't it? All right, run. Are we going back home? I'm not gonna freeze it looks like, so that's impressive actually. I'm kind of surprised. Why are you sad now? Oh, cause my dog died? Oh, right. Okay, I mean my cat. It was her cat that died. Yikes. All right, that checks out, I guess. <laughs> Fine, I suppose that makes sense. <laughs> oh no. All right, let me go, uh... Do you, honestly, do you wanna go serve up some food? Make some like grilled cheese or something? You should really work on your cooking skill anyway. All right, Comfy, thank you for the prime sub. Michaela with the sub gift again, thank you so much. Okay, well, we're cooking. We're gaining skills from this. I think I might have her work on a school project afterward. I'm just kind of like spending the Sunday working on stuff. It's nice because it's now spring, so the snow is melting, so this might actually work out pretty well for us when it comes to building the house, because the winter is pretty much over. Um, let me get the constructive bridge out here. Constructive bridge is the one that you build the logic skill from, right? Yeah. Do you wanna go work on that? That would be lovely, thank you. You already have an A in school. Like you can't get much better, but this does help you build your logic skill pretty well, which you need to max for your your generation of not so berry, so. Oh boy, Aura and Talia and Alex and Atisa and Comfy, thank you for this house. Michaela with the bits, thank you all so much. No, uh, Cal, we're gonna move, we're gonna move. We're gonna move, I think, to Strangerville um, with when we build the new house. We're gonna build the new house in like three days. She ages up in three days and we'll build the new house then. Um, that is actually a pretty cool painting. Who's calling? <gasps> I think Ramiro is pretty cute. Should I ask him out? <laughs> yeah, absolutely you should. Thank you very much for asking. That's her, that's this sim's brother. Barry is the mom of this sim, that was her brother. Well, one thing I was thinking about doing, so Barry's husband died like actually kind of a while ago. Um, I was just thinking it could be fun if we made like, I don't know, I was thinking I, I might try and get like some sort of, um, you know, unmarried sim thing going on. So it, <gasps> that's the guy my brother just asked out. I was thinking we could try and find someone that maybe um, to date. What do you mean, Blake? I think it's just because Blake's only engaged in this. Um, but we should find someone to date because then we could we could have someone that we could be together with, you know? Hmm. The question is, how many of these Sims are actually single versus how many of these Sims um, are like only engaged or only dating someone? Uh, cause we, the only way you can do it is put unmarried. So, they're not in the same world, no, Ryan, this is a different save. I just placed, I just placed them in here, cause I thought it would be fun. Um, it's not the same world. I'm not, you think I play with these sims all in the same save? That would be a disaster. Um, I can't play with it, like, if I was playing the pots in the same world as the, the Bell family, it would mess with everything. If I played too long with the pots, you know, in between episodes and stuff. Um, but I play. I placed them when I placed a bunch of new Sims in the world, so that'd be kind of fun if I could see them. Um. I'm trying to decide. Tommy, this is that Sim from Tartosa, right? That like. Same with Greta. Maybe I'll see about them. And maybe I'll add, cause my brother just asked him out. Not, I'm not gonna add him so that I can date him. I'm just gonna add him so I can scope him out, you know, and see if my brother is gonna be happy with him. <laughs> um, maybe Victor? Perhaps Milo? I don't know, that could be, those are some good options. Dates? I don't know. I just want to, I just want to meet some people. You know, I'm just trying to see who all's around. You know? 
Let me start a gathering. Really, oh, there's a plate out there. Let me just start a gathering really quickly. You know, see, see what's going on. See if anybody's interesting. I mean, this is not a sim that is like properly dressed, obviously. Oh, this is my brother. Hang on, I might look into him. This is that boy that my brother just asked out, so I might look. No, Tommy is engaged. Uh, Fraser, I'm pretty sure Tommy is the kid. <laughs> Her parents were engaged. Um, but I'm pretty sure Tommy is the child that is now obviously older. Um, so I don't think that she's engaged. Yeah, we're gonna play Among Us on Monday, Cal. That's the plan. That is the plan. Um, my cat died. Peanut the cat died. Perry was dating her. And now you're asking out her grandson? Okay. Um... You know, sure, sure. He seems like a nice guy, perfectionist, bookworm, squeam it. Those are lovely traits. I'm not getting involved in that. You just do what you want, okay? I'm not, you, okay, that's fine. <laughs> that's, that's fine, everything's fine, okay. <laughs> Spicy beef, thanks for the sub gift. Jess with the 12 months, funny with the prime sub. Thank you so much. Um, wow. All right, sure. Uh-huh, that's, that's fine. <laughs> How long am I streaming for? Well, I was gonna be live for like five hours probably, Erica, I think, we'll see though. Um, I'm gonna play for a little bit longer and then once my sim becomes a young adult, um, she's not quite there yet. I'm in the wrong household. Oh my god. My sim is like three days off from aging up into a young adult from being a teen. Um, and so we'll build the new house then. Um, and then we'll, you know, go from there. We'll see how long it takes us and stuff, but... Am I live right now? I am, Cupcake. Yeah, I am live right now. This is real. This is real, and I am currently live. <laughs> well, we were gonna move to- should we talk about this then? Well, we got forced out. We were thinking about moving to Strangerville. Um, we thought it would be fun to sort of move out here. Um, and I- I think I still stand by that. I- I'd probably move up here. We'd have to build some new houses to be our neighbors. Which might actually be a fun thing to do this week, though. Who died? Uh, just the cat, Shan. <laughs> Peanut died. But there's an empty lot right here. Do I hate this one? Let's find out. Um, but it could be nice because we could have some new neighbors. Um, there's some big houses. I haven't played through Strangerville in this save, obviously, so the mother's still, you know, ruining things. But it might be fun. I never live in I never live in Strangerville, so we're trying to switch it up. I'm picking a large lot. Well, I could move out some of the townies and move into a bigger lot. Yeah, if I wanted to. Um, but I don't think I need a big lot for this. Um, this might actually be a really good spot. How many collectibles are around here? Do you know? I think this could be cool. This is a pretty lot. It's got great views. We can build like a uh, sort of small-ish house. I only wanted to have like two bedroom, three bedrooms, so. And I feel like my graves will just fit right in. This will be good. Okay, I like that. <laughs> What's my real, my real name again? My name is Kayla. You can call me Simsy though if you want. I don't mind. <laughs> Kat, thank you for the gifted subs. Thank you so much. And Nell, thank you for the 10 months. Yeah, that'll work. I'm okay with this. And then again, it'll give us a good excuse to do some like renovating of some of the other areas, right? Like it'll give us a reason to mess with some stuff in Strangerville, which could be fun. Okay. We'll, we'll do that in a few sim days then, once she actually ages up. 
Am I gonna play through Strangerville? Well, it doesn't take that long, so maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, um... Maybe my Sims spouse can do that. In their spare time, <laughs> they can play through Strangerville. <laughs> that actually might be okay. I mean, maybe that'll be a good, um... A good way to spend our time. You like my new haircut? Do you know what, Scuba? I actually really appreciate you saying that because I've been feeling like I did a really bad job. I guess it might look okay on camera, but I've been feeling very self-conscious and like I did a terrible job cutting my hair this time, so I appreciate you saying that. I did it myself. Um, I have been for like a couple years now since the pandemic, but sometimes it goes better than others and I kind of botched it this time, so that's okay. <laughs> Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Yeah, scientist. We got this, like, alien fighter person. I feel like it checks out, you know? All right, well, you, my dear, we came here specifically so you should try and find someone to date. I think this guy is, like, a single dad. Oh, congratulate on engagement. Never mind. <laughs> All right, we won't be dating you then. You can, you can actually leave the club, Milo. It was nice meeting you, but... How about you? Oh, you're famous. You are a notable newcomer. Current children three, spouse none. Let me go look at you and Cass really quickly. Because they could be engaged too. It's okay if they have kids. I mean, I have kids, so. I, I believe, um, yeah, they have these kids together, so I think it was just not, oh, they have a dog called Peanut. Oh, I had a dog called, or a cat called Peanut. Well, never mind. <laughs> He's got a partner too, they got kids together. Oh, wait, unless that was the couple that broke up. Oh, there was a couple that someone in the description, it was like, they're broken up, but they still live together for the kids. What if that was them? Oh no, maybe I ruined it. That could have been them. I forgot about that description somebody wrote. And I forced them back together. But it said engaged. No, I said it as engaged just then. No, I made them engaged. I just forced them back together. That was me. Entirely me. Well, we can just count him out of the running. We don't have to date him. Um, he's he's fallen back in love apparently with <laughs> with his uh, his ex. So that's that's over then. Um, all right. We also had this option. Greta's not even here, so that's a shame. But we we'll see about her. We we talked about dating Tommy. We'll I, let me look at her traits quickly. I've done with everybody else, so I might as well. Who died? The the cat did. Talisha Peanut died a second ago. It's terrible. Acrylic thing for 13 months. Um, so, I didn't realize you had a kid. I forgot because you had a kid and then he died. Your husband died like right after, didn't he? Well, she's got a new son. And obviously Tommy is her, her older daughter. Um... So that's, that's interesting actually, because I feel like this, this could be a fun person for us to maybe date. And then maybe like, she's gonna have to raise the son, or her mom's son, obviously, because, well, <laughs> she's not gonna have that much time left, so. <laughs> I don't know, that could be cool. Uh, you can- you can keep those pants. Maybe I'll just give you, like, a black shirt that matches better. Maybe my- my sim could date her. She's an adult. Can't you just ask if they're single? Well, I'm not only checking if they're single, Raven. That's not- that you've- you've missed the point. I'm coming into cast not to see if they're single, because I want to see, like, what do your kids look like? Who do you live with if it's not just his partner? What are your traits? What are your outfits like? I mean, we're checking cast for- a lot more reasons than just to see if they're single. That's that's not why I'm coming into Cass. Um, I'm, I'm not just popping in here for no reason. 
Okay, well, I mean, she's got pretty good traits, so once we fix her outfits a little. All right, maybe for your party wear. Well, I like this. You can wear that, that's fine. For your swimwear, you know, that's fine too. I'll probably end up changing it, so. See, I wouldn't personally pair this together. <laughs> I, I probably would have uh, picked a different set of clothing for this, but you know, that's fine. Can wear a nice little tank top maybe? That'll be cute. Can wear that, that's fine. Let me just give her some jeans. I uh, just, as long as she's got like presentable outfits, you know? Uh, that's the main, the main thing. We're just looking to make sure she's got like some presentable looks on. And I like it, that'll be good. If I'm on the Legacy Challenge, can I move my house to another house? Well, so here's the thing about Legacy Challenges, right? People play them in a lot of different ways. <gasps> oh my God, hang on, I'll get back to that. Wait, wait, this is really important. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Cat cam! <laughs> okay. Anyway, in Legacy Challenges, um, my cat just sat down on the bed, so I got excited. And I had to put it on the cat cam. Um, anyway, so in Legacy Challenges, people have lots of different rules. In like a strict, traditional Legacy Challenge, the idea is that you live on the biggest lot in the game, and you start out with no money in Gen 1, and then you like slowly build up the biggest lot and the biggest house uh, over like the course of 10 generations. You don't have to play that way though. Like at its core, as The Sims is just, you know, a game that you can sort of adjust in any way you want. I like to play Legacies in lots of different ways. I'll sort of do lots of different things. Like um, in this one, I stayed in the same lot, but not the big lot. We just stayed on this lot the whole time. Uh, and now we're gonna start moving. But you know, it, it, there's so many different things that you can do. I, I just adjust the rules to what you want to play. If you won't have fun playing on the same lot the whole time, like Who's who's gonna tell you not to, right? Like, oh, you didn't follow the rules to a T? Like, what? Well, who cares, you know? Just make up your own. Adjust it to what's fun. Anyway. <laughs> if you want to just play with a regular sim and play 10 generations instead of playing with no money, like, these are all, what? Who, what's, who's gonna stop you, right? You just play the sims how you want to play it. Um. Okay. No, don't say goodbye. That was a mistake. Sorry. I'm just trying to talk to you. Alright, well, I think I've decided I want to date this sim, so I'm gonna kill the club. I only did it so I can meet people. And now I've met you, so... Um... Oh, look, the dog came to sleep outside! <laughs> Snap! Oh my gosh! <laughs> The crown of the plumb was because she was the leader of the club. Um, the cat died. The cat died. That's why she's sad. My sims are sad because my other cat died. Oh my god, look at the dog, Toothless! You're so cute! Oh. Discuss color theory, perhaps? I wonder what you do for a living. I might ask about your career. Just to find out. Tommy's creative? Oh my gosh, I'm- I'm an artist! Oh, she left. Oh, Tommy's unemployed. Oh, okay. Well, we've gotten to know her a little bit better. We've got a little sentiment. Smara, what the heck? You didn't have to do that! <laughs> 25 gifted subs? Hey, thank you so, 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 so much. Hello? Sorry about the cat, by the way. <laughs> the way she's got her leg just like sticking straight up in the air. <laughs> Snappy, you're so weird. Anyway, um, thank you for the 25 gifted subs. Oh, and uh, Jetpack and Glass and Elf and Noah and Destiny and Jazzy and Becca and Acrylic. Thank you for the subs and stuff too. Thank you so much. Yeah, she's just having a bath. It's fine. It's just bath time. Pats, thank you for the 15 month resub too. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright. I've been invited out because I was feeling sad. How about we grapevine gossip? Yeah, that's her. That's um her little brother. But she's like way older than him. So she's probably gonna end up raising him when um her mom dies. So 
Well, we're getting pretty close. I might try and like do some gloomy complimenting. They could raise them together. Well, I'm gonna be an elder soon is the problem. <laughs> Five days is not quite so soon, but yeah, she's Tommy's a little bit younger. Um, she's got a, a lot of time left of being an adult, so. That's fine. We're the same age now. Uh, give repair tips, maybe? If we just get a little bit closer, that would be great. You're only paying attention to Snap? That's okay, I don't blame you. <laughs> hey, Allie, thank you for the 24 months. It's good to see you. Um, we have moved in the new house yet, Allie, no, but they, uh, the floors are completely done in my new house. Um, so we're, we're getting there. The floors are fully in. They have to, um, like, do the floor trim, like, the baseboards and stuff still, but, um, as far as the, like, the floors go, they've all been laid. All the wood's been put down, which is pretty cool. Um, so... How do I post it while streaming? Well, uh, Dom, I, my video always goes up at 3 and I schedule them. So, before I went live, I told YouTube, hey, post this on the 26th at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. And, and they did. <laughs> and it went up, like, three minutes ago. <laughs> so, anyway. Will I do a house update video soon? Yeah, probably, Amber. Um, I might wait and see... Because the kitchen is, like, here. Like, the, the cabinets have arrived. They just haven't been installed yet. Um, and they wanted to finish the floors first. We ran the floors underneath the cabinets. Um, and so, we're... Maybe I'll do the update video once the cabinets are going in. I think that'll be fun. So. Okay. Do you want to go work carefully on this, my little friend? That would be good. And maybe you could use the bathroom. Um, I don't really care what else you do. Oh, of course, now you're not sad anymore. Let me see if Tommy wants to come over. Oh, now I'm sad again. <laughs> oh, come stand in here. Come stand in here. Okay, never mind. I thought, oh, we could flirt with her now that we're not sad anymore. Well... It's almost like your cat died today in game. <laughs> um, Christine, we've had that cat for a, a decent amount of time. It was an elder, so it does happen fast. We that cat had most of its life on short lifespan, so we did get to prolong it a little bit. Um, oh, I'm feeling happy. That's good. Maybe ask if you're single. Compliment your appearance. How old is Snap? Mona, she's 13. And she's asleep. Sometimes when she's sleeping on the cat cam, and like, she's not so obviously moving. Like, when you look at her up close, you can see she's moving, she's breathing, but um, sometimes when she's asleep on the cat cam, people are like, is that just a picture of your cat? Like, do you just have a picture of the cat on the screen? <laughs> and then I have to be like, no, she's not, it's not just a picture, look. <laughs> look, she's moving, see? <laughs> Just not a lot because she's asleep. Oh, oh, she moved. Hey, Allie, thanks for 22 months. Joanna with the seven months. Brittany with the two months. Shella with the tier two, 26 months. Eagles with the two months. Brianna with the uh, with the 16 months. Amissa with the seven months. Swirly with the gifted sub. Oh my goodness. Yeah, she's just a little cinnamon roll. Exactly. Here, do you want to go resume the painting you started? Or is... No, well, Tommy is still here, but you're too sad to flirt, so what's the point? Try to flirt. I've been a thorn in your side for over two years. How fun is that? Okay, shall I? <laughs> you know, that's a, good, that's a good way of describing it. Yeah. Oh, the dog does need out. Hang on. Oh my goodness. Can you let the dog out to go potty? Um, train, no, pet care, ask to go potty, go, 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 CJ Mechanical, and me, thank you all for the subs, by the way, go, 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 I guess I could probably get a doggy door, although, well, I, well, I could probably get a big doggy door right here, I'm just, I'm gonna move in a couple days anyway, but we could probably put a big dog door as well, just for fun, 
Because there should be enough space for there to be one right there. Oh. Oh, dear. Oh, well, it looks a little bit silly, so maybe not. That's the small one. Uh, the big one is... I think it'll still work, even if it's clipping on the outside, and we'll mostly see it from the inside, so... We'll see. We'll see. I don't know. <laughs> it's the dog going outside. Ask it to go potty, come on. Oh, Flossie, congrats on finishing your project. How are you doing? Logic six and a half. That's not so bad. You can go to sleep. Three days till we age up. All right. That is plenty of time. All right, you can go to sleep. I'm so not used to playing on normal lifespan. I'm like, wow, we have so much time. <laughs> it's kind of wild. We've got plenty of time. Oops. I think that she left. Oh no, you're just outside. Okay, do you want to go home though? Can you leave me so I can go to sleep? Bagel, Tori, ghost! Thank you for the subs and stuff too, by the way. Thank you so much. Um, okay. What's the house life thinking? Well, we're moving to... We're gonna move to um, Strangerville. And I'm gonna paint it like a... Um, like a minty wood color, like a paneling. And I was thinking about making it like some sort of Victorian style house. Cause a lot of those houses in Strangerville kind of have those like old school mansion type of vibes like that. So I, I think that might be what we're going for. Can we build now? Airboy, I'm gonna wait the two days. I'm gonna wait until my Sim ages up into a young adult. And then as soon as she's a young adult, again, she's gonna be a young adult in like two days in game. Um, so give us a little bit more time and then we'll build it. I just don't wanna move yet. I wanna wait until she's a little bit older so it can be like her house. Um, Airboy, I, I love you bestie, but please don't yell at me to build. Um, I know you, you don't mean any harm, but uh, <laughs> it hurts my feelings when people like make demands of me, especially when you think about like the, the sheer number of them. It's like one thing when one person is like, why aren't you building? But then when there's like 15, it's it kind of stabs you right in the heart, you know? <laughs> so, <gasps> oh boy, am I being? Hi everybody, it's good to see you. I hope you're having a good day. Welcome in, it's good to see you. You caught us at a good time. We're like freshly doing the Not So Berry Challenge. Um, so you kind of came in at a fun time. This, this'll be fun. Um, I hope you had a good stream though. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming by. <gasps> it's 3 a.m. I can check, wait, hang on, sorry. Hang on, sorry, I can check finally. Neighborhood stories. A baby was adopted. Someone got a new job, that's boring. Ah, no one dies. Nobody ever dies. <laughs> I've been, I wait every single day I check and I hope, I hope so deathly that somebody will die and no one has died yet. Yeah, it resets every day at 3 a.m. sunshine. Um, 3 a.m. is the time that you can check. You love my checking. I know, I keep checking, waiting for someone to hopefully die and it doesn't happen yet. Um, can you tell that I want Sims to die? Is the, is the, um... Is that getting my point across? Oh, this is my cat, by the way. It's not just a picture of my cat. It is my cat. She's she's asleep there right now. It's live camera of the cat. <laughs> I realize when it's small, it's hard to tell that she's moving a little bit, but that is, that is a live camera of the cat, I swear. Um, okay, you can use the bathroom here. Just Scuba, Caddy, Aaron, Sydney, Salem, thank you all for the subs. Your game's the opposite, everybody dies? Why is no one dying in mine? In one of my saves, I had like three Sims die in two days. And now, like, now what? Nothing's happening. Is my terrain paint gone? Oh no, is it? <gasps> it is! I just probably didn't notice all winter because it was, um, there was snow on the ground for a while recently. Oh, that's so annoying. I, you know what, we're gonna move, we're gonna move soon anyway, but, um, that's so annoying. The terrain paint delete glitch sincerely is one of the more annoying bugs in The Sims 4. It like deletes all your terrain paint that you've placed down. Why has it done that? Ugh. I'll just do some like light adjusting underneath the bushes. Whatever, it's okay because um, we will just move in a couple days anyway, but 
The pond is from Get Famous. Be careful, your sims can die in it. <laughs> Bumblebee, thank you for the prime sub. Um, okay. Mop. Oh, it disappeared. Okay, you don't need to mop because it disappeared. Oh. It's rebate day. That wouldn't be a bad day to build the house, but I guess we've got loads of money, so we don't really need to build the house on a rebate day. We could just wait and build the house when she ages up like we wanted to. Um, I know, Solis, I'm so excited that when we get to stream finally from the new house, when I finally move, I mean, granted, my office is gonna be, like, so empty. When I move, we're gonna, because I want to redo my office a little bit, and I don't want, I want, like, a different kind of background, I think, so when I first move, it's gonna be kind of sad. It's gonna be, like, a weird, like, empty background. <laughs> um, but it'll be fun. I'm looking forward to it. It'll be cool, but that's, we still got a little bit of ways to go, unfortunately. Um, yeah, I was talking to Tori this morning about, um, you know, my, my new desire to paint my walls neon green. Um, you know, I, I feel like, uh, that would be a really nice touch. Neon green on the walls. Right? <laughs> okay, Abby, thank you for the bits. Kate with the prime sub. Donnie with the five months. Thank you so much. Um, okay, well, I should, hang on. Wake up. Stop doing that. Can I let the dog go pee? Ask to go potty. Anyway, highlighter yellow, perhaps? Hot pink? You know? All solid options. Why are you still sad? Seven hours? I want to flirt! Yeah, I just feel like the, the neon green would really be so nice on my lighting, you know? Um, I would make my face feel nice and green. Personally, I think it seems like- oh, I was happy for a second. For a second there, my sim wasn't even sad. Oh well. <sighs> um, sure. Oh, look, I'm not sad anymore. And I had nothing to do with it. I didn't do anything. Confess attraction. Compliment appearance. Come on. Hopefully it works and she doesn't get upset when I try. Sometimes confess attraction is, is uh... Doesn't go according to plan. Oh, Goopy! Oh, that's my dead husband! I heard you became friends with Tommy. She's pretty cool. Yeah, she is! I do miss you, Goopy. But he died of old age a while ago. You know, it's it's been a long time. I feel like it would be nice for us to move on. I, I think he's giving us his blessing, you know? I think he's like, hey, listen, I, I think it would be good if, if you um found someone new. That Goopy approved. Hey, great and happy. Thank you for the subs, by the way. Um, okay. Bits, I mean. Both were bits, not even subs. I don't know what I said that for. This will be fun. Confess attraction, maybe? Exchange numbers? I like it. Blow a kiss? I don't know. Come on. Today's mail has been delivered. Oh, 4,000 simoleon bills. Yikes. Go pay them. You think Barry is sick? Is she showing signs of being sick? She doesn't have any weird moodlets. I think she just looks a bit smug. <laughs> I don't know if she looks sick. I feel like she just looks a bit smug. She's like a bit pleased with herself, I think. She did? Oh, maybe she did and I missed him. Um, okay, well, I'm gonna keep trying to, uh, get you to date me. Ask to be girlfriend. Uh, Beckford, we're gonna keep their last name as Potts the whole time. Kiss? Suave kiss? This is fun! We're dating! I like it! This'll be good. Okay, I'm glad that she got to, you know find someone new. And she left. Okay. 
<laughs> that's cool too. All right, fine, that's fine. Look at how cute the dog looks. <laughs> Potato Sam, thank you for the subs. Do you know what? I really think that Cats and Dogs is probably one of my favorite packs in the whole Sims 4. <gasps> okay. Tommy says... <sighs> she says, I have a crush on you. Um, you know how you were literally just at my house and we were kissing and I asked you to be my girlfriend? Um... Tommy, I, I would argue that I think Barry has a crush on you, too. <laughs> that, that, we're on the same page. <laughs> Don't worry, we're on the same page. <laughs> she had to leave, she had to leave the house to say that as well. She left and she was like, I'm not sure if we're official or not. She had to call and make sure. Oh, <laughs> That's kind of cute. Well, don't worry. We are official. Don't worry. <sighs> Would I be interested in making a generous donation to charity? Yeah, that's fine. I got money to spare. You can have it. There you go. You ask your fiance every day if we are still dating. Yeah. I mean, there you go. Oh, Flossie has returned home with a school project. No, I'm level eight in my career. Why would I take your job off of level five? I'm not gonna like get demoted for you. <sighs> oh, I got another constructive bridge. That's the one that gets my logic skill up. <laughs> here, here, look, 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 here. You can come, um, maybe you could play some chess with one of your siblings. That would be cute. And then, I don't know. We'll go from there. Who's calling you? Everly, Reagan, and I were planning to spend some casual friend time together. Yeah, you can, I don't know who that is, but be friends. That sounds great. Anyway, I'm trying to get Flossie's fun up um, by playing chess with your sister. And then hopefully, once it's up a little bit higher, we can do a project or something. Willie and Famous and Camilla and Kat, thank you for the subs, by the way. All right. Oh, you are sick. Chat was correct. Your head is pressurized from your illness. Um, order, purchase medicine, buy that. There you go, kid, take the medicine and then you can go fix your kid's laptop because they broke it. Thank you. <laughs> All right, our fun's not up enough yet. You gotta play another game with her. Let's do it again. Come on. This is good. It's good for our, um, our skill too, you know? Works out pretty well. I like it. I like it. <sighs> Peggy, thanks for the 14 months too. All right, how f are we doing better? I mean, your fun's pretty good now. That should actually be okay. I think you can come take a shower now and then maybe get some leftovers. And then if you wanna go work on that, meanwhile, you might wanna come work on this and you can come work on this. And once you finish fixing it here, you can use the bathroom, yeah, yeah, good idea. I'll sell this. But I was gonna have her go feed the piranhas before they die. Um. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Eric, what do you want? Level five? No. Um, no, Flossie. Flossie's going to age up in two days, so she's almost there. Do we change our lot traits to help Flossie yet? Um, I actually don't think I have. She's doing okay though. I think we'll be fine. She's only a teen, and she's already close to maxing the skills, so. She's, she's gonna be totally fine with her uh, career and stuff this time around. We can really focus on our career. But look, she's gonna do this project again. We can hopefully get level seven of the logic skill doing it. And then maybe tomorrow I'll stop making her do projects and we can let her um, hang out with her girlfriend a little bit. Oh yeah, the pond is absolutely coming to Strangerville, Zoe. I, I simply cannot leave it. I love my little pond. 
and I will I will never leave it behind. All right, use the bathroom, take a shower. How about you? Yeah, you probably could do the same thing. Yeah, school projects came with parenthood. Parenthood is a really good pack for stuff. Who are you? Parenthood is a really good pack for stuff like that. Um, the school projects are a huge, huge plus. Um, sincerely, I like recommend it for, for that. And also a lot of the build stuff is really good in Parenthood. Um. Okay, come on. You're good? Okay, good. How about you? You're not quite good. Your, your fun's low again. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're level seven now. That's really good though. That's like actually good. I've I've done pretty well with um with her skills, considering like she's so young. Um, Rose, I'm gonna bring all my graves with me. There's quite a few things we'll bring. We don't have a fire toilet in this one though. Um, but I'm gonna bring like, you know, my loads of my stuff like that with me. Paintings, photos, um, probably this observatory I'll bring. <laughs> My dead cow plants, you know, we got a bunch of things we got to bring with us when we move. Um, I'm quite excited to bring the new one. What happened to the fire toilet? That's a different save. I, you're, you might be thinking about my YouTube Let's Play, the one that I play on my YouTube channel. They have a fire toilet. Uh, these Sims don't have a fire toilet. It's a different save file. Confusing, but yeah, different Sims. <laughs> Flossie's gonna be a young adult in like two days, Berkeley. So we're, we're gonna build our new house fairly soon. We're almost there. All right, come on. Sleep all through the night. Maybe save the game and then I'll check on my stuff. Oh, it's snowing. Oh boy. Got some spring snow over here. <laughs> oh boy. All right, well, once it becomes 3 a.m., I can check my thingy. Um, Ali, I've not fully decided yet. I think I'm gonna bring the whole Potts family with me, though. I don't think I want to kick them out yet. I'm not ready. I'm having fun still playing with them, so I don't think I'll kick them out. I think I'll bring them all with me when I move. Um, sort of like a normal legacy. I don't think I want to move out, but we'll see. Um, I'll, I'll think about it. <gasps> it's 3 a.m. I can check the day stuff. Please, someone die! Oh, neighborhood action plan's not right. The Kendall's got a kid, sure. Another kid was adopted. A roast master in the comedian career. A dog was adopted. Ah, no one has died still this whole time. <laughs> Not a single sim has died in this save from the story progression. And I know I have it on. I know I have it on. Make some mint recolored walls and, and CC things. Great, do you think? I I thought about that, but I also really like the idea of playing vanilla. Um, mostly because I pretty much always play vanilla, but that could be fun to make some like custom CC recolors for ourselves if we wanted to. Um, we'll see what we need and we can think about it. Um, change the weather so it's a constant blizzard, it might kill a few sims. No, no sims died, we had a blizzard the other day, but no sims died in it. Honestly, it's unfair. <laughs> what are you doing? Ew, the dog, wait, are you sick? Ew, okay, well, it's a good thing I've got some wellness treats. First, you're laying in the trash. Oh, I can sell those too. You're laying in the trash, and now this! Oh, I've got a whole bunch of things I should probably get rid of. Um... I gotta keep most of those. I might toss that, toss that, toss that. Honestly, I won't use these upgrade parts, and like that homework... See if we can clear it out. I wonder how the dog got sick after laying in garbage. Yeah, it's so weird! Who would have thought? All right. You pick up this wellness tree, and we're gonna give it to the dog. Oops. Already sick. I just got you, like, yesterday. There we go. Problem solved. Um, honestly, do you want to train the dog to sit? That could be fun. 
spend some time this morning working on some skills. Lillian, if, if you press the delete key, you can delete stuff like that. It'll sell it in your inventory. I'm just pressing the delete key. That's all. Tiger Lily, thank you for the 18 months. Uh, Klaus, thank you for the nine months. Thank you so much, everybody. All right, save game again. Just to be safe. My house is on the gallery, yeah. I think that the game thinks that it has CC though, just um, so you're you're warned. Uh, the game might think that it includes CC, because I had like some paintings and stuff in it, photos, and so the game is weird about that sometimes, but it doesn't actually have any custom content. So it, if you download it, it'll be fine. You might have to just search um, like with the include CC filter on for it to like properly pop up, but should be okay. All right, everybody off to school. Have a good day. See you later. Miss you already. Oh, someone made hot dogs. Oh, those aren't hot dogs. <laughs> from far away, I thought it was. In my defense, from far away, it looked like hot dogs and buns, right? <laughs> That's not hot dogs at all, actually. Not even close. All right, well, we'll put that away. And then I will sell this. Oh, you, you sleepy? Apparently, okay. Uh, I think the house is called like Potts Family Gen 10 or something, if you're looking for it. Something along those lines. Okay. Perry's calling. <gasps> you had a very nice date with Ramiro. Ooh, that's good to know. Oh, look, I'm flirty now. Just call me Cupid from hooking up other Sims. That's kind of cute. <laughs> I don't think I've seen that moodlet yet. Hey, book lover, thank you for the 18 months, or for the eight months. I, hey, I am so, so sorry to hear that. I'm so glad um, to hear that your friend is gonna be okay. That is so scary. Um, I'm really sorry to hear that. You don't like neighborhood stories? Really, Eloria, that's actually really interesting. Um, I, I love the neighborhood stories. I think it's so much fun. This, this is like my favorite update that's ever been added to The Sims 4. Um, Luna, thank you for the two months, too. All right, hopefully when you leave, I can speed up. Super speed me. Come on. No? Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, awesome. That's really good. Um, lifestyle? Okay, the people person lifestyle. Ooh. We age up in one day. I might actually age her up today, honestly. I might, I might get a move on, because I'm getting kind of excited. Promoted? <gasps> is that level nine? Oh my gosh, it is. We are so talented. All right, well, I might actually age her up uh, today. I think that could be fun. And then we can build a new house. I think I will. Cook a gourmet cake, honestly. Let's make a gourmet one for the kid. This is the not so berry Sam. Let's make something fancy. Oh, I'll have to invite over um, her girlfriend too, so we can age them both up at the same time. Come here, Bethany, let's go. Uh, lifestyles came with snowy escape. All right, you're feeling focused. You're ready to go. You wanna get some leftovers maybe? Yeah? Uh, well, maybe don't get leftovers yet. Actually, just talk to, talk to her. Mess around and shower, oh my goodness. With the whole family home? <laughs> With the whole family here? Bookworm, Maya, Ricky, Kashi, thank you all for the subs and stuff too. Oh my gosh. Oh, she's feeling flirty. Interesting. I wonder what trait she'll age up with when I do age her up. It should be interesting to find out. No, Flossie's gonna age up right now. I'm making the cake. It's not even her birthday, but I'm I'm getting excited and I wanna age her up. It's only a day away, so. I may as well do it now. All right. Add birthday candles. Let's age you up. And then maybe blow out the candles. Hang on, this is important. This is a life moment right here. Let's get a screenshot. <gasps> we're aging up, we're aging up, we're aging up, we're aging up. Ooh! 
okay. So in Not So Berry, by the way, if you didn't know, um, Not So Berry has like some sort of specific rules uh, with traits and stuff. Oh, that's the wrong button. Sorry. <laughs> that was my cat cam. I was trying to turn my display capture on. Uh, but Gen 1 has to be vegetarian, jealous, and materialistic. So I have to give her the jealous trait. Um, and she's gonna join the scientist career. Uh, I can link this down below if you wanna, if you wanna see this. I mean, we you can also just Google Not So Berry, um, if you want to. But she has officially aged up into a young adult. All of the traits, by the way, we sort of tried to base them off of the color of the, um, what am I doing? Off the color of this generation. So like Gen 1 is mint. Um, there isn't a lot of mint traits. So we did green. So like all the traits are green in this generation. That was sort of the idea on purpose. Um, if you ever were wondering why we picked those traits, we, we sort of tried to pick a collection that sort of fit a color theme, but also made for an interesting like um, multi-talented sim, you know? Like she isn't just like a one-dimensional, which a lot of times my sims end up being. I tried to make her have like more than one hobby and stuff like that. Um, well, you've aged up. Do you want to add some birthday candles back on that so we can age up your partner? <laughs> Thank you. Let's age up Bethany here. I'm actually so excited to see what traits she ends up with. It's gonna be so fun. All right, let's go look at what her final trait was. I'm gonna save the game first and we'll go see. Come on. All right, what are your final traits, my friend? What did you end up with? Um, okay. Alrighty. Vegetarian, creative, and lazy. Okay. I think creative was the third trait. I'm pretty sure she was vegetarian and lazy beforehand. So I think creative is the third trait she aged up with. I like that. That's cool. Can you auto-age other sims? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, the reason I aged up Bethany now is because my sim was dating her, so I wanted them to be the same age. She would have aged up probably in like two or three days. Um, but I just aged her up now so that they would be the same age. It's just easier because they were dating in high school. Now they can keep dating. Um, but yeah, I mean, she would have aged up soon anyway. <laughs> so, uh, but they, yeah, we have, we have aging on automatically, but... Um, Sometimes it's just easier to do it all at once like that. Now they're birthday twins, you know? <laughs> Peanut, I don't care, Miss Bookworm. Thank you all for the subs and bits and stuff too. Did Snappy stretch? I didn't even see. I feel like you can barely see her. Here, look, I'll pick up the camera so we can get a better look. Here, here's the cat. <laughs> I'll put it back. I've got this camera resting on a mirror, by the way. That's what I set it on. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to. Sorry. Sorry. I didn't mean to wake you. Sorry. Love you. So sorry. Oh, I feel bad. I scared her. <laughs> then she went back to sleep. <laughs> oh, no. Um, okay. Anyway, let me add all of the... Okay, let me just run around and grab things I don't want to leave here. Uh, for example, my photos. We're going to want to bring those with us to the new house. This thing is going to come to the new house. That computer is super expensive. I want my like bag of money. This item, uh, this thing will come with us. Honestly, I might keep my fancy appliances. This little cow plant thingy. Add the partner. Not yet, Mona. We're going to wait. They don't need to move in straight away. We can have some time. We can wait. My pet photos. Um... We can keep some of the like artsy stuff for my sim. We had a fish. Let's see, I painted that. I'm gonna need this. That's my postcard. I like that little thing. I think for the most part though, it's like the graves and the... Pretty sure photos glitch. We take them in the family inventory. I've never had that happen. Is that true? Um, is that true? Should I put all of the graves in my Sims inventory? I think that might be easier for me. It's happened to you, but not consistently. Mm, I think it'll be okay. I'm going to bring all my graves with my Sim 
just to be a little bit safer. Well, I'm just gonna bring him with me in my little backpack. <laughs> Thanks for the raid. Oh, you, you, um, now look, it's not what it looks like. <laughs> it's not what it looks like. Don't worry about what I'm doing right now, okay? I'm not adding like 50 graves into my Sims inventory, okay? It's not what it looks like. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> That's a fake one. Uh, I might put that in my inventory, my household inventory, so I don't forget it. Anyway, don't worry about this, all right? There's absolutely nothing to see here. I've not done anything wrong. Don't worry. <laughs> Danger fallen, Arthur, thank you for the subs. What, what a time to come into the stream. Um, no, it is it is exactly what it looks like. I But in my defense, I've been playing this save for like 11 generations, okay? So I've got a lot of dead sims, but I'm moving now, so I need to bring them with me somewhere else. <laughs> Okay, this will be fun. Do I need anything else? Anything else, like, urgently? Um, I might bring my TV because it's a little bit expensive, but... I guess... I could bring the la- Oh my god, I almost forgot my simmies! <gasps> that would have been a disaster! A sim died trying to get those. Alright, otherwise, though, I'm not sure anything else is, like, urgently important. I- I might- Oh, I might bring my little robot and the laptops. The toilet? Bestie, that's the wrong save. You're thinking of my YouTube channel. I've got a fire toilet and a different save. Um, but not in this save. There's no fire toilet in this one. Alright, I think we should have all of our family heirlooms, though. Laptops, graves, chickens, the knitted turtle. Did I forget the turtle? Oh my god, I did. I thought I brought it. I guess I brought the octopus and not that one. This should be okay. I might sell that. Eventually we could have different sims move in here. Is there a painting in the bathroom? Uh, not in that one. Not any paintings my sims made, no. If you press backspace, you can put things in your inventory straight from your keyboard. Um, just backspace. And it works like that. Delete will- will kill things. Now the chest table- we can buy a new chest table, that's fine. I got my dead cow plants. I was gonna delete some of these little projects so they don't get lost here. Sell that. I might bring the extra easel, I guess, but... Otherwise, that should all be fine, I think. Okay! I got the light show, don't worry. Uh, we got all the things we need. Um, now we're moving. Um... How do I- why do I forget how to do this? Move household. Okay. On the way. The bike? I don't need the bike. I mean, I could, but not that big of a deal. Um, I'm not that worried about that one. That one's just decoration. <laughs> this is the end of an era, besties. We've lived in this lot for like 11 generations, and we're finally moving. Um, it's weird. Well, here we go. Well, we're gonna move into Strangerville, believe it or not. Um, we were gonna move into this empty lot up here in Strangerville. Sell the furniture. 71k is pretty good. Goodbye, my friends over in Willow Creek. Hello, Strangerville! <laughs> um, the family's all coming, yeah, we're all moving together. All together for now. Should be fun. It's kind of weird. We stayed in the same lot for so long, but... It's time for some change. Nope, 30 by 20 is the same lot we always had, Mona. Um, okay. I think... With that, I guess we're ready to go. <laughs> Uh, let me change the title of the stream in case people tune in. Building a mint not so berry house. Um, and we'll get started working on it, I guess. So, well, let me see if I can walk you through. Oh, the lighting is great. Okay, perfect. Um, let me see if I can walk you through like some of the idea we're going for. Basically, you know how these houses are kind of big 
older style, a little bit fancier. Um, I kind of want to do something along those lines. I think it's sort of fun. We've got some good opportunity to do some bright colors on the outside. Um, the lot is really cute. I feel like this is going to blend right in. Um, I think this kind of thing would be really cool. Um, the title did confuse you. Why did the title confuse you? I've been playing- <laughs> You must have came in at a really weird time then because I- <laughs> I was playing and now I'm building. We were in the process of about to start building, so. Um, anyway, this is the, uh, sort of the idea I was kind of going for. Um, but we will mostly wing it. I'm not gonna build any specific house. I'm just gonna, um, I don't know. Some of them are like really wild. I don't want them to be like, this thing, this is kind of like these Queen Anne kind of ones. They're sort of like the ones that are in Strangerville already. Um, we don't want it to be anything too wacky, but hopefully it'll be pretty. And again, it's going to be a little bit smaller. So, and it's going to have like the minty wallpaper. So I was thinking we would use, um, let me just put a wall so I can show you. From Spa Day, there's like this um, really nice... I mean, it actually has two good swatches, but basically like this color and this color are two really nice, like kind of minty wallpapers from Spa Day. Um, and I really like that. And I feel like that's gonna work out really well. They look kind of McMansion-y, just you. You think those look McMansion-y? A lot of times these are really old houses. I think when people talk about, maybe this one's a bit McMansion-y, this one looks like it could be a little bit newer, but a lot of times these houses are like really old. Um, and very detailed. I feel like when you talk about McMansion-y houses, you're more so referring to houses that are like going for this style, but they're like this far away from the neighbor and they're built like cheaply. Um, and they like look really grand and ridiculous, but they're not actually that grand on the inside. Um, McMansion is kind of usually going for that style, but poorly. <laughs> it's kind of what people associate McMansions with, but, um, Anyway, we're- the house is gonna be smaller than that because it's only on a 30 by 20 lot and I don't want it to be huge. I'm thinking, well, right now we need to have three bedrooms, um, maybe four, but I would like to have maybe an office, um, if we're lucky, if we can sneak one in. I'd like to have a bedroom, obviously, for my Sam, her mom, and then her siblings have always shared a room. I think they keep sharing a room because I- I want her to only have two kids, so. Um, I want to have a slightly smaller- where's Snap's face? Look, look, look. You can see she's like in a ball, kind of. Her ear is up there. <laughs> it's just a weird angle. Um, I could probably try and move it, but I don't know how long the cord... I can't move it much more. But... Is that... Oops. Okay. The cat cam doesn't want to move much further than that. I don't know if I can move it any further. The cord is not long enough. That could work. Um, anyway, she looks cute. It was just a weird angle. <laughs> um, okay. Sleepy and Vintage and Lizzie and Bam and Operazi and Sad and Ashley and Jess and Emily and Danger and Fallen. Thank you all for the subs. Um, that looks cute. Okay. Wow, I'm kind of nervous. This is like a big deal. It's our not-so-berry house. Um. Do I really get nothing from absolutely nothing? Yeah, Zelda, that's- that- you- when you redeemed it, it told you you are gonna get absolutely nothing and- and you got absolutely nothing. <laughs> it's just a meme one. Oh, now look what we've done. <laughs> Everybody's gonna redeem them all. Sleepy, thanks for the 15 months again. Did I say that already? I don't remember. Um, okay. Well, let's... Let's build something, shall we? I'm probably gonna record this as well. So that'll be kind of fun. Um, all right. Build a box and we'll get like some sort of Honestly, I'm I'm thinking like wrap around porch like this is gonna be a hopefully really beautiful sort of space Um, The one thing is I want the front door to be kind of lined up with this so We'll have to keep that in mind Hmm I don't know how wide I am comfortable with it being, but let me just put like a random tile down so I can see it. How long am I gonna be live for? Probably like five hours, Cupcake, I'll be live for like, you know, three more. 
probably will take me that long to do the house. So, okay, well, I feel like if I got the stairs to be lined up over here, this would be better. That that could work. So let me just stick some stairs down so I can... Obviously the terrain paint's not gonna stay like that. It's just more so I can, like, sort of figure out the size of this place. Um, I'll probably scoot it forward on the lot a bunch, too. Um... Hmm. Okay. Is it like a solid color challenge? Well, no. Um, not really at all. I guess, you know, with, with Not So Berry, a lot of times, um, people sort of intentionally try to have, like, the whole house be kind of a certain color theme. Uh, on purpose, because it's fun, like, on the mint gen to have a mint house, but you certainly don't have to do that, nor am I gonna, like, I think when you talk about, like, the solid color challenge, a lot of times it's a little bit ugly. Do you know what I mean? Like, a lot of times the solid color challenge isn't, um, like, the prettiest house. <laughs> um, sort of intentionally, right? So, that's not really what we're going for with this. Um, this is gonna be, like, a mint-themed house, not, like, an only mint house. Um, because I think that would be a bit stinky, you know? I'm still looking at that picture, by the way, and I'm trying to decide if I want it to look a lot like this, or if I want it to be, um, I don't know, different? I'm not really sure what I'm going for yet. I need to think about it some more. Um, I need to think about it some more. The pink one is nice. It is nice. There's a lot of nice photos of houses like this. I'm not really copying any sort of reference photo, though. I'm mostly just building um, in a similar style. <laughs> so, um, I think that'll be good. I don't want it to be too tall, is sort of my thing. Mm, can I make it smaller, maybe? Let me scoot you over one tile. Oops, that was correct before. And then you scoot over one, maybe? Yeah, I don't want it to be a huge looking house. Oh, Snap is being so cute. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I like that. I don't know what it'll what it'll be up there, but we'll think about it. I might even put medium walls. I don't know, we'll think about it. I also, I'm not really sure how I wanna go about this exactly, so we need to do some more thinking. Too wide back more? Two more wide back there, maybe? We'll see. That could be okay. I don't know if I necessarily want, um, the tower to be, like, towering. I'm not sure how high up I want it to go. Um, I'm trying to think. Again, we have lots of time to, to think and adjust on this. It's not like we're gonna get stuck with any one thing. Mm. I should do a different size of this. Put it in the bottom too, down there. I, it's gonna look okay if it's off a little bit. You'll see what I'm gonna do. Um, we'll, we'll get there. Don't worry, just give me a sec. Um... I'll put you there. This is gonna probably wrap around the whole back, but I just don't know how big it's gonna be yet, so... Ignore that for now. Um... Kayla building in Strangerville. I know, you never thought you'd see the day, right? No, I don't, I don't even hate the- the Strangerville world is great. I just don't really vibe with the storyline of Strangerville that much. I- I sort of wish that, um, there was a little bit, uh, more replayability of Strangerville is- is more so the- the thing that I find 
bad about Strangerville. I, I just wish that um, it was easier to play Strangerville more than once um, and have it not be like, you know, boring. <laughs> That, that's the concern that I have with it. Does that make sense? There, Strangerville sort of has no replayability in that sense. Um, ooh. Go back. Will I do this wider? That is the real question. Do I even want it to be wider? I mean, it might be nice if the porch was bigger, but then like, I think I need to have the porch wrap around at an angle. Oh, besties. Will this be a speed build? Probably, Hannah, we'll see. Um, I'm one thing at a time though. <laughs> you know, I'm, we're, we're gonna build it first and then we'll see if, if I'm gonna post it on YouTube afterward, you know? Um, okay. Oops. Oops. All right, we might have some issues with this clipping, but we'll see how it goes. Basically, I'm trying to um, get this wider like that. You see what I mean? So you can have a nice angled piece of the roof. Oh, snap! Oh my god, look how cute she is! Oh! <laughs> I could cry! She's being so cute! Oh, I'm really glad she's in here right now, this is so fun. Anyway, that could be good. I'd probably then scoot this out a little bit though. Yeah, that's all right. I like that. I like that. I might have this um, have a bit of an overhang on it as well. Very small piece of wall there though. There's enough space for windows, that could work. Okay, I like it. I think that'll be super cute. Uh, it's actually quite simple too, so. I like it. Um, I can get a chimney maybe up there, or maybe I won't do a chimney. Maybe I'll put like a little um, sunroom of sorts. Just heard Dan's door. Yeah, he just closed it because he's gonna stream. <laughs> uh, Maya, Chelsea, Perez, doing swell, Sammy, uh, Josie, and Tess, and Peggy, and Glenn, and Sleepy, and Tattoo. Thank you all for the subs, by the way. Um, this will be okay. I think this will be nice, actually. We'll just cover it with windows. Or it depends what it ends up being on the inside. But I think it would be nice to have, like, some sort of, um... Mm, don't love that roof. Might use this roof again. Mm, a little bit tall. Don't like that. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> um, maybe I will use this one. I'm not sure about this. Glass roof? Oh, good God, please no. I will- I would literally rather delete it than put a glass roof. We're gonna have to come- we're gonna revisit that. I'm sorry, besties. I love you all so much. I do, I really do. But, like, we- we can't just put a glass roof in every build we do, okay? <laughs> The thing about um, glass roofs, in my opinion, is that I I really don't love um, most of the like swatch options that we have. Like I feel like sometimes they're a uh, little bit weird, and they don't match the windows. Um, and I I don't really like the glass roof pieces in The Sims, um, so I I tend to use them only in very specific circumstances. Um, oh, that won't work properly. It only works over there because we've got the, um, I can make it bigger, I guess. Uh, but it only worked 
in the front because we had the thingy. Should I make it even bigger? Eh, it might look good bigger. No, I like it better when it's smaller, I think. It can be big back here, though. Anyway, I, I really struggle to use glass roofs and have them not look weird in The Sims. That's my main thing. Okay, lots of porch. Lots of porch back here. I might even put it like all the way to the back and see if we can get like, I don't know, something centered instead. Maybe that would be cool. Yeah, I quite like that actually. Want the roof cut into the rooms? Sometimes it does practical turtle, sometimes it doesn't. Um, we're gonna have to deal with that when we cross the bridge. It, it, when I say sometimes, I mean like it's the round pieces that you have to worry about. The other ones won't cut in, that's no problem. Uh, the round ones are kind of weird and glitchy though. So, I don't know, we'll have to see. <laughs> we will have to see. Can Snappy breathe like that? Yeah, she can breathe. She sleeps like that a lot. Look at this. She's got her face in the pillow. <laughs> Looking really good, Snap. You look really good. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you look really good. Okay, let me see about some of the stuff from Strangerville. I think that would be fun. Strangerville, 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 Strangerville. What am I doing? Strangerville. I'm lost, there we go. I was thinking about this one. I don't wanna use the green though, I don't think. Um, I mean, I might, but I also don't love this fence. Oh my gosh, I have an idea. Let me paint the walls first. Let me paint the walls first with the spot A wallpaper I wanted to use, and then we can see about like, tying things in. Basically, I was thinking about doing that's not it, this one. Either that color or that color. Um, I kind of am leaning towards the lighter one, but we'll see. Um, and then getting some sort of accents on it. Um, that green doesn't really match perfectly, but I was just thinking about the ones, do the windows from my, okay, the windows from Wedding Stories do come in like a really bright minty color. Do you think, it would be weird if we used those. I mean, keeping in mind, I guess it sucks that it's like beige and not white. That's the one thing that I'm worried about. Um, Strangerville has some really nice windows too, which are also very fancy. Um, they come in like a green color, but the beige kind of works. Yeah, I don't, um, I'm just worried about when we're trying to put a lot of white like accents and stuff, like when I put like this up here, I'm not sure. Dark paint would contrast better. We can put the darker paint color. I need to wait, wait for it. I'll, I need to think about it more. We can decide that once we actually pick a color scheme. One step at a time. Oh my god, look at her. Oh my god. <laughs> look how cute she's being. Oh, I could cry. I wanna take a picture. <laughs> she's comfy, okay? <laughs> for the Strangerville ones. Well, if we use the darker wallpaper, the Strangerville stuff, oh, I don't know if that accents it very well. I think I like the darker wallpaper better too, though. Um, can you go down to the regular? How am I gonna, where am I putting the columns? I do it on those corners? That looks blue to you? Okay, so that's, 
not good. Um, I mean, this one is more mint for sure. I agree. But then that poses the question, like, oops. No, I can't put it up here properly. You're gonna see it with the roof. Maybe you won't. Oh, it's fine. Never mind. Do I put this on all of the sides of it? Does that look weird? Maybe if we had it like, like that. Is that better? I like that better. Okay. I don't know about the color of the walls or the windows yet. So let's just keep adding things to the house and then we can, we can revisit it, you know? Well, part of me is also thinking, like what if I made the um, house a little bit smaller on this side, purely so the windows fit a little bit better? Um, I know that's a bit silly, but then I would like, make it a little bit taller. I don't know, I'm just thinking the, the window, like one window centered would fit better on that. If we did it like that. Oh, now this is no longer centered. That's okay. Maybe it being a little bit smaller will be better. And then I can fit that sunroom I wanted. But no glass roof. No glass roof. Yeah, I think that's better. Okay. That'll be nicer. And then there's more space here for a bigger thing. How tall the towers and the houses around? You want to know how, fit, how well it fits in and stands out? It looks, the other ones are very similar. <laughs> Mine just looks cleaner. Um, the other, the other ones around are, are very similar looking. <laughs> okay. Um, put it like that. I like how, stop, it didn't even stay. I must have grabbed it instead of copying it. What a flat roof with a fence border on the sunroom? Maybe. We'll have to think about it. We can get like a really tall foundation. It's just a question of like, what do you want it to look like? Hard to say. I don't like that. I don't know. If I use the bricks, the bricks with the diamonds might actually be okay on this. Maybe white brick? There is no white brick. <laughs> oh, Bestie, I, I too would love to use some white brick. Um, I am fully with you on that. Unfortunately, this is The Sims 4, my friend. And we don't have anything like that in the... Oh my god, it looks horrible. I can't do that. The bricks actually look so weird. <sighs> Foundation options are so... slim. I don't really want to use, like, that stone. Did mine the red brick? I think the red brick might might be okay, too. I feel like it might be a white lattice. I would use the lattice, but I don't know if I would use it on this whole place. Kind of like the stone. I don't know if I like the stone. I need to think about it. I need to, I, can I let it sit on there for a little bit while I think about it? Because that will help. The problem that I'm having with the windows is that I really like the mint on that, but I don't like how it's got like a beige base to it. Um, I wish that there was more like white or something to the base. Um, I might put a, hang on, I might put a chimney here. But I wish that there was like some more, oh, maybe I won't put a chimney there, never mind. Um, Yeah, there's only two of these windows too. It just comes in like that one and then a smaller one. I like it, but I don't know if it's gonna work. 
So I'm, I'm leaning towards not using it. And then, like, at least the Strangerville stuff has, like, I don't know if I want to use the green, but say we do use the green, Strangerville has, like, loads of options. Um, which will help, I think. I don't think I want to use this fence. I don't think I like this fence. I think I'd rather use something different. I don't like the green. I think it's too much. I'd rather have a little bit less. We can keep the columns though. I think the columns look cool. Or maybe not. I'm not sure. If you use the green strangle stuff, use white siding or vice versa. Well, Kiki, we can be a little bit extreme. Um. We can- we can be a little bit extreme with- <gasps> What?! Hang on! My mom just said- ah! Sorry. My mother just sent a picture of a puppy and said that her friend just got a puppy a while ago, but they're bringing the puppy over to my parents' house. <sighs> so there's gonna be a puppy there? When?! This is so annoying. You couldn't have come like three hours ago. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna get off stream. Don't worry. I'll get a chance to see the puppy eventually. Don't worry. It's okay. I will be sad about it, though. Look at the sacrifices that I'm making for you all. She said she is out and about and will swing by. Oh. This is unbelievable. It's okay. It's fine. My mother will send me pictures and then one of these days I'll get a chance to meet it. Everything's fine. Just end stream and go see the puppy. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good idea. Um, this is the fancier looking one. Ooh. That actually looks quite cool, I think. Yeah, I like that a lot. Oh, wow. Okay. That is super nice. And then we can get, like, something pretty right there with the stairs. Fits the vibes? It does. It does fit the vibes. How big is the house? It's not huge. This will be okay. We should be able to make this work. See, this is what I meant by the- you see how it's clipping? You see how weird this is? It's clipping in that room, but then I delete the wall and it's not clipping anymore. So hopefully we have no issues once we place the floor plan. Um, Simsy using medium wall height. You know, everyone always freaks out about that. I think you all misunderstand me when I complain about medium wall height. The, the issue with medium wall height is not that taller walls are bad. The issue that I have with medium wall height is that a lot of the time, there's not a lot of windows that fit on medium wall height. Like, you know how uh, when we get a game pack that comes with new windows, like, for example, um, in Realm of Magic, there was a bunch of really tiny windows and then a bunch of giant windows. And there wasn't, a, like, a good... Like, these these aren't so good necessarily. They kind of work on medium. It's a, They look terrible on tall. And that's the problem I have, is the, the lack of options for those wall heights. It's not that the wall height's bad. Um, okay. I missed the tower roof? Oh, I did. Anyway, some of them have, um, some of them have, like, worse options, basically. <laughs> Alright, I want to use, like, a sort of pretty, how about just the white wood floor? The white wood floor will look nice out there, I think. Um, oh, we can use the Strangerville doors. That's actually really good, because they're so pretty. Look at that. I might use them in white. Oh my gosh, that is so nice. Strangerville has so many good doors. That's that's the best part of Strangerville for sure. I might use this door in the front and then the other one in the back. Because this one has like a mail slot. It looks like it could be a front door. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. Alright, now the question is, do I want to just use the white windows? I don't know. I don't know if I want to use the Strangerville windows or not. Because again, they're a little bit, they're a little bit small. 
for the tall or for the medium wall height downstairs. Wish we had like one more variation of them. Those do look nice though. Might be able to make this work. Look at the cat. What are you what are you doing? <laughs> that can't be comfortable. The way she's laying, like there's no way that's comfortable. <laughs> She's so weird. Okay. Um, those can be lower down on the tower. I might just put them in the front. I don't know if I like that. I might like sneak them over so it looks like they're, that one's a little bit too far over. But if I get them so it looks like they're up on the edge, that could be better. Try the pointy windows, what, on the tower? I'm not sure if I like the pointy windows. I might use the pointy windows down on the first floor. That might be okay. Hmm. Oh, it looks like a bay window. That's actually quite nice on the inside. I might see if I can just like scoot it the tiniest little bit over. So it looks like it's clipping a little bit less. Oh, cool. Okay. I like that. Anything in the top of the tower? No, the top of the tower is probably just gonna be decorative. It's not really like good functional space. It's so small. Like, you could, you could maybe stick a ladder to get up there, but even then, like, not- oh, not really. The walls are such weird spots, you can't really do that. Um... I don't know if I like those windows or not. I need to think about it. It's not as, um... Like, besties, I almost want them to have the mint, like, the green in them. I know it's like a slightly di- Oh, why does that not come with- Oh my god, do you see what I mean? Why does that have different swatches? Why is that only solid green? Why? Give me one good reason why it does that. That makes no sense. Oh, that's too tall for this wall. But like, why would they have different swatches? How, in what world does that make sense for them to do? I'm okay with that. The window is, I don't really care if it's like above a little bit. I feel like that's fine. Make it as low as it'll go. I have to deal with the green on the inside, but like, yeah, everything's gonna be green anyway. Maybe just change the pointy windows. Do you want me to make, you want me to the pointy windows to be green? I don't think I like how the, I think that the green on green is too much. <sighs> we could use these probably instead. Why does this window not have identical swatches to the one with shutters. Do you- this is, this is why I always use the base game windows. Because at least the base game windows match. Do you know what I mean? Like, you- you just can't- I guess it does- it is supposed to look like that with the white, but like, why doesn't it have a, a green- I don't know, it's just so annoying. Everything about it is so annoying. I don't like how that looks. Like, I genuinely don't like that. And then even then, this doesn't have that, like, cream color. These ones have cream. These ones have cream. This, there's no cream on this. There's full cream, but there's no white with cream. So, like... Why? Now I'm wondering, should I do, like, some mix of yellow in there? 
Because I think they all come in yellow. Mm, that's too much, I think. I'd almost rather have these be, like, f solid white if I was going to do that. No, I think that's too much. Different wall color. No, we want to do this wall color because it's it's a not so berry house. So it's supposed to be all... I think I don't want to use the Strangerville windows. I think we'd be better off with no Strangerville windows. Let's use the Strangerville door, but not the Strangerville windows. Well, we can revisit that. I'm actually going to put some floors inside. <sighs> I'm frustrated. I don't really care what it looks like. Just pick any floor for now and we can always adjust it. Um, like, what if we went for, like, this kind of window? Like, the more fancy base game ones. Because at least the base game ones all match, and then we have, like, a million different variants we can pick and choose from, you know? that This is why we always turn back to the base game ones. Because, you know what? They might just be base game windows, but at least they match. Like, there's two different sizes of this same window. That's what I need. It's a good vibe. I kind of like that. I think that looks really nice from the inside, too. <sighs> that comes in green as well, but I don't know if I want to do it or not. I need to think about it more. Oh my god, look at her. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> so cute. Okay, and then we can use, like, this window on the tower. Nice, lovely, simple windows on the tower. You see what I mean? This will do. This will be okay. I'll just use those. Or maybe I'll use um this one on the tower. Okay, scoot that over so that the tips are touching. Oops. Scoot that over, scoot that over. I think that's okay. I have seen those, yeah, MV. I've done, I have also done streams of literally just my pet sleeping. I did a few when I lived at home still. I've got like one of my dog, one of a different cat. Um, I, I have also done a few streams of literally just my pet sleeping. Like, at this point, like, four or five years ago. Um, it's kind of fun. Ooh. See, that could be a nice window option. And then it's different, you know? I like that, actually. Okay. Uh, you know what, besties? I'm feeling better about this. I might even scoot it back, like, one tile on the lot. Okay. I may use this same window here on the side. I think that'll look really nice from the inside. Although maybe I will sneak that down a tiny bit, yeah. Um, can we get, like, that's kind of fancy. It looks like one big window. There's a lot of windows in this house, which is actually a really nice touch. We can get some big ones down there. I think this might be too big for up there, but that's okay. Because, like, well, could I put it in the front? I don't know if that's weird or not. Your Sims girlfriend just had a baby with her husband from story progression. This is the worst day. Oh no. <laughs> oh, hope I'm um wow, I'm terribly sorry that your Sims girlfriend had a baby with her husband. <laughs> a 
Ashley, Silence, Jekyll, Dom, uh, Naya, and Avin, Mac, and Honey, and Madam, and Fiona, everybody, thank you for the subs. Um, yeah, we moved to a new lot, Mint, for the not so very Mint chat, we decided to, to move over. Thought it would be kind of fun to switch to new house. Um... What if I put, like, two of these next to each other and scooted them together like they're one window? Or just one? Maybe I'll just do one. Maybe just one is okay. Oh, snap. <laughs> She's being cute. I hope I'm actually that's really funny that that happened though I I'm really excited about weird stuff like that happening with story progression um I think it makes the game really fun so I well I am somewhat sorry that happened to you I'm also kind of excited about it so love the build but you're distracted by snap aren't we all a little bit though aren't we all a little bit okay this is pretty good. I wonder if I can scoot it over. I know I scooted it over that far because I wanted it to be more in line with this, but that's okay. It should be fine. And then in the back, we can have like a lovely big backyard. I feel good about this. Let's see about some sort of floor plan. You know what? Let me save. <laughs> save as though. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, new save, pots, new house. Okay. Just so we don't lose it. Um, okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Sorry, I'm checking somebody's chat history in Dan's chat right now. I said a weird thing in my chat, so I'm just making sure. Um. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> All right, anyway. Um. Snap, you look really good, by the way. You're, you're doing great. Um, really appreciate the angle. <laughs> you look a bit like a chicken, but thank you. <laughs> okay, is there anything like a- is there like a nicer wood floor? Oh, this could be fun. Like the light color of that. It's kind of fancy, you know? <gasps> no, 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 no. Oh. No. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Well, it was fun while it lasted, I guess. <laughs> Snap. Yeah, she's she's sitting next to it, so she might get back in it. Let me see. Oh, I turned my face cam off, not the cat cam. That's my bad. I turned the wrong thing off. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Um. Anyway, I, she might come back. We'll have to see. I won't. I'm not. I mean, you know, we can't force her to stay in the thing forever, but it's fun while it lasts, you know. Um. Oh, geez, the, the tall walls are gonna be hard to work around with the house, I think. Let me... Should I just let them have, like, a really tall staircase? That's kind of my first thought, is, like, what if it's, like... Or... What if it goes like that? Or possibly one further down? Oh, well, that's what we- I don't know. Staircases are scary. I don't know where to sneak the staircase in. I'm wondering if I could sneak the staircase, like... Um... I don't know. so weird. Love L-shaped stairs and entryways. I know, but the house is, like, skinny. I wonder if we made, like, a... 
sort of custom like oh wait we could sort of sneak like a little staircase in this front room and we could try and make it into just an entryway you know oh that's really weird can i make well hang on there's no way to get out of this room though <laughs> Um, well, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, what if... Okay. No, that, this isn't, it has to be, I think this has to be, like, all one room. That could be a bathroom, maybe. And then, perhaps... I don't like how far back that is. This floor is base game. That's a base game floor. It didn't used to have that swatch, though. When they did that huge swatch update, they added that swatch to it. Now, they added quite a few swatches to it, actually. I wonder if we could put the minty stuff on the inside. Well, what would this room be, then? Like, what? what is this? What is this room? Formal living room? Yeah, but then, like, what else? Well, we could probably make the bathroom bigger. So it's all... One wall. Um... And then I was sort of envisioning that may- I don't know what this is. Um... I was sort of envisioning that maybe... Hmm... I guess it could be sort of- I don't- I don't know. I don't think I like it like this. I'm gonna try again. Can I make the staircase like- Oops. Stop. I want the staircase to be more like that. That's kind of what I'm thinking. And then, like, well- I don't know, because then this could still be, like, the little bathroom. We can have the stairs cut into it a tiny bit. And then if that was more centered... If... That becomes the living room. This is a sort of formal dining room that's small. Mm. Well, I don't like how skinny it is. And I don't really want it to be all just one room. I don't like the- I, I need to have it be more open to the back of the house, I think. This is weird, I'm sorry. It's gonna take me a while to figure this out, so bear with me. <laughs> we got time, though. <laughs> Leah, Annie, Mac, uh, Nisha, and Sophie, and Bacon, and Lil, and Mac, and J-Master, and Ashley, thank you all for the subs. Um, yeah, spiral stairs only took up four squares. I know, back in those days. Life was easier. We could completely fold the stairs, like, back in on themselves. Um, that could be one way to, like, sneak it a little. Um. Ooh. I wonder... Because that could still be a bathroom like I wanted it to originally. Hmm. What if we, like, tried to sneak the back of this to be a little bit bigger? Can I make this... I mean, it's- it's weird, for sure. It makes the house, like... I'm just thinking, if it was, like, the tiniest bit bigger, this could become an office, you know? Like, this would be a super nice office. It's just then, like, the porch is so weird and skinny. Well, what if it was like that? I don't know, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I think it's just a little bit too small. At least it was before. 
Come back. Come back. Put the columns back. A little bit taller. That works still. Like the mudroom idea? Well, why... <sighs> Why would there be a mudroom in, in, in this area? <laughs> like in the, the, I don't know, I feel like with mudrooms, people are often talking about like the room off the garage or like the main entrance to the house might have a mudroom nearby. I don't really, there's not like a need for a mudroom in the Sims. And I'm not putting laundry in the house. I don't want laundry. Um, so this room is, is gonna serve a purpose that is more similar to an office. Like I'm gonna put the desk in there probably. Um, and it just happens to have the main entrance to the back of the house. When people talk about mudrooms, they're often talking about, like, um, maybe it's a hallway, maybe it's, like, a tiled space, maybe it's your laundry room, and it's, it's, like, you know, you come in, you have all your dirty, snowy boots on, and you can, um, set them down, take them off in that area instead of, like, tra tracking it all through the house. Um, like a utility room, maybe. I, I don't really have mudrooms here. I live in Florida. <laughs> Um, we have, like, laundry rooms, I guess, sometimes, but it's not really the same thing, I don't think. Um, I don't know. I don't really feel a need for that kind of thing in The Sims, though. I want this house to be a little bit more practical than a lot of the houses we build are, I guess, because this house needs to- Oh my god, I literally despise that. Why? Why is that- <sighs> I don't want it to be on that side. I don't want it to be on that side. I'm so annoyed that it's doing that. It almost makes me want to put like a full wall there. I'm serious. Like I'd rather have the wall than have the thing look weird like that. But I like the wall better. I, I like the wall better than how it was before. I'm serious. I think that's okay. And this will be like our, some sort of formal living space or something, I don't know. Um, and we've got a nice arch. Now I can put pictures- yeah, I can have some photos here on the stairwell. That actually is a good thing. Can they still use stairs of the column there? I don't know. I would bet they can. I would be very surprised if they couldn't, but we can test it later. I'm not gonna test it right now, I don't wanna run the game. Um, Okay, put those further over. That'll be a nice little sized ba bathroom downstairs. Of course the bathroom has that beautiful window. Um, okay, well, let's see if we can make this work upstairs though. Cause that's, that's also a big concern, right? Um. <laughs> um, okay, let me think about this. So we might be able to sneak like a couple of on suites. Like maybe why? Give me one reason why it's doing that. Oh my god. Oh my god. The Sims is so annoying. If I make it smaller. Okay. Oh, besties. Our patience, it is it is being tested. I- you can't do it like this, though. If I make it smaller, then it clips. <sighs> the Sims 4 is... Um... What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, the Sims 4 is is soul crushing. Oh, here we go. That's lovely. I'm. <laughs> uh, you know, <laughs> Locker, Ellie, Luna, Mac. Thank you for the subs. <laughs> yeah, you're all saying frustrating. Here I am coming out with soul crushing. That's a little bit worse. <laughs> you're being nicer than I was. Um, okay, so... If 
if we had this be straight and not angled, uh, that wouldn't happen. We could fix it. But I'm also kind of struggling to figure out what to put in here anyway. Like, I'm kind of struggling to, to resolve, like, how I should have organized those bedrooms. It's a weird- oops, it's a weird shaped house. Um... you. I didn't even know you were in here still. You're sitting on the floor in the sun? There's like a patch where the sun is shining in, you know? She's sitting in it. <laughs> oh, bless you again. Why are you sneezing so much? Are you okay? The cat, by the way. I'm talking to the cat. I'm not just saying that for no reason. I think I have to redo the floor plan again. I don't know if the stairs work there. I Don't get me wrong, I want them to, but like... Can I scoot him over one? Is that like super weird? No, you then like enter into quite the hallway. What if we had him sideways? What if they were like... Or... Okay, not that staircase. Um... Go like, hang on, shoo. Come on! S s oh. oh my gosh. Is it because of the column? I think it's the column. Okay, there we go. Finally got it. Um. Okay. Mm, maybe that's all right. Get the wall like that. Probably put it all the way around. It's kind of a weird little sneaky little corner. But that might work. I think I like that better. I feel like that could work better. How does that look for up here? Okay, so this room would probably still be a bedroom. Um, the hallway is gonna be quite small, which I don't love. Oh no. I think the house is like a little bit too small. That can be an ensuite. This room will have an ensuite. We'll probably have this be like the main bedroom so that it'll have a bigger ensuite. And that's still clipping. Oh my gosh. This this is annoying me. I would probably literally I would oh. Oh my god, the angled roofs. Besties. I could scream. Oh, so that's fine. That's fine, really? That's okay. <laughs> Can you think of like any reason why- oh my god. Corin has to relate. Welcome. Thank you for the subs. This is like <sighs> I don't even know how to go about that. Like I truly I don't know how to um I don't know how to split up the hallway. Cause this is really small. What are you gonna do? Do it like, like, what's that? I feel like the staircase needs to be like even further over one, but then like... Can't intersect with wall? Oh, sorry. Forgot that was there. Um, tower could be a bathroom. Well, that's, that was what I was thinking too, but even then there's like some weird space. Um... 
If this was over one, I think this would be better. Does that clip still? Yeah, a lot. Okay, cool. Um... Besties, this is not my finest moment. I'm doing it again. I can't figure it out in a way that I like it. I need to like it. If I don't like it, then I'm not gonna have fun. And I, we need to have fun playing the Pods family or else it's gonna be ruined, so. <laughs> Can we hide it with a tree inside of the house? Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, sure. All right, what if, um, what if that area down there becomes the office? Okay, what if we have most of the living space be in this area, okay? What if we split this up a little bit differently? What if we have like a little office down here in the front? All right, we've got a little office down there in the front. Um, I could probably give like a little, I could put the door to that. That looks weird, Never mind. Um, we can have, Probably the wall could come out a little in some areas. And we could still do the kitchen and the dining in here, like I originally wanted. Okay, wait, maybe. There's now no windows in what is going to be the dining room. So maybe we could put this whole thing as the dining room. <laughs> okay, maybe, maybe. And then this has to be a living room and a room for a staircase and maybe a bathroom. This is like the same as it was before. Oh my God. But what if the... Staircase was like... Now hang on, I'll get there. We can also put some big arches so that there you'll feel like you've got natural light in the dining room, it's just the one window. And then what if I, we'll put the door into that office room right there. Although it would be really nice if we had like access to the backyard from the front of the house. Cause that's how you get to the back. Hmm. Besties. This might work. Although that's not that's not gonna work as the living room. It's too small. So that's a problem. <laughs> None of these rooms work as the living room. They're all too small. Unless this one is the living room. And this is the the It would be one thing if it was all open, but I don't really want it to all be open. Oops. Can I make that bigger? That'd be the office still. Well, this, um, have a separate TV room. Yeah, but Christine, where? That's the thing, like, there's so many arches and weird windows. It's like hard to fit in the, I wonder if upstairs, TV room upstairs, maybe. This house, I think I need it to be a little bit bigger than it is, but I then it won't fit on this lot. You're feeling a bulldoze coming on? I've spent so long on it. I've spent like an hour on this. <laughs> no, I don't want to bulldoze it. I think I'm just not loving this as like a, a house that I want to play in at the moment. So I need to, we need to work on it some more. It's not, it's not there yet to a point where I would want to play in it. Oh my God, I'm... <laughs> Please! Why, why does it do that? <sighs> why, why do octagonal roofs clip like that? Nothing else does that, it's only them. I might have to kill it. I don't want to have to, but I might have to kill it. 
And if I do, then then I do. So be it. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. If we made it just straight, it would be way easier. So... We talked about it. I think, unfortunately, it might be time. Come here. You would come here. It's so large. Heartbreaking, but necessary. Uh-huh. Why does it clip like that? It's so sad. It has so much potential. And then they go and they have it clip like that. <laughs> the Sims team is gonna make me cry. All right, no, I'm not gonna cry. It's a meme. Okay, well, that'll fix the clipping. Um, and then, well, there might be some clipping up here still, so don't get your hopes up too high. Oh my god, imagine we had like a huge room like that. I could probably actually, um... Let me put like a wall. Well, I'd probably put like... There'll probably be a bedroom here. And there would probably be... Oh, geez. Long hallway is ridiculous. This window is a problem. Um, nope. I was thinking this could be a room, but that's such a long, weird, skinny room. And then there's no, like, proper upstairs bathroom. Oh! No, this is fine. Okay, hang on, look. Really long hallway, but <laughs> hear me out. There's an ensuite and a hall bathroom. I might be able to make this longer. Should I make that longer? I know it comes out like really far now, but then it's a bigger room and that could be, oh, they have an ensuite. Oh, there's two rooms with an ensuite. Okay. This might work. I still need to figure out how I'm gonna lay out the furniture downstairs, but this might work. So there would be like, this would be maybe the parents' room. That's the bathroom, that's their ensuite bathroom. Um, We'd have, like, you have your own room. You, Lucky Duck, have an ensuite bathroom. And then... Oh, I guess maybe I'll make this, like, angled. And then that's the hall bathroom that is shared. Maybe I'll make this, like, angled too, so it's... No, this room is so weird and long. <laughs> it's kind of odd. And then it's only three bedrooms. It's three bedrooms, three bathrooms. It doesn't really need to be that big. I guess we could probably have like, I mean, this could be like a giant bathroom if we wanted it to be. That's shared by everybody. I don't like the weird skinny room. Okay, well the next thing I was thinking we could do was put like, We'll open that up. Makes the hall- oh my god. Makes the hallway a little bit better. Um. Well. I guess I could give- We can make this into a closet off of this bedroom if we wanted to. There's literally no reason to have a closet, but we could just to say we had one. Kind of a big house for a legacy starter? Well, uh, man, I don't know if you've been watching the streams. If you're new, welcome. But, um, we, this is Gen 11. <laughs> so it's not really a legacy starter. <laughs> um, this is, it's Gen 11, so we've been playing for a while. Yeah, the closet gets a window, but, window, but the bathroom doesn't, apparently. Yeah. Um. I might even make this a little bit. Should I make the room weirder shaped? I like this window, but the window, that's thats a big part of what's making this difficult for me, that window. Because um, I can't make the room any smaller. This could be okay. I just don't like the long skinny room, but if we put two beds in there, it might work. Um, okay. Let me just put some tile down in the rooms that are going to be bathrooms. So that I don't forget. 
Just put like any tile. Bathroom, bathroom, bathroom. Closet spot could be a tiny office. It could. It could be like a little office nook, maybe. We'll think about it. Um. I really wish that I had more empty wall space in here because what I really want is for this to be the living room. And I wish that I could stick like, I need a, I need empty wall space somewhere that is good for me to put like a TV on, you know? Um, right now I'm kind of thinking it's gonna end up being in here. We have like the couch facing it and the TV would be there. I do have a TV so I can set it down. Um, anyway, this is gen 11 of my legacy, but we're starting gen one of not so berry. Does that make sense? We played like 10 generations and now we're doing a new thing with the same family. I'm probably gonna end up cheating a lot of money away in the future though. Um, oh my God, the cat's coming back. I repeat, the cat is coming back. Come on, lay down. Good job, Snap. Good job. All right, I might have to move the cat cam to be better, a better fit for her, but we'll see. Um, I did that when I thought that room might end up being an office, but now I guess maybe we could have that be an office still. That would, that would be okay. Um, Maybe the dining nook could be snuck back here. Picture if there was like, you know, dining table, some sort of space in there. Where's the kitchen going? Bestie, I don't know. <laughs> Things are not going according to plan. <laughs> we are not having a good time right now, can you tell? <laughs> Um, no, I'm not sure. I, I am also trying to figure that out, my friend. I am also trying to figure that out. I'm thinking, originally we were talking about putting the kitchen in here, but the windows are kind of weird, so. We could do, like, um, some sort of galley-style thing with, like, cabinets on either side. Um. Well, what, is this now, like, a hallway? What's this, then? Well, maybe... Maybe we do have a hallway. Or maybe we, no, maybe it's not a hallway. Maybe you just go straight into the kitchen and then you have to come from the kitchen into the living room. I don't like this house. It's, it's stressing me out. <laughs> I don't like it. Um. I'm gonna scoot this over one. It doesn't need to be centered because, well, I'm the one building it. <laughs> and I'll do what I please. And I want it to be not centered because I feel like it's gonna be easier for me to get some doors in. Um. Okay, well now I've got an office. You sense a bulldoze? I would bulldoze it and try again. I'm not even kidding. I'm not doing good with this one today. This one is really hard for me. Kitchen could be where the dining nook is right now. I mean, it could be. I would probably, if I was going to do that, I would probably um, straighten it out again. If we put the kitchen back here, I, I wouldn't have this um, the way that it is. The one, the one concern I have with, with doing it like this is that, um, truthfully, I really don't, ooh, why did I get rid of my column? I really don't think that, um, there's enough space for cabinets if we did it like that. Um, and this is in a weird spot, this door. So you couldn't have like cabinets on either side because now this is in the way. Oh game, you are hurting me today. And it's my fault I built a weird house. The shape of it is just 
kind of odd. <laughs> Little one and Gray and Della, they were the subs too. Um, oh, the cat left. When did she leave? I didn't even see her leave. Oh, wrong thing. Sorry. God, I'm falling apart. Um. Well. Yeah, it says I'm not muted because one time my mic was broken and my whole chat was like, you're muted, you're muted. And then I had to be like, I'm literally not. So I made this to be like, I'm not muted. You can't hear me, but I'm not muted. My mic is just broken anyway. That was what happened when that happened. <laughs> um, hey, Abby, thank you for the nine month resub too. Put a kitchen where the office is in here. Um, that was definitely part of what we originally thought. Um, I might just delete all the walls again. God, this one is really stressing me out. I really feel like I don't know how to do this floor plan in a way that's nice. It's because I'm trying to break it up into lots of smaller rooms, but it probably shouldn't be lots of smaller rooms. Like it should probably be um, a, some sort of open floor plan, but I'm, I'm kind of trying to go for like a older style house, so. I don't really want to break it up like that. Okay, I'm kind of thinking maybe this could be like the formal dining room in this area. And this is just an entrance, okay? You just walk in, this is merely the entry room. Okay, maybe We do it like that. You come in, there's a formal dining room sort of across from the door. There's a little arch that takes you into the living room. This will be the living room. No, guys, I don't like it. Oh no, this is really bad. I don't like it. I don't like the house. What do I do? I can't make it work. I don't know how to make it work in a way that I'm gonna like. I'm not sure what to do. Bulldoze it? I don't want to bulldoze it. I'm gonna save it to my library, just in case. I like it, but it's just not... The floor plan's just not coming together in a way that is nice. And I really need to like it, because I'm gonna play in this for a long time. Um, maybe we can come back and try and finish this version another time. Oh my god, this is a disaster. I just, I, like, I don't like it. We'll probably rebuild something very similar, though. Just with a slightly different structure. Oh, no. <sighs> Today is not going well. Today is not going well. Oh. It's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Oh my god, sorry, my mom is sending me pictures of that puppy that's there visiting. I'm gonna freak out! I would show them to you, but they're like in front of my parents' house, so I can't really show you. But my my parents' friends got a puppy recently, and they brought it over to meet my family today, and it's there. And here I am, bulldozing my bill! <laughs> it's just painful! It's just painful! No, I'm not gonna, don't worry, I, it's, the puppy's gonna be gone by the time I get over there anyway. I don't need to go see, I'm not gonna like end my stream and go see the puppy, it's too late. Um, but anyway, it's a shame. It is a shame. Okay. Oh, jeez. <laughs> this is not good. This is not good at all. Okay, maybe if there was less of a porch too. Let's start again. We're starting again. It's gonna be very similar. Hopefully it'll take us less time because we know what we want better now. You know? We know more so what we're going for. I think I might do only a two wide porch as well. But like, you know what I mean? We, we kind of have a better idea of what we want it to look like. So hopefully it'll be easier this time because we already built it once. 
And now we're just gonna build it again, but better. Why did I move to Strangerville? Oh, Bessie, because I felt like it. It's gonna be similar, but we're gonna try and do some things better maybe this time. Do I wanna have that even? I'm not sure. Honestly, I might just um, angle that off. Have it be a little bit lopsided on the bottom. Ooh, that's not all one room. Oh, is it? Wait, no, it is one room. Okay, good. Okay. This house is for Not So Berry, yes. It's my legacy house that we're gonna play in. So no pressure or anything. <laughs> Uh, no pressure on that one at all, you know? We're just building. Everything's fine. Totally no pressure. Um, Strangerville. I'm sorry. I'm so picky about my own builds with this kind of thing. Like, I'm not making it easy for us to do this. Yeah, we'll put the doors there. That'll be okay. And then... I was thinking about just having the porch go. And we can do it really small. Maybe we could do it smaller, like, like that even. What happened? You in a shower and it's gone? I was struggling too much with the floor plan, so I'm trying to make a, a similar house that's a little bit different and hopefully will be easier to do a floor plan from. Besties, you have no idea how stressful it is to do this kind of thing on stream, by the way, in front of people. Making the decision to bulldoze the lot is not fun. <laughs> this is not going well. I'm feeling extremely stressed out. <laughs> Making the choice to bulldoze my dumb lot after an hour in front of 6,000 people. Oh boy. <laughs> you know, it... It could have, um, could have been better, but here we are, so. What if we made the porch wrap around, like, a little bit differently? Like, what if we, like, literally had it kind of wrap around some sort of thing up front? You know, like, what if we made it a little bit fancier? And then it could end there on that side. I don't know. It's kind of weird, but that might be interesting. Um, maybe I will have... Ah, uh, that can stay angled for now. I don't think it'll clip too much. This might be better for the way the back of the house will look than the front, though. Now that I think about it, that might be a better vibe for the back. You were in Strangerville at works? That's true. <laughs> we're in Strangerville, so anything goes. All right, maybe I'll do something like that in the back. We'll have like a full on... Um, like the porch will completely wrap around. I feel like that gives us kind of an interesting shape to the yard too. Like maybe we'll be able to... Um, Separated a little bit better. This could be okay. And we got loads of porch space, so we can put on the porch, like, hopefully some chess tables and stuff, you know? <laughs> you know how it goes. We can hopefully put some chess tables on the porch. <laughs> okay. We're in Strangerville because I moved um, the Legacy family out here. We I wanted my Sims to live in Strangerville, I decided. It's an odd choice, I'm aware. But that's the choice that we have made. Okay. Okay. Mm. I'm thinking. Is it because of the scientist career? Well, I mean, partially, I guess, but not not really. I mean, uh, we moved to Strangerville more so because we wanted to, and less so because we're doing a specific career, but. 
Um. That might be too big. I might have to shrink it a little bit. Too wide. Too wide. Oh, I'm so stressed out. Okay. What have I gotten myself into, besties? What have I gotten myself into? All right, this might be better. Let's get nice flat okay that'll be good will the townie sims do the creepy thing yeah they will <laughs> we're probably going to um have my sims like spouse do the uh whole strangerville story just to stop them from doing the creepy thing that's kind of what i was envisioning at least but yeah, the, the Sims will do the creepy thing, to answer your question, yes. <laughs> the Strangerville story has not been played through yet, so... <laughs> there will be creepy things going on in this town. One, two. Oh my god, that's way weirder than I wanted it to be, okay? <laughs> oh no, besties, this is not good. I don't really want that to be, like so long because the door is kind of okay maybe i'll make it like that what's the creepy thing what strangerville have you seen strangerville you know how they run around it's creepy what do you mean everybody in the town's like sick and and the town's being destroyed by a mother plant you know You haven't seen it? <laughs> okay, well, this version of the house is very similar. Um, so this might be a flop, but maybe not. We'll see. Have a good night, Hope. I'll see you later. Um, literally, I'll talk to you later, Hope. <laughs> Say hi to Madison for me. <laughs> okay. That's, that's nice. I like that. We got way more space to get, like, hopefully a way bigger thing going on over here, too. Oh, okay. I, I mean, it's similar, but it's a, it's a different shape a little. It's not exactly the same, so... This might work. Where do you take inspiration from for all these houses? Well, um, I decided that I wanted to go for like a Queen Anne sort of Victorian style with these builds. Um, and oftentimes when I decide that kind of thing, I might just Google like Queen Anne just to get an image in my head and to show the stream what that looks like and kind of what we're going for. Um, and then I just wing it. So with this, I've built quite a few houses like this. So I kind of have a idea of what I'm going for already, I guess. Um, but that, that's how, I don't know. Just Google different house styles to figure out what you want to do. That would be my advice. One, two, one, two. Let's have this go all the way around, all the way around. Okay. I think I might like this. I don't know. Is there a version of Stanley Humphrey on the gallery that doesn't do the creepy thing? What does that mean? What creepy thing do you think Stanley Humphrey does? <laughs> What's going on with the Stanley Humphrey in your game? <laughs> I'm confused. What does it mean? You missed the explanation of the, the creepy thing? Uh, Abby, I don't think we explained anything. <laughs> We're just talking about Strangerville is all. Um, if you've never seen Strangerville, maybe look up um, the pack a little bit so you understand the storyline of it. Maybe that would help you. 
basically there's like a mother plant that has possessed all the sims in the town and they walk around all creepy like it's kind of scary i'm actually surprised that you've never seen it i feel like that's a sort of iconic feature of the sims 4 even if you don't have the pack you might want to look it up so you can be um familiarized with the fear that is strangerville all right i might put a little dormer on the back of the house here All right. I'm glad I got to be the one to introduce you to the creepy thing though. <laughs> I'm surprised that um, that I had to be, but I'm glad I got to be the one to tell you about it <laughs> ever so slightly. You'll see once we start playing. I'm not going to unpause the game though right now. Um. If that's okay. This is your dream house style. It is really pretty. I, I also love this kind of house. I think it's really nice. Um, okay, almost done. Previous house is adorable, why did you delete it? Cause I couldn't make it work, bestie. Trust me, would you rather I cry about it? Cause I'm, I'm sort of near that point. <laughs> The house was stressing me out so much. I didn't, I couldn't get the floor plan to work. Um, look, this one came about a lot faster though. We already had an idea of what we were gonna build, so. I just couldn't get the floor plan to work how I wanted it to. It was weird and I was struggling and I had to, I had to try again with a slightly different version. So I built it again. It's gonna be similar though. It will be really, really similar. Okay, sorry if I'm like not um, interacting enough. I'm trying to focus. I'm not, I feel like I'm not doing a very good stream today. <laughs> Amelia, Pony, Lee, Mag, Ailey, and Redo, and Madam, and Marion, and Void, and Sarah, thank you all for the subs and stuff. Yeah, I feel like this is not my um, most quality content, so. <laughs> I'm doing good, don't worry. Okay, I appreciate that, Christine, thank you. I think I like it better having the smaller porch. That's one of the main things I changed about it is the porch is skinnier. Um, and I think I like the porch being skinnier. I think that'll help. Um, the rooms are hopefully gonna be a little bit less odd shaped, but we'll see. It might still be odd. You never know. Um, yeah, so Phoenix, we've been playing with a legacy challenge on Twitch here for like a year. Uh, we are on Gen 11 and we decided on Gen 11 that it would be fun to have the 11th generation be like Gen 1 of Not So Berry. So we like finished a 10 generation thing and now we're starting a new 10 generation thing. So when we're done, it'll have been 20 generations, if that makes sense. Um, but the idea was basically like, it'd be fun to keep playing with the same Sims because we've had so much fun playing with them this whole time. Why, why start with new ones? Just have like the Gen 11 Air be the not so very sim. You know, you've got some unpainted walls upstairs. Where? On the outside? If you mean on the inside, Bestie, we've not painted anything. But I don't think the outside has unpainted walls upstairs. Um, this is Strangerville, by the way, to those of you who are asking. Yeah, I've got all the graves fought. I'm not gonna <laughs> Besties, you think I'm gonna leave my graves? I've been building a collection of graves for 11 generations. Do you really think I'd just leave them behind? Where the bump out is, you think? I don't see any unpainted walls. I don't think so, but maybe we do and I'm just not sure. Um, okay. So this house is actually a little bit wider over here than the last one. I'm not sure if I want it to be like, ugh, I think I might have it be. I just struggle with windows when the wall is this width, but that paneling is actually from Strangerville. Um, that is a Strangerville paneling. Not, sorry, oh my God, Spa Day. Sorry, not, I knew it wasn't Strangerville, it's Spa Day. I'm, I was just grabbing Strangerville doors as I said that, so I, confuse myself. That's the paneling is from Spa Day. Um, 
Yeah, Anoria, I think we will. I think we sort of decided that it might be funny if we had um, my not so Barry Sim spouse do the Strangerville mystery to get rid of the weird stuff. Um, by the way, the term weird stuff is like quite literally how the Sims team describes it as well. They literally describe it as being weird, so. Um, hope that helps. <laughs> Chris said, Jacob, thank you for the subs. Okay. This is better. I'm liking this better and it's making me feel less sad. Okay, I think we're gonna be okay. <sighs> this stream is a disaster. This is like not going well. <laughs> um, okay, let me place the little thingies down. Perfect. Yeah, we're already playing on normal lifespan, TK. We've we've got it switched to normal already, yeah. Um, the emptiness adds to the strange. Right, 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 of course. Um, you know, thank you to the Sims team for teaching us that just building empty houses is fine for Strangerville, because it just adds to the strange. <laughs> uh, hey, Ben, thank you for the bits, by the way, too. As Christine said, be nice to Kayla. I appreciate that, besties. Thank you. Thanks for coming on this journey with me, as we are seriously struggling to figure this out. Because <laughs> this is not going well. Alright, I might try and do the floor plan before we go any further, because once we have the floor plan, I feel like it'll be a lot easier. This'll be nice, though, because look, we could literally just have this room. Like, you could just walk into the living room. We could just have this be a, a nice, lovely, big living room. And that would be totally fine. I can even have it be, like, even. You know, like, th this could be way easier than it was last time. Like, we've got a huge living room now. And I think that would be really nice. Um, and then maybe there could be, like... I don't know, we put the TV on that wall and have the... Should I put the staircase in here? Should I do it like this, maybe? No. Now the hard part is where to put the stairs. Yeah, exactly. Uh, now we're back where we left off, <laughs> but... No, we'll figure it out. It'll be okay. Um, well, if the living room is gonna be in here, this is not gonna work with the stairs like that, but... Um... Oh, jeez. Can I have, like, a hallway? Maybe you come into a hallway? Oh, besties. I think this room is too large. Let me just get a rug down so I can sort of try and figure out spacing of this. No stairs, only ladders. Ooh, good idea. That makes perfect sense, I think. Okay. <laughs> well, basically, there would be, like, a rug. Obviously, it's not gonna be this rug. I'm just thinking, like, how would we lay out the furniture in here? Um, that's why I'm doing this, is, is purely just to get a sort of idea for the scale. Um, okay, that- see, that- that information is really good to know, I think. Because I think it would actually be okay to have maybe the staircase be a big, long staircase in the back. Or, it's possible that we could, like, put it like that somehow. I don't know. This was previously, um, not angled. I added it the angle so the room would be even, but it doesn't have to be. Oh my gosh, wait a minute. What if it was, like... Oh, I've got an idea. What if there was like a, um, oh, well, I guess it could just be like that and we could have a door to the outside even. I don't know. But I was just thinking, what if we put like a half bathroom there? This would be fine. I think that fits the stuff well. I might leave that rug there for now so I can think about it more. I think that's better. I like how you come in to a, a room as opposed to like, 
trying to sneak everything in. Yeah, the half bath could be cool too. We have to figure out what we're gonna do back here with the windows. But if we stuck, I mean like basically if there was like just a little teeny tiny room here and then say it'd be a different tile, but say it's like that and then um, it's just like a little door right there and then that just has like a toilet and a sink basically. Um, or we could stick like a, some windows. I mean, there, it actually might be better to have windows there because it's like such a beautiful view, but we'll see what the outside of the house looks like. I might put a door there too, who knows? Who knows? We'll think about it. All right, and then we've got archways. Lovely big archways with lovely green in them. Can I sneak like a little wall there? Just to, I don't know, I'm trying to make it look better. Dog door, we could put a dog door. <laughs> we could put a dog door, that might be fun actually. We'll, we'll think about it once we start actually placing stuff. I think that'll be nice though. Just built-in bookshelves. I mean, we could put built-in bookshelves. I just, I'm, I'm looking at the view out here and I'm like, we probably should have windows there. Um, because the view is so nice, but you know, it doesn't have to be. Okay, so then you would come through, this is bigger. You'd come through into like, part of me was thinking maybe we could make a little hallway. Um, what if that becomes a little bathroom? We could do like little, little hallway. And then there's like a, there is a half bathroom, but it's a bit bigger. And then there's like all these arches everywhere. I don't know what this room becomes. We'd have like maybe the dining room here. We could have a second living room. Oh my goodness, it's huge. How do I split this up better? Yeah, Redhead, I did bolos and start again. I've not been having a good day. <laughs> Things are going horribly wrong. Um, welcome to the stream, though. <laughs> it's good to see you. Welcome back, I guess, I should say. Um, well, this could be the office, and then maybe this could be, like, the kitchen with a small dining table. This could all just be one room. You just walk into the whole thing. And then this is, like, the formal dining room. That might work. There would be like, I said, like maybe well, we could put this in the hallway more. It'd be like a little breakfast table and then big kitchen. You liked the small hallway? I didn't like all the arches. I think that was my problem was all the arches. I thought it was like too much. We can keep the small hallway, but like, I thought all the arches were a little bit much. We can revisit that. Downstairs bedroom? Why, we need an office. Dining, office, kitchen. Dining, office, kitchen. This works. Um, okay, so I'm probably going to sneak a little bathroom, like right there. And then that'll become a bedroom. Well, maybe I'll have it stop like that. We'll have to figure out the windows in the front still, so it might change, but... Um, we can think about it. Maybe it will be like that. I don't know. We'll see. There's like a bedroom. There's actually some very large bedrooms up here. Um, we can sneak in a big ensuite bathroom in for this room. Or I wonder if we could try and turn that into a, I don't know. I like this layout a lot better, I do. This is, this is way easier for me to split up, I think. I'll get another. I don't know, I'm trying to think if it would be good to have like 
We can always make that into a closet like we talked about having in the other one too. But that's two pretty good sized rooms. And then there's less bathrooms than we used to have because those would be bathrooms and then that would be a bathroom. But we could always have like this be an extra hall bathroom. I don't know. Um, could do a Jack and Jill bathroom for this one. Uh, this is gonna be like the parents' room, the bigger one, so I'd rather it be a private ensuite. Um, I was thinking like they would just have their own bathroom. Like that. That would be just their private bathroom. And then this one would be a shared one in the hallway. That would be a bedroom. That would be a bedroom. No, I'm not gonna do laundry. Um, Laundry would be fun if I wasn't trying to play in this- oh my god, the cat's back. Laundry would be fun if I wasn't trying to play in this house, um, for so much time. But the cat is back, and also she's got a couple fuzzies on her. You must have been underneath the couch. Sorry, Gorman, give me a sec. Just gonna get the fuzzies off of you. Sorry. She's returned. Okay. I like that a lot better. I think that is actually really nice. Um, although I'm- I might just let that be in this room. I mean, it's fine. It's a weird shape, but it'll be fine for now. We can always think about it. I quite like that. I wonder if I could sneak a little window. That's only the bathroom, so there's... Mm, it might not be worth it. Might not be worth it. Okay. This is okay. Now we gotta do windows. <laughs> I like it though, I feel like it works. Am I using those doors? Yeah, I am gonna use those doors. If you don't like green, you're about to have a really unpleasant rest of the stream, because this is the mint generation of Not So Berry's house. Um, so <laughs> if you don't like the color, um, is it mint the first gen? Yeah, Victoria, but we've been playing with this family for, uh, 11 generations now. We did, like, 10 generations of a regular legacy, and now we're doing- Gen 11 is starting Gen 1 of Not So Berry. Um. So, we've been playing with these sims for a- for a long time now. I like that a lot. I think that's really good. Yeah, I like this version of the house a lot better. It just- it took us a bit to like, you know, obviously figure out what we wanted it to look like. Um, which was what most of the first house was, was just us trying to figure out what it was going to look like. But now that we know what it's going to look like, it's- it's no problem, because we already, you know, we already built this once. <laughs> we just had to do it again. <laughs> so it was like, this is fine. It wasn't- it wasn't hard for us to redo this at all, I don't think. Um, Will I have the microscope of the house? Yeah, I think I will, Mona. I probably will have to. Um, am I gonna use Strangerville windows? No, we tried to, um, the problem that we were encountering with the Strangerville windows, and the reason that I always gravitate towards the base game windows is that there's just so much more variation of base game windows. Like, the base game windows are so far superior for this kind of thing. Because in the base game, um, you have, like, a bunch of different sizes of the same window, like, we have this window for medium wall height, and we have it for short wall height, like, we've got so many different variants, they all kind of match. Um, it's just a lot better for building, in my opinion, when you have, um, all those options sort of at your disposal. I don't know if I'll use that, though. Um... No, Kelly. Oh, good God, no. 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 <laughs> the question w was, will all of Not So Berry be in Strangerville? No. <laughs> Just this generation. Don't- don't worry. I'm not trying to stay in this, uh, in this world forever. Jeez. No, that would be horrible. I would be miserable. Um... Can I use a small round B window? Maybe. I have to think about it. Um... I don't know what I don't want it to be now. This one is bigger than before. I could probably move the cat cam a little. That's better. Okay. Um. 
oh, it's weird. The wall upstairs is different than the wall downstairs. So they're going to be in different places. Oh, geez. The person wanted me to use, someone asked about using the cottage living, um, this one. We could try and use that somewhere. That could be really cute, actually. I, I'm not opposed to that. Okay. Mm, I don't know what to put for windows. I really am not sure about this. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Okay. Um, also, Bianca and Brooke and Morrow and Rebecca in Nebraska, thank you all for the subs. I'm sorry if I missed those before. Um, okay, well, so this is gonna be the kitchen. Originally, we had done, like, some big windows like that on the side of the house for the kitchen. I think I might, uh, sort of keep that vibe going in here. Although I might raise them up enough to fit above the counter whatever counter we end up using. Um, say it's that one for now. Ooh, boy. That would be okay. One more than that. This'll work. This is fine. Everything's fine. What are we doing? We're building a new house for the Not So Berry Challenge that I've been playing recently. Why? Okay. I might just alt place them actually. Oh, cool. We can't center a sink with those. <laughs> oh, good. That's great, actually. Good, good. Okay. Oh, boy. Besties, we are in for it today. Okay. Well, we've got loads of windows. So that'll be nice. No matter what, it'll be nice. Even if they're not perfectly even. And if they make me feel sad, it's fine. Because <laughs> we've got extra. Um, okay. What about a bay window? We're going to put some, don't worry. We're, we're going to sort of use a whole mix match of things. Um, we had one like this one up here before. I'll probably put that sort of thing back. That's centered on the wall, but it's not centered with the door. I think it's better centered on the wall, right? That makes more sense. I think so. Oh, hey, Snap. <laughs> She's being so cute. It's so fun. Okay. Um, on the outside of the house. I was thinking we could get, well, ideally we would get some windows with some shutters. Oh, that'll be nice. Okay, and that's in the bathroom and it's also in the hallway, which is a good touch. Do I often have a cat cam? Yeah, whenever the cat's in here, I have a cat cam. Um, I obviously, I'm not gonna like force her to sit in here. <laughs> so it kind of just depends if she, if she chooses to sit in the bed where the camera is, but we have a cat cam pretty often, yeah. Whenever she's around and she's been around for a long time today, like for a lot of the stream, which is pretty fun. Uh, Kayla and Kieran, Abby and Trainwreck Tony, thank you for the subs, everybody. Use the StrangerVille roof bits, like the little roof accent pieces. Yeah, I mean, I haven't really worked on the roof much yet today, have we? Um, there's some interesting stuff like this that we might put in. I'm not sure if I want to put it across the whole top. Um, I don't know if I want to use those on this. I will probably put like, um, more likely some of this kind of stuff. Like if we got some pretty fancy, like things like this to stick in the top of that, I might put one of those. Just on the tower? We could put one on the tower for sure. That's That would be good, I think. We can use the StrangerVille one. I mean, why not? Oops. That is tall and pointy. Oh boy. I like it. 
This looks a lot better. Yeah, I think it looks better too. <laughs> and you see how much faster the floor plan was? It was unnatural. The amount of time it was taking me was unnatural. And the other one, um, this is a lot better. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do some like horrible bathroom stuff. It's gonna be kind of fun. The pots have moved to Strange World because we're starting Gen 1 of Not So Berry. Gen 11 of the pots, but it's Gen 1 of Not So Berry. Uh, so they've moved to Strangerville for uh, the new generation. This is our first time moving the pots as well. They've lived in the same uh, lot this whole time, so it's kind of fun. The kitchen's gonna be cool. I need to think about it more. Um... No, the tower- there's not a tower downstairs, Crazy Cat Chicken. I'm not going to add it. It's gonna ruin the porch. Um, I'm sorry if you hate it, but I don't really care, because I bulldozed this house once before, and I'm not changing it again. <laughs> I finally like it, so... <laughs> uh, Maddie Magpie, thank you for the subs. Happy birthday, Magpie. I can send you a song. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, sorry, I tried to do it really fast. Okay, now we're good. <sighs> focus, Simsy, focus. Let's get some big windows. I'm feeling extremely overwhelmed right now. I'm like kind of... <laughs> I'm like kind of on edge. I won't lie to you, besties. Um, I'm feeling weird today. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. I want to put two of these. I don't know if there's too many windows in the back of the house now. And that's also like a lot of windows. A lot of really big windows very close together. But I love the idea of those being there because this is the dining room. I think it would be so nice if we had them in there. Will I play or just building? I already uh, played a little bit today. We're trying to finish a build now, unfortunately. Um, so we were, we sort of switched gears after a couple hours into the build. Um, and we've been working on the build now. Alright, I might have less windows there because... I like the ones, I like the big ones on that part of the house, but we could do cabinetry. We could also maybe not have the windows, like, centered underneath the cabinets. I mean, like, we'll think about it. Um, but I don't love how those windows look from the outside, but I love how it looks from the inside, so I might just put some trees to cover it and then let myself have those. So I think that's gonna be super nice on the inside of the house, you know? I think that'll be a really lovely touch, so I would like to keep them. Other problem is that, um, obviously, uh, the stairs are there, so the windows are gonna be a little bit weird and off, but maybe we could put some sort of item here so that it doesn't seem as off-centered. You know, like, what if we, what if we use the chess table, for example? And maybe like hung something on the wall above it. I'll probably change it. I'm just thinking like, so we could try and, you know, re make it seem like it's symmetrical. <laughs> Kira, thank you for the five gifted subs too. Okay, this will be okay. Um, I might scoot you over like, no, I'll just leave it. It's fine. I probably won't use that though. Maybe I'll get some big windows on this wall. Are those all the same height? No. Oh, and then we can have like the, oh. It won't be centered with the TV. Well, I we can readjust that when we furnish the room. That'll be fine. I love the idea of the giant windows though. I think that's gonna be so nice in there. I'm very excited about it. Sadie, thank you for the three months, too. Okay. Um, I was gonna put... Okay. We had these windows before. On the tower. You have to put it a little bit lower than you might think, because we, the roof line is so long, see? Um, TV in the diagonal corner. You know, I don't love having the diagonal TVs in this game. I, I usually think it looks a little bit... I don't know, I prefer to have it, like, directly across from the couch, but we can always adjust it once we start actually furnishing that room. We did it like this before, and I thought that looked really nice. I might do it again. 
formal living room? Well, Kelly, it's gonna be a TV room. The house isn't big enough to have two, so. Um, why does spinning bother people? Just actual question. Uh, Mike, it bothers me. <laughs> um, it bothers me, it bothers my mods, it's really disruptive to the chat. I mean, listen, you don't need to spam. The chat's not going that fast right now. You don't need to spam things over and over again. It's really, really disruptive when people are like spamming the same copy pasted thing over and over when we're all just trying to hang out and talk about a build, you know? Um, it's really, really annoying. <laughs> um, especially because people will put like sort of irritating spam. Like they'll put like copy pastas or like, um, I don't know, big walls of text and that kind of thing is really disruptive to the stream. So you'll find that most streamers probably are not a fan of that. Um, Okay, I think, I don't know what windows to put in the front of the house. I've really, um, I don't know. I feel like, um, none of them are big enough. You know, like I, the ones with the shutters, I feel like I'd have to put like two of them. And then is that too big? Maybe. Maybe it is. I don't know. Um, this was gonna be the office. Let me think something through really quickly. What if we had like a funky little thing going on, you know? And what if we did something kind of like that? Um, I don't really like that so much either. Might get the roof a little bit taller, but that would be nice. This is gonna be the office space, so it could be kind of cute to have something like that in here. Do the same above? No, I want it to be different above. I'm trying to make the house look a little bit less samey. We want it to be a little bit goofy. Kind of fits the style that we're going for. I don't really like it that much, but. Fake balcony, what, from the top? From up above? I wonder if we could get another bay window. Get the bigger one. I don't know. I don't know if I like that or not. I need to think about it some more. I might put some windows like this. I'm just thinking these would be like basically um, on either side of the bed. There would be like a bed and then some bedside tables with windows above each. Um, and then with landscaping it'll blend in nice. Yeah, once we get some actual landscaping, I think it'll help. We can always come back and adjust that too. You know, it doesn't have to stay the same way. I think the bay window needs to be a tile up. This one? You want this higher up. Smidge higher, we can. Balcony instead of roof in that bit. Why does everyone keep saying that? Don't you think that would look really weird with the bay window? I'm not sure I understand the draw of that. Um, Caillou in here doesn't an amethyst and frisbee. Thank you for the subs. I think that would be really weird with the bay window there. It's not that big. Um, we have to change the window, and I don't really want to change, like, I don't know if that's really what we're going for. Maybe I'm wrong, but... Don't like the bay window. Okay, that's fantastic news, thank you. <laughs> Great, thanks. <laughs> oh, building is so difficult. Okay. Um, let's leave it and we'll sit on it for a little bit, okay? We'll leave it and we'll sit with it for a little bit. VJ, I'm trying to have different layers to it all. Oh my god. Besties, I can't- you can't make me hate this. Please, please, I don't want to think about the outside of the house anymore. 
this build, we're not gonna finish this today. I don't think we're gonna finish this today. Um, I'm gonna work on the inside a little bit now, okay? <laughs> For my own sanity, I'm gonna work on the inside a little bit now. <laughs> I, I need to, I need, I need to. Very badly, I, I need to. So I'm gonna. <laughs> Okay, um, I'm gonna do some white tile in this bathroom. We can't get a window, unfortunately, but that's okay. We will get some nice stuff going on. Oh, you like the cat? I know, my cat looks really cute right now. I'm having a lot of fun uh, with her being on. She's been sitting here for a while. It's kind of exciting. She's kind of come and gone, um, basically like all day. Uh, I don't think I want to use the... I don't think I wanted to have that. Like, I'm not really sure. And if I do this, I don't think the side, yeah, the sides aren't gonna match. That's annoying. She can sense how stressed I am, maybe. She's like, mm, Kayla's really stressed out trying to do this dumb build, so. <laughs> Maybe I should go help out a little bit, you know? Maybe I'll just pop in and, and sit with her for a while. <laughs> you know what? That's actually pretty nice. Maybe I'll put the linoleum in here, because that would look good with that. I just got to pick a different color of the walls, but we can come back to that too. Um... Maybe, oh, maybe I'll swap it. Hang on, I might put the sink directly like this. I don't know, I need to think this through a little bit. And then I'm thinking I would put the shower there and then I would get a toilet like right there. That was kind of my initial, can I make the end part a full counter? I like how it looks like this. I did it like this on purpose. Um, I'm sorry if you don't like it. I suppose, but I, I was doing that with the, the counter being not a full end part intentionally because I thought I liked how it looked. Um, yeah, I guess maybe something with a little bit of paneling could be nice in here. We could always go for like a slightly green color. We'll probably use that color a lot in this house. We could do a wallpaper instead. Oh. Oh, you know what? That is really quite cool. I actually really like how that looks together. That is super cool. Okay. I think this has potential. We just gotta get like some really fun decor in here and stuff. That's That looks really nice, I think. What if we got like this cabinet too, just to have a little bit more stuff. We can put some toilet paper. That's so fun. Oh my gosh. Okay, I like it a lot actually. I really like it. Anything sort of green? We'll go for very like, we'll do a lot of green and blues basically in this house. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to mix and match a lot to make this work. Um, Cause we don't have a ton of options. <laughs> but we'll we'll try and um, get some really good vibes in here. Your whole mood just shifted with that wallpaper. It really did, didn't it? <laughs> the wallpaper is speaking to me. Um, all right, let's see. Maybe. No. It doesn't have to be base game. We can just get something pretty, like some pretty flowers. These might be good. That's like a really nice oversized sort of vase, which could be a good touch. Yeah, I like that. And then we can get some like hopefully decorative stuff. Snap does look comfy. She's honestly living her best life right now. She's, she's living the dream at the moment. Uh, there should be a mint color on the towels now, but I, pr I probably won't put mint towels in here. I'm, I think, 
I hate to say it, but I think we've got enough green going in this room. <laughs> I feel like we should probably try and um, bring in some other colors as like accents and stuff for the rest of the space. Yeah, I might scoot that over. You're gonna steal the bathroom design? That is absolutely fine. You use this bathroom design, besties. Do, do whatever you so desire with it. I will not be offended. Um, okay, I like that. I think that looks pretty good. I might just get a towel. I'm pretty sure that base game one has some like kind of, yeah, we've got a few like minty options we can sort of switch back and forth between, but I might just put a white towel in here for now so that it's a little bit simpler. And maybe is there any sort of like, I won't use that in here. I don't know. I want to get like a small, small picture frame. Honestly, that could be good. Something just simple. And then if we get a better light fixture, this one is a bit long. It's a bit tall. I mean, it's going to, they might hit their heads. So maybe I'll use something like that instead. Well, that'll be good. Okay. And let's do something similar, but maybe like a, a different wallpaper in this bathroom. That wallpaper was from Cottage Living. Um, the one that we just put in there was Cottage Living. That could totally be a kid's room wallpaper. That's so fun. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Maybe um, mm, that might be too much. I might get something like too, too much as in like too modern almost. I might use that. It's a bit more blue, but let's use a lot of fun wallpapers in the bathrooms. I'm actually liking that idea. I think that's really cool. Is there anything a bit, oh, that's more green. Oh, that's better. And it has, it like brings in a really fun color scheme. I actually really like that because it ties in some pink. We don't have much pink yet. Well, we haven't furnished the house really. So of course we don't have much pink yet. <laughs> <laughs> There's not really anywhere for the pink to be. <laughs> we just started. Um, claw tub. I would have liked to, but I think it's too, um, I think there's not enough space. Okay. Are you going to need a bath somewhere? Yeah, but when I do, I'm, I'm probably, listen, besties, I hate to say this to you, but to be completely and brutally honest with you. I mean, if it really bothers you, I, I can switch it around a little bit and put a bath in here, but I'm I'm probably just gonna put a bathtub in the living room. Um, or like outside when I have a toddler. Uh, I hate to say it, but that's true. <laughs> um, when I eventually have a toddler, I'm probably just gonna put the bathtub outside, but um, we can put a bath, we can put a bathtub in here. We can, well, I'll use it in here. I'm sorry. I'll I'll use a bathtub in here. <laughs> I'm still probably going to just put it in the living room though when eventually the time comes. Um So I hope you like it. We are used to it now. now? Yeah, yeah, exactly. See? You you know what to expect. You've you've adjusted. This is fun. We can use some like fun fixtures and stuff that we don't get to use very often. I like that. Just vacuum the toddlers. Right, yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, Taco, RC and Ladybugs and Tortoise and Destroyer and Forest and Ernesha and Caillou and Iridescent. Thank you all for the subs, by the way. Um, okay, maybe this could come in no, that's bad. Well, maybe that actually could be okay. It's like a white towel. That could, that could help. Um, and we'll do something similar. Ooh, help. Why, why is the hand towel doing that? What the heck? It's like trying to place in the ceiling. Okay. Well, <laughs> I'll put a hand towel somehow. If it lets me. 
Yeah, you can wash toddlers in the sink too. Um, it gets their hygiene up a tiny bit, so you don't really need a bathtub. But this is okay. We can. We'll put. Um, we'll put this in here. It'll be nice. I'll. I'll like it. Um, no, this washing your toddler in the sink is kind of the same as like if you had your sim just like brush their teeth. It gets a little bit of hygiene, but you can just do it over and over again, um, and it it works the same way. But yeah, you if you want to, you totally can just wash your sim's toddlers in the sink. I mean it. It works, <laughs> so. Um, okay, I'm gonna come back to the back of that house. That's, I'm not really sure about it. That wallpaper is from the new pack. Okay, I might use this wallpaper in the downstairs bath again, because I really liked how that looked. Um, so I might, I might use it in the downstairs bath, just because I can use it again. It's not right next to it, so. Wait, you can wash them in the sink? Yeah, that's been around uh, for a couple years. Washing toddlers in the sink came um, in the update before Snowy Escape. So we've had it for a couple years now. Um, but yes, to answer your question, you can indeed wash toddlers in the sink. I'm not lying. Test it out. Okay. Um, get some little, uh, Planet Blue, if you click on the sink, it should just have the option to, like, wash the toddler. Um, it's, it, you just click on it, I'm pretty sure. I mean, you can check, triple check, but. Where's the lot? This is in Strangerville, actually, believe it or not. Um, I set this up in Strangerville. <laughs> so, um. How much longer will I be streaming for? I don't know. Um, I was sort of planning on getting off in like an hour. Um, I was planning on streaming for like five hours today. Um, so, I don't know. I'll probably get off around then still like we originally had planned. Eh, I want a fancier painting. Simsy, you can spend some money on this painting if you want. It can be expensive. Um... I'm thinking, like, maybe a cats and dogs one. She is pricey, but she is pretty. You won't even be able to tell it's in there. But, like, wouldn't... Wouldn't that... No, it doesn't look good with it. Never mind. It doesn't match. Um... Something with a gold frame. This one is... She is small, but she is mighty. So I might use that. Well, it's not the same color gold, but whatever. It's also too high up. That's better. Okay. I like that. I like that. Annie, Ellie, uh, Marinara, Alex, Mai, and Taco, and everybody, thank you for the subs. I need to close my curtains. I'm sorry. The sun is shining in so much in here. It's like glaring on my monitors. I can't have that. All right. That's better. No more monitor glare. <laughs> now I can look at my uh, computer screen more easily. <laughs> Okay, cool. We've got three bathrooms done. Um, maybe we could do, like... Hmm. Do I have any long upcoming streams planned? Well, uh, Angel, I'm gonna stream for, like, five hours today, which is not that long. Um, if you mean, like, long, long, like, 12 hours, I don't do her anymore. <laughs> I can't do 12 hours anymore. Um, that my my little body can't handle it these days. <laughs> um, the, I'm I'm down for like nine, not 12. Um, but I I'm trying to I don't know I don't have anything in particular in mind. But we'll probably do something some at some point. I kind of just randomly decide. Um, at most, um, probably a bunch like a bunch in May during my St. Jude charity event. I will stream a lot. So. Um, I guess keep that in mind. <laughs> um, okay. I think... Maybe I'll do this hallway to get it over with. Because the hallways are kind of boring. So I feel like if I just, you know, filled it up, filled it out, we'd feel like we made some more progress, and then I can reward myself by doing, like, the parents' room or something. <laughs> It'll be more fun to do that one, right? I like that idea. 
stick with the cool wallpapers. We're gonna use them in some places, but certainly not everywhere. I'm not gonna put like a, a funky wallpaper in every room. Um, mm, I might tie, I don't, it doesn't need to all be like green. We can tie in some other colors. It doesn't have to be like green everywhere, <laughs> you know? Um, we can put a bookshelf. I don't think I want that bookshelf though. Maybe I will put it here. In white maybe? I don't know. What is the unpacking you're doing tomorrow? Well, Alex, I was planning on playing a new game called, I guess it's not that new anymore. There's a game called Unpacking um, that we were planning on playing tomorrow. You can look it up if you wanna hear more about it. Uh, but I was planning on streaming that tomorrow morning. That is still my plan, but um, I don't know. It depends how we're feeling in the morning if I'm up to playing a new game. <laughs> I won't lie to you, Bessies. That plan may or may not change. I think I will still play it. I'm excited to play it, but I might, um, I don't know. I here. okay, I'm in a roundabout way. I'm trying to tell you that I feel extremely anxious right now. And I feel even more anxious when I try and play new games on stream. So if I still feel extremely anxious, I might do something else. And please don't shame me for it. <laughs> okay, that's the... <laughs> It's hard to play new games on stream because um obviously like you're you're sort of trying something different and everybody is um in inserting their opinions which is lovely but you know sometimes is a bit overwhelming. <laughs> so uh it can be kind of overwhelming to play like new games on stream um for that reason but it's always fun. It's just you got to be in the right mindset for such things. Um, oh, I have two of these. I should sell one of them. Oh, I should put my pond in the back as well, so I don't forget about it. People are gonna be like, what is that? <laughs> it's my murder pond. Even though it is scary and new, I do have 24 hours in it, if that helps. Oh no, I'll definitely like it. It's, no, I think you don't understand what I mean when I say that. Basically, when you play something that is new to you, uh, it encourages a lot more backseating. And, and also just in general, it's easier for me to brush off people being like, no, do this instead in The Sims, because I'm like, I know how to play The Sims. And I know how I want to play The Sims. Like, it's fine. But when it's a new game and everybody is like, do this, know that, <laughs> how did you not know this? Like, if, if people like really, um, if they've played it and you haven't, the dynamic kind of changes. And then people are kind of mean and pushy. Not everybody, it's only a select few, but it can be kind of overwhelming. Um, which is why uh, streaming new games is kind of scary sometimes for me. <laughs> Again, uh, nobody means any harm. It's not like anybody is like, you know, trying to scare you or anything, but um, it does, uh, it can kind of be a lot basically. Do you know what? I might try this with a different wallpaper. I might do like a white wallpaper in the hallway with just the green accents. I think that could be really cute. Um, I kind of like that better. Is that the new rug? That one is a new rug. Yeah, that is a new rug. Um, I was trying to look in my Sims inventory to see if I could find any like art where I wanted to steal, but anyway, it's weird. I, uh, if you'll see, um, that happens a lot when we're playing, you know, any game, but you, if you pay attention, you'll start noticing it. Um, and sometimes my little tiny brain can't handle being yelled at. So <laughs> that's, that's all I'm trying to say. It's not a big deal. Like it's fine. But if I ever like last minute change my mind and change plans for a game, um, you know, maybe I'm just feeling a bit overwhelmed. <laughs> Your brain is huge, shut up. All right, Miv, thank you. That's really kind of you to say. You like the old wallpaper? Yeah, I do too. I just, I'm trying to sort of mix and match some greens. Um, and I don't want it to be like too, too, too green. You would love unpacking? I think I'm gonna love it too. It looks like a really cozy game. Um, I think I'll like it too. Celery and Oro and Bella and Rain and Jeter, thank you all for the subs, by the way. Um, okay, maybe? Maybe let's do um, the main bedroom. This is like the the new Mint Sims bedroom. Let's do that first. 
I'm gonna give them a pretty light. Uh, it's on PC, oat milk. It's on PC. It might be on Switch. I don't think it's on Switch yet, though. But I could be wrong. Um. So we're gonna use the floor by made it look so nice. You know, Blood Tracer, there's so many things in this game that I also, like, never use. And then, you know, you see one person use it in, like, a different way that you hadn't really thought of, and it just completely changes your whole perspective of that item, right? Like, you see it and you're like, eh, I don't think I like that. And then, like, somebody else uses a, a different swatch or, like, uses it in a different way that you hadn't really considered. And it just really, truly, like, completely changes your whole... Like, you kind of forget that item even existed, and all of a sudden someone's used it in a great way. Like, same thing, I haven't used this floor in ages, but they added a bunch more swatches to it in that big swatch update. Um, and so there's a ton more options now, and it, this is a really nice swatch. I like that a lot. Um, okay, well, let's see about minty beds that we have. I'm looking for minty-looking double beds. Ooh. That could be minty. It's kind of a teal. But then do I want it to be patterned? I don't know. Um, and do I want to do like a... Do I want to do like a wallpaper in here? Or do I want it to be a solid color? Um, I'm not sure. I guess it kind of depends what I go for. Well, let's pick the, let's see about wallpapers. I, I guess there is a really bold wallpaper in the room next to it, so. You hate the word swatch? Yeah, the word swatch is a bit unpleasant, isn't it? Um, okay, set color intensity, all lights. Can you make them a little bit less yellow? Uh, this bed is from the uh, Cottage Living pack is where this bed came from. Um, or we could do like a taller paneling. I wonder if that might be cute. It doesn't really come in a minty. Oh, this comes in a minty color. Oh, that might be nicer. I love all the florally trim to it. Imagine the lights turned mint. I mean, <laughs> I, I could give us some minty lights if we so desired. I could, I could put some minty ones instead. Um, if for some reason that was something that we wanted, <laughs> I could, I could make that happen. <laughs> we could have green lights. I mean, oops, listen, watch this. Come on. Maybe not. <laughs> mm, maybe not. Probably, probably gonna be a no to that one. We're underwater. <laughs> it's scary, please. It's too blue, it's too blue. I'm not ready. Oops. Oops. Okay, sorry, I was checking to see, um, sometimes I see things in my chat that my mods ban and I wanna make sure I <laughs> know what's going on, so I was just checking the thingy. Anyway, don't worry, everything is fine. Um, shall I use, like, I don't think I want it to be all white furniture in here. I think I would rather there be some, some more substance to it. I really like this, but I don't know if I want to go for wood furniture. Um, we could use, like, cottage living stuff. Cottage Living has a minty nightstand. <laughs> no, but we could try and use that. I don't like that wood color. It's not as like formal as I want it to be. Never mind. I'll use this one. Mismatch the furniture. That's not a bad idea either. I wasn't planning on doing that though. Um, one of Bethany's favorite colors is blue. Just a hint. Well, Bethany doesn't live here yet. Tori. So, I mean, that's nice and all, but, um, 
you know, she might have to just... She might have to just wait until she gets a chance to come in. Who's Bethany? My Sim's girlfriend. <laughs> uh, Bethany is also a Sim that Tori made. Um, one of my mods made her. And then I ended up dating her. Not necessarily by choice, by accident, but... Is that color and intensity? All lights to be a little bit more yellow toned. Okay, I want to scoot this over. Basically, I wanna have these be directly above the nightstands, but I also want them to be closer to the bed, so. Bethany's gonna have to adjust. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Apparently Miv is not, uh, Miv doesn't care about Bethany and Bethany's wants. She said, Bethany, too bad, so sad. You're gonna have to get used to it. I might use this dresser somewhere. This color screams spring to you. It does a little bit. I'm I'm definitely overusing it, but obviously it like it's a not so berry challenge house, so you know, it it's it's gonna be overused. <laughs> we will be featuring a lot of the same color. <laughs> Uh, that's sort of the nature of the challenge, um, so. Meant it as a good thing? I know you did, I mean, I mean, like, um, in case anyone else tuned in and they were wondering why the heck everything is green, um, that is, that is fully intentional and unfortunately is exactly what we're going for, so. But it's a pretty color? It is a pretty color. You think a fireplace? I thought about that a little bit too, um, I am getting a little bit worried about the funds. Um, it would be so nice to have like a huge, beautiful fireplace in here, but um, I'm not sure. No, I don't want to use that one. I wonder if I could get that. That's nice and skinny. That could be cool. What is that fireplace? This one? Uh, this one's from Cats and Dogs. This one's from the new Decor to the Max kit. Um, both are nice. Uh, the new fireplace has some good swatches. There's not a lot of plain swatch- there's not any plain swatches though. Uh, I should say there's- there's literally not any plain swatches. Um, all of the swatches on that new fireplace, uh, kinda have some um, uh, some pizzazz to them is the word that I'll use. Um, so, yeah, the cats and dogs one is really big. It's really nice. Um, yeah, the, the swatches for the new fireplace and the new kit are, I don't know. I, I think that they might be, like, a little bit much, but, um, for a certain space it could work. I think it actually comes in like a kind of minty color, but I don't know if it, yeah, it has a, a really interesting minty swatch. We could try and use this in one of the rooms. Um, I just don't think that's gonna work in this room. You know? I really, really, really wish that this room wasn't so square. I think that's part of my problem that I'm facing. I'm like, Maybe I'll even, um, kind of expand it a little bit, just for the sake of having it be a little bit less of a square. Um, no, that's weird. I just, I'm, I'm sort of struggling with the fact that it's one big square. Because it being one big square, I think, makes it kind of hard to furnish. Oh yeah, look how weird and twisted she is. What are you doing? Why are you sitting like that? Doesn't it look, she looks weird. <laughs> Why are you doing that? Closet in the corner? I mean, we could, but I'm I'm a little bit worried about, um, I'm a little bit worried about that. I think part of me is like, what if we uh, added in some like walls? I don't know, I'm like, that's not a good idea necessarily, but. 
Um, she's literally minding her business. Okay, fine, Tori. I'm sorry, Snap, for making fun of you. You're just minding your business, and Lil Simsy is is laughing at you in front of thousands of people, and that's rude. And you know what? I'll stop. I, I won't do it anymore, Wormy. I promise. I'd like to formally apologize to my cat for mocking her in front of this large group. That was uncalled for. She looks really good. And it's perfectly normal how she's sitting. There's nothing to see here. Okay, well, I like that better. I don't like the rug, though. It's very odd. <laughs> I might even um, do some changing of this. Oh, wait. Put my rug back. Oh, besties, this might be better. Right? Isn't that better? The snap cam is live. Yeah, she's sitting there right now. <laughs> Um, that is a live camera. Okay. Ashley, Amy, it's me. Uh, Caitlin, Ash, and Cinnamon Roll, and Caramel, and Aquila and Milkshake, and Ellie, and Mollusk, thank you all for the subs. I think that opens the hallway more, and I think, I know it's weird because I did all that just to make the bedroom, like, smaller, but I feel like the bedroom being smaller is actually going to be a positive for the space. I feel like, um, the room was a little bit big before, like, bigger than... Bigger than I would want it to be. I think I would like it to be a little bit smaller. So it's fine. Um, let's see if we can scoot this over. Center those. Okay. Oops. Yeah, when it's too square, it can be really hard to furnish. Exactly. Um, sometimes it's better to have some, like, weird variation in them. Because um, it, it makes it a little bit easier to, to make the room furnished and stuff. Um, I want a base game. Hey, mini cow plant, if that happens, it's totally not a big deal. Automod holds a lot of things for review. Um, it's no problem. No problem. Automod is, is extra picky. And here's the thing. I think we can all agree that it's probably better for the Automod, uh, the bot, to pick up more rather than less. Because all it does is, is it shows it to my human mods and be like, hey, besties, is this good? Um, I can't tell because I'm a robot and I can't read context. Um, and so then my human mods are like, oh, yeah, that's fine, Automod. And they approve it and it gets sent. It, like, I know it's kind of scary when it says that your message is being held for review, but seriously, I, I think that it's it's probably way better that it, it picks up something that might not be wrong and then the machine can start learning better uh, versus, like, it letting bad things get through, you know, because we really don't want the bad things to get through. And you'd be surprised um, at the level of bad things that people try and send in Twitch chats. Um, it's It's not good. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's, it's not a problem, don't worry. I know it's just kind of scary, but don't worry. You're, if you ever get, like, a message picked up by Automod, you're, you're totally not in trouble or anything. It's, it's all good. Um, how much longer will I be streaming? Um, I'm probably gonna stream, well, for at least, like, 40 more minutes. Um, we'll see. I have some stuff I need to do tonight. Um, truth be told, I opened up mod applications, um, the other day, and I've been working on getting through them, and I'm gonna work on some tonight with Dan. That's my plan. Um, I'm looking specifically, by the way, for people that are uh, not located in the U.S. Ideally, people that are around. I mean, if you like happen to be awake at 4 a.m. Eastern time and you're down to be in the Discord, <laughs> uh, but I'm looking for people that are ideally not in the U.S. Um, and in a different time zone to like round out the group to like cover more uh, time zones, basically um, it, for the Discord and stuff, but we don't really have, there's not a lot of people that are around at, like, 4 a.m. in the Discord, um, and it would, 4 a.m. my time, which would be, like, 9 a.m. in the UK, um, and so it, like, it would be better if there were some more people that were online, just one, so it just looks like there's more mods online in the Discord, um, but it, yeah, that's what we're looking for. We've got a lot of people that are in similar time zones, um, or, like, work at different hours, so they aren't, you know, so it's, it's, it would be good to get some more people that are in a different time zone, um, but 
anyway, <laughs> that's, that's what the, that's the goal at least. Um, okay, I want to get a lamp. I think a lamp could be nice. <laughs> mods are great. I agree. We do have some good mods. Um, no, I don't like that. Maybe I'll put the pink. That kind of ties in some of the pink. That could be cute. This room is a very different vibe and, and everything than the original one was. I think it might be a little bit too monotone. Might even get rid of the green on the walls. Or if we change the bed. I like the color of that blue, but I feel like it's it's too similar to the color of the pink walls. I don't want to do pink walls. I I, I don't really want to have any any walls that are a color that aren't mint. I know that sounds kind of ridiculous. White is fine, gray is fine, but I don't want to I don't want to be throwing in other colors to an extreme. Um, I would prefer if everything is um if everything was mint. Why are they called mods? Because they moderate the chat, Julia? <laughs> um, no, they don't get paid. It's a, they just hang out with us. It's a, it's purely uh, volunteering to help out. Um, I'm pretty sure you can't technically pay mods on Twitch. I think it's TOS. I think you can get in trouble. Um, I don't really know how it works. It's kind of weird. Um, but no, it's, it's, we just hang out. Um, Oh, I sort of vowed that I wasn't going to talk about it on stream because I know that like so many people, besties, you should see how many people applied that have literally never typed in my chat. Isn't that bizarre? Like you, they've literally never typed a single message in my Twitch chat and they applied to mod. Like, I'm sorry. I really, you must be a nice person, but like, I, I have no way to know you. Like I have no I don't know you if you don't type in my chat. Like, how am I supposed to judge if you're gonna be weird in my chat if you haven't typed in my chat? You know? <laughs> um, but they've, like, so many people that have literally never typed in my stream applied for mod. Uh, this happened last time to it. I, it's not like, um, I wasn't, I was expecting that still, but like, I don't under, I mean, I hope you understand that, like, if you've never typed in my chat, I'm probably, I'm, I'm definitely not gonna mod you. <laughs> I need to mod people that I, that I actually, like, know, you know, people that, um, I've interacted with before or if, you know, um, anyway. <laughs> um, it's not just for Discord, Sarah, it's Discord and Twitch, but really what I'm looking for specifically is people that are around in the morning, like in my morning streams and, and also around, uh, in the Discord in the early morning. Don't worry, um, a lot of people applied, so don't feel bad or anything at all. Um, oh, I kind of like that. It's a, there's a whole bunch of people. So I'm only gonna mod like two people though. So just, again, this was, I wasn't gonna talk about it on stream. I probably shouldn't have because now there's gonna be more applications to go through. <laughs> um, but anyway, the, I'm only gonna mod like two people probably. Um, anyway. Yeah, Clarks, that's the other thing. Um, so I said, I, I only want to mod people that are 18 plus. Um, that, that's that's a, a hard fact. I, I will not mod anyone who's under 18. I'm just not going to do that. Um, but basically on the mod apps, it says that. It says like, hey, if you're not 18, like don't apply. You know, we're only modding people that are 18 plus. Um, but one of the questions is like, how old are you? Uh, are you under 13? I'll ban you on Discord because you can't be. Um, are you 13 to 17? Well, I won't mod you. <laughs> or are you 18 plus? Everybody, nobody lies. I mean, I'm sure some people lie, but everybody, they just come out and say they're 13 to 17. So, <laughs> it works. Um, but anyway, they, they, no, people don't lie on it usually. I think they kind of like forget. They like don't, you know, and they just put the right one. Um, or they didn't read the, the top part where I said it. Um, anyway. Um. I kind of like that. I think that looks nice. Get like a lighter. No one reads the instructions. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and by the way, when I said I was going to ban people under 12, if you didn't know, um, you have to be over 13 to have a Discord and a Twitch account. Um, and I I uh, sort of hard enforce that uh, on purpose. I, I don't really feel comfortable with, with the youngsters being around. I don't want them to, especially if they're going around, like, saying their age online, um, I feel like it would be a lot safer for them if they didn't do that, 
that's so um the quilt was so cute it had mint in it yeah there's a few uh, a few cute quilt swatches on this um that one's pretty minty too but i i'm not sure if it's like i don't know do you think it's gonna be too much it might be nice it actually kind of brings in some more colors maybe i will use that that bed is from cats and dogs anyway i hope you understand um where we're coming from with that but it's just enough okay perfect that's good to know actually i might come back to this room i'm not feeling so sure about it this room is so weird oh boy I just want more night shift friends. That is all. Yeah, Jess is um, Jess is in in Korea, uh, so she is in a very different time zone than most of us. <laughs> um, and obviously, it would be nice if <laughs> there were some more people around who can hang out with her. She's awake at the same time as a lot of us too, but there's definitely times of the day where uh, <laughs> she is um the only one awake, so. <laughs> Okay, I kind of want to go downstairs for a sec. I'm not really feeling the inside. I, I might even go work on the outside again. Um, I mean, maybe we could start landscaping. You know? That could be good. We're going all around. What happened in Not So Buried today? Oh, what happened in Not So Buried today? Oh, different question. Um... Well, my sim aged up, so uh, the heir is a young adult now, which is cool. Do you know what bothers me so much? Oh my gosh, look at this. Do you see how the terrain paint that we have is not the same color as the terrain paint that they put? They're similar, but they aren't identical. Isn't that so cool? Don't you just really like that um, they don't match properly? <laughs> I don't understand why they even gave it to us. Like, why, why, just... <sighs> anyway, I try not to think about it. <laughs> I really try not to think about it. Um, let me see, it was a nice lighting in the back at this time of day, 6 p.m. Does she reposition? Oh my goodness, cute. Okay, um... I was thinking about getting us a fence. I think it would be actually really nice to have some sort of fence. Maybe not a fence in the whole place, but if we fenced in like some of the yard, I think it would be a really nice touch, partially because I wanna have um, a bunch of patio, to be completely honest with you. Um, okay, I might stick the pond over there. Does it come in like a more reddish rock? No. Okay. Put the pond over there. Aren't the bushes already making a fence? I mean, yeah, but I'm, there's sort of a fake fence on this whole lot, but I, I would like a fence so that I have something to line up my patio to. Um, this, it kind of already is a fake fence around the lot. I can see that too. <laughs> but I was hoping that I could put a patio in and have a, a solid stopping point for the patio. You know, it would be really lovely if we could have a place to... We are going to put the graves back. They're going to go in the front yard, Phantom. My graves will be all over the front yard. You know what? That might actually be good. I'll use... No! I'll use Batu if I so please. I don't really like how it looks up against the stone, though. Hmm. <laughs> oh boy. I don't know if I like how any of them look up against the stone. <laughs> oh no. Well, what if, um, stay in my inventory for a sec. What if the fence was more like, or what if the um, no, there's more space over here for, I don't know, I'm trying to think, like, how much yard space do we need versus, um, how much, like, 
stuff do we need to put out here? Because if we did it like this, and the stone was mostly only in this area, we could really easily just put some bushes down, like sort of as a barrier, and then it would be no big deal. Um, it would it would hide it, and you wouldn't really tell. Um, do I want that to be wider? I don't know. Or would it be better if this was all grass and it didn't come up this far and it stopped like over here? Hence why I wanted to have the fence on the other side and not on this side. You know? This might be okay. I need to think about it. Let me put the fence back. The fence would be like that, basically. And then the... Stone would be down there. I don't know if I like the stone. Context on why they'll be living in Strangerville? Bessie, you're looking for an answer that I can't provide. I just felt like it. I just wanted to. <laughs> Uh, no, and all live in 90s cool, and Luke, um, and Hailey, and Kay, and Brindleton, and Polina, and Pinky, and Rex, thank you all for the subs and stuff. Um, I really appreciate that. Anyway, I just felt like it, that's why. That is the answer. Hopefully, uh, that helps. The townies will be acting all creepy, yes. Um, unfortunately, that will be the case. Um... I'm probably gonna do the Strangerville stuff with my Sims wife, though, so hopefully that'll help. Um, do I want to do it like that? Those could be really nice. Hey, Cork, happy birthday! Um... Yeah, if you actually do Strangerville, you fix the, uh, the townies, and they don't act weird anymore. Um, basically, because when you actually do Strangerville, you, um... This is a really weird side yard. But when you actually do Strangerville, um, you, like, save the town, you know? And then the townies stop being weird because the town is saved and they don't need to be weird anymore. Um, does that make sense? So that's, that's how you can stop it. Oh, they walk in that door. That doesn't really fit. Uh, we can put like a little side gate there. That could be nice. Okay, let me just put a bunch of bushes down so I can like line them all up better. Trash back there? Yeah, I'll probably put the trash back here. I was thinking about putting, like, a table and a grill back here, but we'll see. We will see. Okay. I kind of like those. I think that's actually quite nice. Um, we could stick the little table on the side. Something minty, perhaps? Is there anything mintier? I mean, that's very teal, but maybe I'll, everything else is kind of leaning green, so. Oh, I forgot that has a pink. Never mind. <laughs> I forgot that had a pink table. That one's black. That's not what I want. Oh, geez. What about the one from backyard stuff? Hmm. Backyard stuff. Oh, that's kind of... Oh, boy. It's definitely a way bigger table. Oh, that might be fun. We could get some more color this way. I kind of like that. It ties in. Yeah, it's a six-seater table. They're kind of nice. Um, I don't know if you've ever used them, but it does. It seats six. 
All right, I'm not sure I really want the stripes on the chairs too. <laughs> Why doesn't it come in a solid color? <sighs> well, if we use like the solid table. No, I like the, is mint blue or green? You know, Annex, I wouldn't say it's one or the other. I think it's kind of an in-between. And I think that's part of why uh, we've been struggling so much <laughs> is because you can't really filter by mint in the game, like, and we're sort of looking for a, a combination of the two, you know? It's a little bit weird. I might just put the four chairs for now. I'll do it like that. You think it's green? Yeah, I think it's both. Um, Mint is deaf green. It's like a pastel green with a dash of blue. I would call this mint. So do with that what you will. That's kind of the, the main vibe we're going for when we're talking about this mint choice. I don't want that to be, no, no, no. Is that beige? Yeah, that might actually be okay. I like that. Scoot it over. Put a grill. I don't know. Danny Olives, thank you for the subs, both of you. I will use a grill this time, I think. Be nice to have one. Okay. Oh, we could get like a blue, wait, we have this. That could be super fun. Okay. Largely depends what mint you're talking about. That's the other thing. No, but that you're right though, like, it, it kind of varies so much, and it really does uh, depend a lot on, like, what exact, you know, shade of mint we're discussing, right? Because your view, could we could be thinking about a different shade, right? Some are more blue, some are more green. Are those items too close together to use? No, they're fine. That's fine. That's not even remotely too close together. I could probably do that with no, I could probably do that with no move objects. That's fine. Um... How do I make the planter box? This? Uh, I made that planter box just by putting... Do I want to use blue? I made the planter box just by putting a little tiny fence down and then putting dirt under it. Nothing too fancy. Ooh, besties, we probably shouldn't put a pool. We're kind of running low on cash. <laughs> Kate, thank you for the sub gift. Uh-oh. Let's try and do some landscaping. Um, blue flowers look great too. We could always switch them. I'm not opposed to using the blue flowers. It could be kind of fun. Hot tub? Maybe we could get a hot tub. I mean, it's like 3,000 simoleons, but granted, a lot of the expensive stuff we've already bought, like, I have the fridge appliances, I have, um, a couple expensive computers. I have- this is an extra camera, so I don't need that. Um, so we probably actually could get rid of some. I kind of like the blue. That looks nice. Um, do we have a kitchen? Well, no, but the stuff's placed, so... I'm not that worried about it. <laughs> um, I'm not that worried about the kitchen, I won't lie. Don't you need a rocket? Not for this gen, Lost Mermaid, no. Uh, not for Gen 1. Oops. BB dot show hidden objects. Yeah, we're not gonna finish this today. I didn't think it was gonna take this long, but... Uh, they're medium wall height down below. Yeah, the first floor is medium wall height. Second floor is short. Did I not put live edit on? I thought I did. BB dot show live edit objects. The pond is from Get Famous, and the pond is there so that I can kill my sims. Um, no, it will not be moved. <laughs> Just so we're all on the same page. <laughs> I know most of you knew that already, but... Just in case you're new to the stream. <laughs> uh, the pond is absolutely necessary uh, to this build, so I that, that part is 100% happening. Um, the pond is essential, yeah. You understand. I think these trees kind of blend in with the Strangerville, like, brushy, like, landscaping and stuff, so... I think this will actually work pretty well. 
right? I think that's good. 49 months! Oh my goodness. <laughs> Coming out of Lark High. It's good to see you, by the way. Jen, Angel, Kate, and um, everybody, thank you so much. Um, am I playing on, no, we're not playing on short lifespan. We're playing on normal lifespan again. I, I did put it back to normal lifespan. Um, so we're not playing on short, thankfully. The pond is a non-negotiable. Yeah, I'm glad you understand. You all get it. You know what it's like out here. You've been there. You've seen it. Yeah, that works pretty well. I think that actually ties in really nicely. It helps end the... The little area, too. And maybe we could put, like... Some kids stuff. Anyway, hi, Britt. Thanks again for the reset. 49 months. And, um... You don't have to type in chat. Go back to your lurk. I'm sorry. <laughs> is it for debug? This is from debug. The pond's not from debug. The pond is just from get famous. The pond is um a lovely object that uh, came with get famous, and in it you can kill your sims. I might get some swings. I think the swings will be nice over here. It, it's kind of minty. That could work. I don't know, besties, that might be good. It's kind of, um, I didn't really think about using these mint flowers, but we could really, like, go all out with it. <laughs> um, no, I might use the debug ones from Strangerville. Strangerville's debug is way easier to access because back in Strangerville is when they first gave us debug landscaping. Oh, so maybe we could try and do purple flowers everywhere. Kind of as a nod to that instead of the blue. Should you buy Get Famous or the wedding pack? I would buy Get Famous over the wedding pack, especially if Get Famous is on sale. I don't know if it's still on sale. There was a sale like last week. Um, but if you can get a pack on sale, like a, a pack like Get Famous, I think Get Famous is way better than uh, the wedding pack. Expansion packs just have more in them, so. There's a sale until March 31st. Well, there you go. If Get Famous is on sale, I would uh, probably grab that one over the wedding pack. Especially now, like when they haven't updated the wedding pack yet, it's still really buggy, so. Uh, that wouldn't be my first choice right now. We'll see once once they update it if it's better, but Okay. These are debug flowers from Strangerville, Liza. Uh, Michelle and Jen and Boba and everybody, thank you for the subs and stuff. Um Okay. <laughs> Maybe should I put like a bunch of bushes around the side of this? I don't know. Let's think about it. I like the idea of them being kind of off the lot because there's so many plants over here. I might stick a little rock. I don't know. I'm trying to like blend it in with the landscaping that's in the outside of this area. Am I doing a giveaway right now? Uh, Lola, I'm sorry. No, I don't have any giveaway codes. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, though. <laughs> oh, Twitch is funny. <laughs> nice first message. <laughs> it's nice to meet you too, Lola. Welcome in. Um, did you miss the stream? Uh, I'm gonna get off in like 15 minutes. Yeah, unfortunately. Uh, I've been live for like five hours. Um, so I, I probably should get off soon and, and eat dinner and stuff. Um, but don't worry, we'll stream again. I stream every day, so I'll be back lots this week. Don't worry. Um, okay. You're back? Welcome back. What's for dinner? I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I need to go grocery shopping, so I, uh, dinner is gonna be, use up what's left in the fridge. <laughs> um, that's the situation at the moment. I'm sure you understand. We've all been there, so. 
Okay, I want to get a hot tub, I think. I think that might be a fun additional feature of my little yard. Um, it kind of fits in there well, but ah, maybe not. Maybe I won't do that. I'm trying to think about ways that I can use this and not have it look ridiculous and also like um, line up the patio and not have it look ridiculous. What if we got a little gazebo like we originally talked about? Just to have like something in the corner. That's a bit small. Um, don't sneeze. Okay, I didn't sneeze, sorry. <laughs> Um, best thing it's going to look ridiculous. Okay, fair enough. It will look a little ridiculous, but we can try to have it not look that ridiculous, okay? Oh, it's gonna be tall wall heights. So I don't know if this is gonna be too weird or not. I have to think about this. Hmm. Let's do a platform instead. One, two, three. Okay, that is better. It can always be just too high as well. And then we can, you can put a foundation like on a platform. This is how you sneak it, watch, look. We could do like that on it. And we'll get our little columns. Oh, the columns are gonna go down to the bottom though. Uh. Well, if we did like a smaller, skinnier column that maybe is a little bit less visible, something that has a small base. Um, this might work, this one, the cats and dogs one. Yeah, that's okay. Ooh. That is a nice view as well. Oops, let me just grab this. Nobody's gonna know, exactly. <laughs> Nobody's gonna know. And then it, it sort of fills in the space. I like that actually a lot. I think that's cool. Um, it's, a, it's a good hangout space. Get the rest of these in. We are spending a lot of money on the exterior of this house. That's okay. We should have enough. I think we should be fine. And then honestly, like, if I have to just, mm, I could put it in the front yard. Like, <laughs> it could go in the front. We could think about it in the front yard. Will I cheat the money? Oh God, no, 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 no. At, at the absolute most, I would cheat money down. Um, I, am, I am way less likely to give myself money. No, no. I don't want to give myself extra money. Way more likely to, to cheat it away. Okay, let me think about sticking some bushes back here. That'll be nice and cozy, I think. Yeah, that's cool. Honestly, Snap is living her best life right now. She has loved this today. She's hung out like the whole time. I mean, there, she, there's been a couple moments where she left, but she's been here for like the vast majority of the stream. <laughs> no, The Sims 4 doesn't have normal telescopes, just that one. <laughs> Uh, Danny and Angel and Michelle, thank you for the subs. I know, it's really weird. Uh, but that is the only one that we have in The Sims 4. <laughs> it's... It's interesting, to say the least. This is in Strangerville, yeah. It is indeed in Strangerville. I might get myself a microscope. Honestly, like, let's just go all out. Let's put the weird stuff out here. It's like perfect microsco microscope size, you know? Stick it in the yard, it'll be perfect. Um, we can get maybe like, we have so much outdoor patio space is the thing. We have like so much space to throw in chess tables and 
and everything. Yeah, it's a very normal place for it. I think it makes a lot of sense right there. Yeah, me too. Um, ceiling fan. Oh, this one. I was gonna put this on the patio. Thought that would be really nice to have a ceiling fan right there. It's gonna be hot, so it would be a nice touch. And then we can just get like, maybe honestly we could use this light. That looks like it comes with it, to be honest. <laughs> that works pretty well. Uh, yeah, we could put the easel out here. Do you know what? That is actually a really good idea for now because my Sims mom is a painter. Um, she's she's not dead yet. She still has a while to go. So what if we made this into her little art studio? Just just for now, while she's still alive. I think that would be awesome. Can like lean up those paintings there. Why is it trying to place on the ground? Okay, stick it up there. Is that leaning against the wall? Barely. Oh, this is cool. Oh, I like the idea of this a lot, I think. She'll be able to work out here. We can scoot that over. Honestly, I'll even put this big canvas rack for all I care. Won't hurt. <laughs> we got options. No, I haven't finished the inside of the house yet, Phantom, no. We're working on a little bit of the outside. Um, we're kind of jumping back and forth a little bit. Um, it's kind of fun. Yeah, I like that. There's enough stuff for everybody. Okay. We'll have a lot to do on the side of this. We can maybe get some plants though. I might try and do some decorating of the, f well, I haven't done any landscaping in the front yard either. Um, you know, do ceiling fans actually cool down your sims? I'm not sure. Um, I don't know if it'll do anything outside. It might work with seasons inside, but I'm not sure. Uh, it is fun though to put them. Let me save the game. Do you know what's a funny one? A lot of times when I put ceiling fans outside, people get upset. Um, they like, they'll be like, who, who has ceiling fans outside? That is bizarre. Why would anybody have that? Like, what a weird thing. Why did you put that there? Bestie, I live in Florida. Um, I think I know about ceiling fans outside. <laughs> um, this, plus I feel like this area, this world is going to be really hot. So I feel like it's not a bad, uh, thing to throw in. But yeah, I, that, it's not abnormal. <laughs> it's very common in, in hotter places, you know? Um, this church was, little, this is the desert. We're in the desert. Um, it's not weird. <laughs> it makes perfect sense. Nobody said that today. Um, but people definitely have said that to me before when we're streaming. And I'm always like, what are you talking about? Like, what do you mean? <laughs> um... This is actually in Strangerville, Fern. We're building in Strangerville right now, believe it or not. I know it's horrible, how could I? But we're building in Strangerville right now. Um, yeah, put those plants right there. I kind of like that. Maybe I'll put a little bench in the side. I think a little bench could be cute. That might work. Okay, that could be fun. Um. No, I don't like that one. Give me a better one. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Give me something cuter. I don't know. Something else. I'm not sure. A rocking chair? We could do a- oh, let's put a rocking chair. I think the rocking chairs come in some pretty fun minty swatches too. Look at that. That is minty. We could do like minty minty, but I might do it like that. Oh, that's nice! Aww. I would love to have a thing like that in real life. A rocking chair would be so cute. I'm thinking about getting a porch swing at my new house. Um, but I don't know how to, um, I don't know. We need to think about that. <laughs> I'm thinking about it though. I think it would be fun. Um, 
I bet I would like it. Show you the interior again. Uh, there's not much done. The interior is not very done, Bestie. I'm sorry to break it to you. This is gonna be a, a multiple day event. <laughs> this this is gonna take us a while to get through, I think, unfortunately. So it's it's not quite ready yet, but we're working on it. Um, there's just not a lot to see on the inside yet. So don't worry, you didn't miss too much. No, go back to how it was. It was better before. Yeah, that's that's nice. I can scoot that a little bit. Um, yeah, that's what I'm thinking too, that I, like a porch swing, like you really can't go wrong. I feel like I would really enjoy that. Um, so I, I think I, I think I might do it, but we'll have to, not yet. <laughs> I'm, I've got so many other things to buy. <laughs> um, I don't know how to landscape this. Oh boy. No, I'm like, we, listen, besties, I'm trying to buy like a kitchen at the moment. So I'll give you a sec. <laughs> But eventually, we, eventually, that, that can be on the list for sure. Um, wait, there are Porsche swings? Oh, not in The Sims. I'm talking about in real life. I'm referring to literally in real life, Porsche swings. Um, yeah, first the basics, exactly. <laughs> but we will all think about it. That's definitely an idea for the future. Um, just not yet. Not yet. Uh, maybe I won't put it over there. Maybe I'll use these over here with the trees. Um, put some big ones and then get some smaller ones. Can you use the dropper on? No, you can't. The StrangerVille debug is weird because the StrangerVille debug actually still is in the the build catalog, but um, you still can't clone it, unfortunately. Okay, interesting. Interesting. While well, the graves fit too. Yeah, I'm gonna fill the graves all in in this whole front space. I think we should be okay, but I'm gonna probably add those in next time we stream because um, that's gonna take me a while. This whole thing took me a little bit longer than I originally anticipated. <laughs> What's the best world for collecting? I'm not actually sure. Probably not StrangerVille. Um, so I might regret my choice to move out here, but. Oh my God, look at her. <laughs> you look so cute, Snappy. I'm so excited. I'm so glad she, hang she hung out today. Yeah, Oasis Springs is usually pretty good. Um, so I'll probably spend a lot of time in Oasis Springs, but. I don't know how to landscape this. I like really don't know what I want it to look like. This is weird. I probably should stop. I'm worried about the money. I only have like 17K. I might have to come back to this. I might have to come back to the outside and finish the inside first. Um, I think we might be okay. Where do the graves go? The graves are gonna go all around this area. Um, I've got them in my Sims inventory right now, but we are gonna put the graves like all around here. I guess we could start at least placing them outside. Oops, I messed up the placement. But we have so many, um, they're gonna probably fill up like the entire front yard. Which will be fun. I mean, I'm not gonna complain about it. I'm gonna like it. But we'll, we'll place them all like sort of randomly like we did before. I just gotta get them out of my Sims inventory first. This'll help give us a judge for the size too. I mean, that's true. We have so many graves that I probably don't need to bother with landscaping. <laughs> um, we've got, let's see, like three little vampire graves. These are all my pet graves. Running out of space a little bit here, besties. Oh, this should be fine. Okay. Oh yeah, that'll fit, that'll fit. Once we scoot them closer together, we'll do some scooting, but that should be okay. That's all of them. Oh wait, my alien grave, sorry. Yeah, once we do the scooting, it'll, it'll all fit just fine. Okay. Well. <laughs> 
Um, this is going really well, apparently. We've done really well today, besties. Um, okay, so I'm thinking, um, let me look at my stream schedule. So, uh, we'll, we'll probably finish this on Tuesday, because, um, Monday we're streaming Among Us with some friends, so Tuesday will be better. We'll, we'll finish the build on Tuesday. Um, hopefully we can get it all done, and then we can play. Don't end the stream. Bestie, I'm hungry. It's, it's Simsy's dinner time. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but <laughs> I'm hungry. Um, I'm liking how it's coming along. I think that once we get it more, um, we, once we get some more wacky stuff going around, we'll get it together. And yeah, I am going to stream tomorrow. I don't usually stream on Sundays, but tomorrow morning I want to play Unpacking. In fact, in my stream schedule, you'll see that I put Unpacking, the game, not the physical activity. Because I thought if I just said unpacking, if you hadn't heard of the game, you'd be like, you're, you're unpacking? Are you going to stream yourself, like, open in boxes or something? No, the game. The game. Um. <laughs> Besties, we're going to open boxes on stream. <laughs> no, we're not going to do that. Um, can I show you, hang on, really fast, uh, before I get off, I want to show you, let me send myself a couple of pictures. Um, I want to show you my floors. I know I've been showing you, but, um... There's some more progress in the house. Uh, let me pull this one up so you can see. But all of the wood floors are done in the whole my whole house. Uh, if you didn't know, if you're maybe new, I bought a house recently. We've been renovating. Um, all of the wood floors in the entire house are done. Um, here's another angle. Obviously, there is no uh, baseboards yet. Uh, this fireplace is eventually going to be, basically, there's going to be, like, brick on the front. Uh, there's going to be cabinets and some built-ins on either side. Um, she's not done yet. There's not a lot going on in the fireplace yet. Uh, but it will come together. <laughs> it will come together. There's, it's gonna be really nice. There's gonna be, like, a big mantle and some brick down there. It's just, it's gonna be beautiful. Um, but the most important part is my floors. Because they are all in. And I'm so excited. You can see they put, like, um, there's, like, paper down so that they can walk into the bathroom. They were still working on this bathroom. There's, like, paper down so they can get through without, like, traipsing dust everywhere. But, um, this is the living room. There's a kitchen, like, right behind me. The stairs are right there. Um, behind my face cam, basically. But it looks really good. They ha The only thing, they haven't done the stairs, the stairs yet. Like, the wood isn't on the stairs yet. But everything else in the whole house is done. Um... I'm so excited about my floors. I think they look so pretty. I, like, love the color of them so much. Um, I just, I'm really excited about it. So, <laughs> um, no, there's gonna be, the wood is in the kitchen, too. Um, we didn't put tile in the kitchen. It's all kind of one room. Um, let me see, well, here's another picture. This one is a different angle. Let me see if I can get a couple more. I, the one that I took, oh, here we go. Here's a kitchen one, too. Um, it's all one room, so I, I don't know, we didn't put, uh, this one is further away. You can see this is the kitchen right here. So I, I there's not, like, a good, like, also I didn't want to put tile in the kitchen, but, like, there isn't a good stopping point for it anyway. Um, but that, that's, like, the kitchen island is going to be there. Um, that's where the sink is going to be. That's plumbing. <laughs> really weird, but that's plumbing. Um, and so there's, like, a little breakfast nook right here, too, like, a little space for a little kitchen table. But it's, it's everywhere. Um even in the kitchen. It's also going to be underneath the cabinets, but you can see there's going to be, like, cabinets back along that. That's where the, um, the fridge is going to be. That's where the oven is. I guess it's easier to see. That's the oven. That's the fridge. Um, you can see where there's pipes and such, <laughs> but, um, also that is my paint colors. <laughs> they taped it to the wall and wrote what room is what. Um, Anyway, I'm really excited about it. The floors look, they, they came together really well. I'm just so happy about it. I love the color of the wood. I think it's so pretty. I'm just so happy. I'm serious. I lo they, yeah, they did it like all this week, Sophie. I mean, granted, it's, um, it's engineered hardwood. So they kind of like lock together. Um, they like, there, there's like a lip under them and they, um, come together. So it, I, I think it's like a, probably a nice thing to install. It's like easier. Um, doesn't, it's not like warped. Doesn't need as many cuts and stuff, I think, but. Uh, the blue paint, these two blue paints, um, that's one of the guest rooms, that's Dan's office. They're not actually, they're, like, different than that. This is more gray, and that's, like, a little bit darker, um, but, the, and then the gray is in the dining room, but, anyway. My guest room is pink. Um, my guest room is pink. Let me see if I have a picture I can pull up easily. 
Yeah, I have one. Um, it's a little bit dark in this photo because there's not a ceiling light and I took this picture at like sunset, so. There will be a ceiling light, it's just not one right now. There's empty wires in the ceiling. <laughs> there's not a light fixture installed. Um, but this, it's not as dark as this. I posted a picture on Twitter too, didn't I? Um, it's my Pepto-Bismol room, as you all know it as. Uh, lovingly referred to as the Pepto-Bismol room. Um, here. Here's another picture. That's, that's more true to color. This is a little bit too dark. It looks like that. But picture like that, with that. <laughs> I don't have a good picture of Dan's office color because there's not a ceiling light in that room and there's just the one window. It's really dark in there. Um, I took a picture, but well, let's see, can you see out the window in this? Nah, it's fine. Um, this, the, the lighting makes the walls similar to this where it looks like way darker than it actually is. Cause in this room, there's a light like right above this window and then there's another light like in the center of the room in the ceiling, but only that one is, is in. This one is not. So the walls are not as dark as that. Um, but that's what Dan's office color looks like. It looks cool, doesn't it? Um, no, Alicia, I wouldn't call it the Pepto-Bismol room either. The reason that we called it that is because the painter was like, the Pepto-Bismol room. And then I was like, wow. <laughs> um, it's, it's dusty. It's like a dusty, rosy color. Um, but anyway. Is it a navy? Yeah, it's kind of a dark, darkish navy color. Um, my office is just white. I haven't painted my office. I didn't know what color I wanted to paint it because in here, this room is like a really, really light, almost white blue. Um, and it's good for, for this. You can kind of see it in that back corner. That almost looks more blue than it actually is, but that's good for streaming because it's not going to like, uh, change the color of my face. Like if I painted my office pink like this, I worry that it's going to make me look pink on camera and besties, I already look pink enough. Like I'm pale and pink as it is. So I didn't want to paint my office pink because I was worried about like looking pink. <laughs> Um, but anyway, I'm, I haven't painted my office a color yet. It's just white. Uh, I might paint it myself eventually, though. Um, yeah, I don't know if this is gonna be good for, like, camera lighting, you know? Um, I might paint, like, paint it like a pastel sort of baby pink, though. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I, I want to, like, live in the space for a little bit first and see how I feel about it, though. Um, the world is my oyster, so... <laughs> You're rosy, you're adorable. I know, I'm, it's, I'm not like self-conscious, but um, I, I don't need to look more pink on camera though. <laughs> I think we can all agree. <laughs> but yeah, Pebbles, uh, gotta be an agreeable and willow. Thank you so much. But yeah, I'm worried about like a bold color adjusting my lighting. Dan likes it when his streams are kind of dark. Like that's kind of the vibes he's going for. Mine are not really the same. So um, anyway, you gotta be careful about my paint color. <laughs> Um, but anyway, it'll be fun. Why don't you blue like I have now? I guess I could paint it this color again, or something similar. I don't know. I like this color, but I, w I would rather do something more fun if I was gonna paint it over. Like, right now it's fine. Um, if I was gonna repaint it, I'd rather do something more fun than do this color. This, it like basically looks white in here. I don't know. Um. Anyway. <laughs> Wallpaper it? Maybe. I did think about that. That can be a project for a future date though. Oh geez, too many projects. <laughs> too many projects. <laughs> Keep a white wall in front of me. I guess, yeah, that's true. We could just do an accent wall, like the back could just be painted, but I don't know. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Yellow perhaps? Maybe. I also thought about painting it like a really light, light, light purple, like a pastel-y purple, almost grayish purple, because my bedroom at home when I was in high school was that color, and I loved it. I thought it was so pretty. Um, and that, I don't think would, if it was kind of grayish, it probably wouldn't affect the lighting too much, but like a lavender-y sort of color might be fun. I don't know. We'll see. But I think that would be cute. But I'm not gonna, I'm not worried about that yet. That's, that's a problem for a future me. Imagine I paint it on stream. <laughs> We get an angle like this and I'm like rolling paint on the wall. <laughs> I spill paint on my new brand new floors or something. Oh. <laughs> that would 
That would be hilarious, actually. At the very least, I could make a video doing it, though. I could vlog it or something. Um, that could be fun. I would like that, to be perfectly honest with you, but we'll see. You'd watch? Maybe. <laughs> unpacking stream, but it's the activity, not the game. <laughs> I could stream myself unpacking my office. If we, like, unpacked my shelves a little bit, that could be cute as well. Because it would be, like, almost like a shelf tour, but it would be unpacking them and putting them back. Like, that would be doable, I think. I don't know. We got, we have loads of options. We could do all kinds of fun things like that. That might actually be fun. <laughs> and it would be easy because, like, I could just turn my autofocus off, you know? It, it would be a similar angle to this. Um, so it would, my camera would be set up already, so. I don't know. That's a good idea. Maybe I'll do that when we move. Hmm. Lots of moving content. <laughs> Lots of options. <laughs> Faye, thank you for the 23 months, by the way. Um, anyway. <laughs> could do packing it up. Oh, that's true. We could do packing it up instead. That would be interesting. Hmm. Kayla only bought a house for the moving content. I mean... Listen, besties. Um, it doesn't... It's not... It doesn't hurt. Oh, I should put this back on so you can see my cat still, instead of sitting full cam. I was gonna say, I'm posting a sponsored video tomorrow. Caseify sponsored me again, which is very kind of them. Thank you, Caseify. I love you, besties. I'm serious. I love this case. Anyway, Caseify sponsored me again. Um, and the video tomorrow, it's me designing my, like, real-life bathroom in The Sims. Um, and I made a joke in the video, like, thank you, Caseify, for helping me pay for my new bathroom. <laughs> Obviously, like, they didn't pay for the whole thing, but I mean, every little bit counts. Thank you, Caseify. <laughs> it is greatly appreciated. <laughs> um, thank you for my tiles, Caseify. <laughs> anyway, I like Caseify a lot, actually. Um, I really appreciate them. Uh, it's nice to have, like, a recurring sponsor kind of thing, too, but look at this case. Is that not the cutest thing ever? I seriously love this. I think this is so cute. I have my other favorite one is my other new one. They sent me two new ones. I got to pick them, but I also really like this one. My, it's got strawberries. I really like these. Um, anyway. <laughs> this stream is not sponsored by them, but the video tomorrow on my YouTube channel is. Um, I really like them both so much. I think they're so cute. They're both, like, clear. My phone is white, which is why there's white in the back, but, um, anyway. <laughs> you want the strawberry one so bad? I really like the strawberries! It's so, and, like, you know how my YouTube channel is, like, strawberries? Like, my, um, let me pull it up. You know how my, like, uh, YouTube banner has, like, the strawberries in it and stuff? It feels like this is my vibes, you know? It's good vibes, but I really like it. <laughs> Not so berry. I do have a code. You can just use code Lil Simsy, or if you go to like caseify.com forward slash Lil Simsy, you get 15% off. Again, this stream is not sponsored by them, but the video tomorrow is. So <laughs> I actually like them a lot. Um, they're pretty good. So anyway, <laughs> Faye, Padfoot, Companionship, Meow, and Pebbles. Thanks for the subs. Discord for one more time. Yeah, I can put the Discord in the chat for you guys. Discord is just discord.gg forward slash Simsy if you want to join in. Discord's a good spot to be because I always post like my stream schedule and I put um, like announcements if plans change and you know, all that stuff. And plus you can just hang out with us. Um, do a Bob Pancakes shrine in your office. Um, I do have that is Bob Pancakes. That is Bella Goth. These are uh, posters from City Living, if you didn't know. They sent them to me, or they gave them to me at the City Living Sims camp like years ago, and I've had them framed in here ever since. But I do have a picture of Bob Pancakes in here. So anyway, I'm totally like, we're just talking. I probably should go so I can go eat dinner, but uh, thank you all again for hanging out today. This has been a lot of fun. I really enjoyed uh, hanging out and chatting with you all, even if we didn't finish the build, like, at all. <laughs> We're not even close. We're not even close to being done, but it's okay. We made good progress. I didn't think it was going to take me this long, but here we are. Um, oh, wait a minute. My friend Steven, uh, Spring Sims, he's building a base game bar right now. 
That sounds like it would be fun to go watch, actually. I might pop in and see... Uh-oh, his camera's frozen. I just saw someone in chat say, oh, I'm not the only one. I thought it was on my end. Oh, maybe now is a bad time to... Is it gonna stress him out if I rate him when his camera's broken? Oh, no! <laughs> Am I gonna stress him out if I rate him now when his camera's broken? Wait, should I rate him? Is this... Is it the wrong time? Look, his camera's been frozen this whole time. Oh, should I pick somebody else? I don't know what to do. I'm, like, scared it's gonna stress him out if we rate him now. Go... You know what? Follow him anyway, at least. Um... I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna scare him too much, or if, if this is like bad timing, you know? Eh, let's rate him. <laughs> His camera's frozen! That's fine! We're, we'll be there for moral support, you know? <laughs> I hope I don't stress him out too much. I love you, Steven, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> this is fine! Steven is a really good friend of mine. Um, we're gonna play Among Us with him on Monday, actually. Um, so in a couple days we'll stream with him again. Uh, but anyway, thank you all for hanging out. Celeste and Cows and Roar and Tiefling and Faye and stuff with the subs. Uh, thank you everybody for hanging out today. Have the best day. I'll put- I'll put it on full cat cam for the last couple seconds of the stream. Um, go say hi to Steven for me. I'm so sorry that I'm doing this to him when his camera is broken. Uh, be really nice to him, okay? Be really nice. This is- I don't know what to do. This is bad. I probably shouldn't be doing this. I- but I feel like I already said I would, so now I don't know what to do. <laughs> but go and say hi to him for me. And be nice. No one be mean. It's not his fault his camera's frozen. <laughs> you think he's getting off? <gasps> is he getting off stream? <gasps> oh, never mind! He's getting off stream! Oh no! Okay, we shouldn't do that. We shouldn't do that. Okay, never mind. Sorry, he's getting off stream. I think because his camera's broken, he's getting off. Okay, we shouldn't- never mind. <laughs> never mind, that's a bad idea. <laughs> I canceled the raid. Okay, let me put a link to his channel in the chat then at least so you can go follow him. Mods, can you spam his link? Um, and we'll pick somebody else. I don't- I'm like, if he's getting off because it's that broken, we probably shouldn't, um, we probably shouldn't go there. You know what? Uh, my friend Niv is playing the Not So Berry Challenge. That could be fun. Oh, this is a disaster. This is a whole disaster. Um, Miv's playing Not So Berry and Miv's camera does not appear to be frozen. See? She's moving, so <laughs> I think this will be okay. All right, let's go raid Miv then. <laughs> this is going so horribly wrong. <laughs> We've tried so much. Anyway, everyone have a wonderful night. Um, I will catch you all tomorrow morning. Say hi to Miv for me. And if you want to go follow Steven still, his name's just Spring Sims. Um, we rate him a lot. I'll probably rate him tomorrow then or the next day or whatever. Um, and we'll, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. She's so cute. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, I could cry. Oh my gosh. Snap, you are so sweet. <laughs> anyway, have the best night, everybody. I will- I'll just let it sit here until the raid forces me out, to be honest. Why- why leave when there's a cat cam on, you know? I got like 20 seconds or something. I'll sit here. I'll wait with the cat. Why go now when we have Snap right here being adorable, you know? <laughs> why leave when Snap's right here? <laughs> She's probably gonna be here for a while, too. I probably could leave the camera on her. Anyway, have a wonderful evening, everybody. The raid is gonna kick me off here in a second, so go say hi to Miv. And still go say hi to, to Spring Sims, or at least follow him or something, because I feel bad. Um, and we'll raid him again in a couple days, hopefully, when his camera is working and he's not getting off stream. Anyway, have a great night. I'll see you all later. I love you. I miss you. Okay, it's ending. Goodbye! Okay. Whew. Raid now. And... The rest of you who happen to stick around, you get to see Snap for a couple more seconds. And now nah, that's enough. Alright, bye. <laughs>